Welcome back everybody to my professional difficulty guide for Resident Evil 4. Yeah, this is sort of aimed at beginners, so this should be very easy for you to follow. Yes, some parts can be obviously a little bit harder than others and some may take a little bit of practice. But I'm confident with these strategies I've employed here that you're looking at probably one of the easiest routes through professional. And yes, I'm doing this no damage, but of course you can, you're free to heal you want. I'm collecting almost everything in the game. So you're gonna have all healing items available. And as you saw me there, I just picked costume number two. You wanna make sure you've unlocked that. You unlock that by completing separate ways on the extra modes before you come in here. The great thing about that is it gives Ashley a knight armor, which makes her invincible. Okay, so to begin, obviously you pick professional, shoot these three birds at the start. Two of them will drop some at random and the one at the back will drop a spinal. Obviously you don't shoot too close because you'll scare them away. What I try and do going forward, I'll point out what's random and what's not random item wise. Straight after that cutscene you want to aim and shoot and you should already be sort of aimed near that guy's head area. And then you could probably run up to him and kick him, you know, for the stun and then finish him when he's down. If you miss him or you don't stun, just keep shooting him, he's not got much HP. Then once he's dead, loot him if you dropped anything, go upstairs, grab the handgun bullets, dive out the window, then quickly run left to avoid these two enemies, come in here, save your game, and then we're going to reload some checkpoint to de-aggro them enemies. Yeah, 26 hours you can see on my, <laughs> on my first professional, that's because I was doing a lot of testing alright. <laughs> I'm not a slow player. Yeah, so you, re you just reload a checkpoint to, um, like I say, de aggro them enemies, and then we're going to grab the loot in there. You should get handgun times 10, uh, green herb, 1000 gold, and then another random crate. Here, shoot the two birdies. One of them will drop a hand grenade, which we're going to need for later. So do not use the hand grenade. Little doggy here, I know, don't save him. I know you're tempted to. I'm sure you saved him on your first run. No, leave him be, guys, because if you don't, he's going to interrupt a strategy later on. Leave him trapped. We'll probably get him on the next playthrough. Don't worry, we'll get you in about six hours, doggy. Yeah, grab that red herb, which I just got. Run down that path in between them two trees, but keep to the tree on the right because there's a bear trap, and obviously run in between them so you the two trees so you avoid the traps. One pass that guy's pointing or bite his finger off. Actually, one pass all he'll ever do. He's a point to that one. He won't do anything else. And then once you get to shack, he should be aggro, and you can loot it. Once here, kill these two enemies, just shoot them in the kneecaps or whatever to knock them down in the legs and then finish them off with a few, ni a few knife swipes. Yeah, I try and keep up with the speed I'm going. Um, so yeah. These three guys, just ignore them, they're on the lunch break. They will not disturb you as long as you don't, do not disturb them. They only get one lunch break so they're not going to work while they're off it, while they're on it even. Come in here, kill this enemy and then loot the shack. Yep, and then end into the next room. Yep, I've got a text guide for this by the way. It's actually what I'm looking at while I'm watching myself play along with you. So if you look in the description, you'll find a link to my text guide as well, just in case you need some else for reference, you know, outside of watching the video. You can just scroll through then uh, to have a look ahead, I guess. But yeah, do not use any Think grenade wise, unless I say so. Yeah, very, very important. So what I'm doing here, I'm just getting their attention. And then once I get reasonably close, I'm gonna run around this house on the left. Keep running, go behind this building where that woman's shifting hay. Go in between these two, and then into that house over there. The one where, with the, which has that lock in with a padlock on if you remember. Once in here, turn around, shoot near where a door handle would be to make a hole, and then start knifing them through the hole. They won't attack you through the hole. They'll throw, they'll throw knives, uh, but they'll always miss. And when you do shoot a hole, don't go straight for it, because sometimes there'll be an anim uh, enemy already in like a attack animation, uh, just as you went through the door. And if you run straight to, through the door, it might catch you. They won't attack once the door's closed and you've got this hole in, but if an attack was already in progress once the door was open, then like, yeah, that'll carry through. So yeah, just shoot the hole in the door, guys, and start knifing. 
every now and then, if there's no enemies, you can just stop for a moment and see if there's any take prompts, like so, because you can take some of the loot through the door. But just make sure you do not open it. If you mess up, you can just retry, uh, retry from checkpoint to respawn at the last door we came through. Good thing about this, you won't get a chainsaw guy. Well, some of you may see that as a bad thing, uh, because you lose out on the money. But don't worry, we have so much money left in this at the end. Like, over 200,000, and I don't even do the shooting ranges. So yeah, and another good thing about killing a chainsaw guy is we save a lot of shotgun ammo. Yeah, shotgun ammo, save it until later, guys. We need it for the cabin. Yeah, a lot of things I'm doing differently to um, easy mode. So yeah, just use your pistol to begin with. And we're going to be knifing enemies anyway. So we're going to loot the place now. All the enemies have gone. They'll either go after you've killed so many or after a certain time has passed. So once all the enemies despawn, come in here grab the loot. Shotgun shells times five, they're always in that crate. And you've got 1,000 gold on the bed. Always loot the random crates, by the way. In this house opposite next, around the back here, under the steps, you've got a handgun times 10. And you've got two barrels. One of these will have 1,000 gold always. And the other one is a little bit random. Up the stairs next, we're going to grab the shotgun off the wall. But be quick, so the ceiling's going to come down. You're going to be a Leon sandwich. And there's no barry here to save you. Yeah, grab the shotgun shells. Obviously, the hand grenade and the other bit of gold. Jump out the window just in time. Yep, and get the handgun shells off the chimney. Bit of a stupid place to leave them, isn't it? They could, uh, gunpowder, gunpowder on a chimney. Not a good combination. Come around the outside of the house and grab the spinal off there. And they're gonna head into this house over here. This is to the west, I believe. Northwest. Yeah, in this one, you've got this barrel. That barrel's random, I think. These two crates, one of them always has a red Grenade inside, slash flame grenade, slash fire grenade, slash incendiary grenade. Whatever you want to call them. And get that handgun times 10 before you dive out the window. And get a red herb from that crate. Over here you'll find green herb on some logs. This top house, there'll be two more crates. One of these is random and the other one always has a flash grenade in. Remember, do not use your grenades until I advise. We need to hoard them. Yeah, we need to hoard them grenades. Going to need them for later. Smash this crate. Get a yellow herb. Yellow herbs are going to be selling them after mixing them with a red and a green for the money. You die so quick on professional, it's not really worth having the extra HP. And the extra money really helps. On here, you've got a green herb just behind that fence on the locks. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to mix them. Yeah, if you ever get like too many greens, when it comes to green red, you can use green red yourself if you want to. In here is handgun times 10, by the way. And top of this tower is shotgun shells, which we need. Yeah, do, do not use the shotgun shells. And when it comes to healing, if you need to heal, just use a green or a red and green mix. Do not use your yellows. We want to set, like I say, we want to sell them because they sell for 10,000. And all the money from selling them will add up to quite a lot at the end of the game. Yeah, grab the shotgun shells, get this crate in here. This crate most of the time has nothing in it. But look at, it, look at me, I've got shotgun shells inside. Yeah, up here, and loot the shack on the right for handgun bullets again. And a file, I don't really collect files, by the way. Yeah, handgun times 10, and that's all the loot from this area. And now into the farm. Yeah, so we're going to grab that about the blue medallions file off a tree. Now there's five enemies in this area. So I'm going to shoot that medallion first. These will all show up on your map. Just open your map, you can see them all. And then this one, that's two. Because you shot your weapon, you likely alerted a few of these enemies. So come into shack, loot the barrel, turn around, get ready to kill a few of the enemies. There's a save point in there. By the way, always save your game when you go by typewriter. Because the game does crash. I've had it crash a few times. Most time it's happened in chapter 3 I think it was. 
Let's just be careful. There's five enemies, remember, here. Now, normally, if you shoot in that area where I did near that tree, normally only two hear you. Sometimes it might be three. So once you've killed two, just keep a lookout in case another one's coming. He's over there, so he didn't hear the bullet. Once safe to do so, knock down that lid and the shoot down the pill pendant. Grab any chicken eggs you seed laid by the chickens. Yeah, that guy normally throws something at, at you, so be ready to shoot him before he gets too close in case he tries to lob a weapon. Uh, but once you kill him, he's an, an enemy number three. Remember, there's five enemies in this area. Loot that barrel for whatever, it's random. You can knife this medallion, this will be three out of 15. Loot this barrel, this has always got a flame grenade in. Take that out. Flame grenades come very, very important for a boss. So we need to hoard them all. Now there's an enemy over here. He will throw weapons at you, so try to shoot him from a distance before he gets too close to throw them. And then knock him down. Finish him off. He's enemy number four, so there should only be one left in this area. Yep, yeah, it's going to see if he drops anything. Yes, he drops some pesters. Yep, yeah, then I'm going to come in this remaining barn, this big one. Grab a salute inside. You've got a crate there. You've got a spinal in this cabinet. You've got a barrel here. And in this cabinet, you've got some more gold, 1,000. And you've got two more barrels over here. Now I'm just going to go outside the. I think that's this is the southern exit. Yeah, shoot that medallion up above, right underneath the um, overhang off the roof. And then the fifth enemy is just up this ladder. Rake in the hay. This guy does not slack off, does he? You've probably heard the bullets, but just be, he's, he's busy working. He's in the zone. Yeah, finish him off. That's it. No more enemies, guys. So you're safe to run around without watching your back. So there's a medallion in that window. 5 out of 15. Hangman times 10 in this little cabinet. Dive out. And then we're going to turn left and jump off the northern end of here. Loot this crate. And you've got a medallion up there. Yeah, it should be medallion 6 out of 15. There's another medallion there, but we'll just get this loot in there first. So, one of these is random, and the one on the top always has a spinal inside. Yeah, so always a spinal in there. Climb up here. And shoot this last blue medal in this area. So that should be 7 out of 15. If you open your map now, there should be no more blue dots. And yes, do not jump down there. <laughs> I've made that was a mistake. We need to get the beer stein. Now the beer stein, do not sell it until we've combined all the treasures into it to get maximum value from the resell. So yeah, this treasure, do not sell it until we've combined everything, guys. I take you through the shops and everything, what you know, what we sell, what we keep, why we keep sometimes, and Probably for this first chapter, I will mention every single thing we're collecting. But after that, I might try and slow down a bit just with mentioning every single thing. Because if I do, I'm not really going to have time to explain some of the strategies unless, you know, I stop the video. So I'll probably, yeah. So you've got a QTE here. Just keep spamming it and then be ready to press two together to dodge it at the end. There we go. Yeah, so just pay attention to what I'm collecting just in case I don't mention something. So I've just retried checkpoint here. The reason being, uh, there's two spinals in this tunnel, by the way, on the ceiling. You can see them. Yeah, the reason being, if you, because on your very first time through here, this enemy acts a little bit differently. Um, but once you retry from checkpoint, which some of you may do anyway, because you'll die, um, you'll normally always throw a grenade first. So just come up here to the end of the tunnel, and once that guy throws a dynamite, get ready, shoot it. I should kill him. And if you don't kill that guy behind him, just wait, because you want to do the same to the guy just in the window. Sometimes that dynamite will kill them both. Uh, but yeah, bait him out and shoot him. There you go, that should finish him off. Now run straight ahead, careful, there's bear traps on the floor here. So run in a direct line to that house where I was, sort of in the middle of the path, and you should miss him. Now there's a dynamite guy in the back here. So just want to get his attention. You might have to move closer to the window, like so. There you go, so you see me now. Yep, get him to throw dynamite and get ready to shoot it. 
There you go. That should kill him and the enemy in the back. There's normally two barrels here, but that guy, when we shot his dynamite earlier, that detonated them. Oh, we destroyed him. There's a hand grenade in here, and then there's another guy out here. So, sometimes he'll kill himself. Like so. But if not, just wait for him to throw the grenade, uh, the dynamite and shoot it in his hand. And that'll be all the enemies in this area. Defeated. So, going to head over here now and be very careful guys. Bear traps everywhere. And there's one in this shack. There you go. And there's a trip wire there. So, do not head past that trip wire. Get the spinal, which is always there from the two crates. Yep, and come to this tree and shoot it down to get the red cat's eye. That combines with the beer stein. Yeah, so combine that. Yep, there we go. It's not ready to sell yet. Loot this crate, and that's everything outside. Wow, I'm 15 minutes into this, and it's like a five hour video. I've got a lot of commentary left to do. I did try to do uh, live commentary when I was through, but I, I had to focus, I couldn't talk and focus at the same time. I've had to do post commentary. Yeah, loot that cabinet and then grab the handgun times 10. In here, turn around because there's this trip wire we need to shoot, you don't want to be too close. And there's another trip wire behind it, there's two trip wires here, make sure you shoot them first. Green herb in this cabinet, and you've got gold on the table, then push the bookshelf out of the way and go and look in the wardrobe. Yeah, that's it. Chapter 1 2 guys out of the way. Uh, sorry, chapter 1 1. You probably want to save on a different slot every time, but if you've got any clear saves, do not overwrite them. Yeah, so straight away you'll have a um, QTE. There'll be handgun times 10 on your left when you get control back and rifle bullets times 5. Yeah, shotgun and rifle, uh, we're going to be saving them until later mainly. Uh, we do do use shotgun a little bit beforehand, uh, you'll see when we get to it. A green herb, you can use that to make a green, green, a green mix. Three greens. Come to the back and you'll find Gary. Yeah, this is Gary. Yeah, we're going to sell. He's got a bit of a selection. You're going to sell your chicken egg. Any chicken eggs, sell them. You can sell that green herb mix times three if you have it. And sell the green, red, yellow mix. And also sell the first aid spray. Sell the spinals. Sell the pendant. But do not sell the beer stain. And we're going to buy a touch case medium. And then we're also going to buy rifle. Yep, that's what we want to buy for now, guys. And loot the two barrels behind him for Red Herb. And then we're going to go back and save the game. Now, this strategy I employ in this next area, if it doesn't quite, if you get, if a dynamite kills you, because rarely the dynamite can hit you, just reload your safe and um, try again. But most of the time, this, this works 80% of the time. It, it might be 100% of the time. Maybe it's just my where I stand in before. Um, but yeah, just save your game after doing all that. So if you do die, you don't have to redo it all again. Yeah, this bit, this area, when you, certain zones in the area, and when you're walking them, it sort of spawns more enemies. So the key thing here is not to walk too far around the area. Just go where I do. But we're going to knock that guy down. And you're going to stay, you see where I'm standing? Probably about a few steps away from the top step. And you don't want to try to kill the enemies. You just want to sort of stun them and knock them down. Keep them keep them on the steps or at the bottom. Yeah, and as you can see, the enemies above, they're throwing dynamite, but it's not actually hitting you. It's actually sort of bouncing down the steps, and it's killing all the enemies on the stairs. That's why this is a good spot. If you're not quite standing in the correct place, it's not like a... You don't have to be like in a pinpoint exact place. You know, just roughly in that sort of area but sometimes you're a bit too close the dynamite can get you so just be very careful you're not too close and um, be careful for enemies throwing weapons at you as well yeah because some of the enemies will stop at the bottom of the steps and they'll try to throw like an axe so just be careful of that yeah be careful going down to get loot as well 
because that can mess it up, especially if an enemy start, throws a dynamite as you run down steps. And if you don't get back into the same spot in time. So, if you don't want to risk it, just don't really bother about looting it. The enemies will spawn for, for perhaps a good few minutes. Um, it's only so many that spawn, uh, just with the time it takes to actually spawn them all. Yeah, it's going to take a good few minutes. There's some ammo behind me there, rifle ammo. Yeah, just use your pistol here. Just shoot them in the leg when they come up steps or near the bottom. Just knock them down. You're just knocking them down, so, you know, waiting for the dynamite to come and finish them off. Help conserve a bit of your ammo. Yeah, that's what happens when you shoot at monsters. They uh, they slide down. And if you get a chance, you see that guy patrolling there. When you get a minute, try and shoot him, just get his attention. Yeah, I'm going for that rifle ammo. Yep, him there. That's it. Just shoot him once, gets attention when you get a moment. Perhaps not like I did, I actually had enemies coming for me. If one of them ran for me, I could have probably got tickled. Yeah, so that's probably about all that's going to spawn to begin with. Like I say, the enemies, they sort of, when you run around in certain places in this area, it will spawn more. So only go where I go. Right, that's sort of the first wave, which is sort of spawned from when you first enter the area. So he's going to get a rifle now and we're going to shoot that guy up there first. He should be camped there. There you go, just headshot him. And then come into this house, get a shotgun shells. Now there's three enemies in this room. We're going to shoot the hole in the door, like the start if you remember. And then knife him through the door. Three enemies in here. And she, as long as you walk where I walk and the there's no more enemies spawning, then you should not have to worry about them coming behind you. Yep, just like earlier as well, I'm trying to loot them through the door if I can. He's the last one, so I'll just open the door finish him off. Right, that's it. No enemies for the time being. Grab that handgun ammo. Grab a flash grenade from the locker. Jump out the window and loot this barrel for some random loot. Jump back in and go up the ladder inside. Grab the emblem from the chest. The right half. Loot this barrel over here. And from here we're going to headshot the three enemies. Try not to reload your rifle after this. Um, headshot these two first, the higher two. Because uh, the, the one on the roof, you don't need to... If you run out of ammo, you can actually leave him. And he's quite easy to kill later. Yeah, this guy. I miss him. I'm going to try one more time. If not, I'm going to finish him later. Uh, I will actually point it out to you a good spot to actually kill him later. And then jump down here. Get this barrel in the corner. Now we're going to go back and save the game. This path we're taking, no, en no more enemies will spawn on this path we're taking. Yeah, so go back and save your game. So if you mess up this next bit, you don't have to do it all again. All you have to do is... Yeah, just start from here. So yeah, save your game. Oh yeah, I'm going to sell the rifle first. I was just wondering what I was doing there. I forget, ain't, ain't I going to save? Yeah, just come back. That's all we wanted the rifle for. You can get rid of it now free up some of your um, inventory so yeah sell a rifle this why I say try not to reload it if you can help it yeah do not sell anything else and we're good so now we'll go back and save it okay I'm that confident I don't need to save look at me what a show off I should have saved it yeah so coming up this path next now once you get to sort of bend here um, enemies will start to spawn some more enemies from down there. There you go, see them come around the back of that building. Where that near where that locker was and the barrel outside the window. Yeah, come up here, quickly look at these two barrels, there'll be rifle times five in one of them, and in this chest is the emblem left half. Now quickly drop down here. Now once you drop down once, 
normally you can kill that guy here once you drop down he'll try to throw dynamite you can shoot it in his hand but I've already killed him and then quickly climb this ladder and then climb this ladder loot this barrel for shotgun shells which we're going to need for later shotgun times five and then go to the end and now shoot the enemies as they come up the ladder now the reason we're not knifing them at the base at the top of the ladder is because if you're too far forward the enemies can sort of see you um, from below and they'll try to lob throwing weapons at you and we don't want that so what you can do just stay at the back until the enemies are sort of all hoarded at the base of the ladder and then you can start knifing them because they won't lob the throwing weapons at you then because they won't be able to get the angle so stay back first until I think it's about six enemies have hoarded at the bottom of the ladder and then you can move forward and just start knifing them to conserve some ammo yeah so just keep doing this and then um, once all these are dead we'll do a few more things to spawn a few more enemies the last, the last wave of enemies Yep, I think that is it. Just make sure they are all dead before you jump down. So once you think they're all dead, jump down. Grab the loot they drop. Now three more will likely spawn now. But you want to run over to this corner because that will spawn another three. Because you'll, you'll be just close enough to the zone. And there should be six more enemies now. So drop down, run to the far corner of the roof. Then come back, back up here. Here they come. So wait for all these six enemies to come to you now. Again, do not go too close to the ladder because otherwise when some of them are on the roof they might throw a throwing weapon at you just wait for them to all to hoard up so shoot them all to begin with in the heads as they climb up so you knock them down and then once they've all sort of hoarded up then you can move forward yep there we go they've all hoarded now so I'm just going to finish them off with a knife so finish off these six enemies and that's all the enemies in the area this is perhaps a bit overkill I mean I kill all these enemies just so I can get a yellow herb um, yeah, probably a bit overkill, but but we get the shotgun shells um, on this barrel up here as well, which is going to be useful later anyway, and a few more random crates, so it's, it's not all bad. You know when they're all dead because the music will stop. There we go. That's your um, indication, your your cue, that you can s release your defence now. Yeah, you don't have to be on guard no more for the time being. So drop down and loot these two barrels. And they're going to go inside and loot the two lockers. One will be a yellow herb and the other one will be gold. Yeah, we did just for that yellow herb we killed all the enemies but and for the shotgun shells so now go to the exit combine the two emblems and then head on through into the Ganado base this is a gorge we've just done going into the base next so we're going to kill all the enemies in this area to begin with we're going to get three random barrels and they're going to head inside yeah, these three barrels are random. Yeah, you got random barrels just on the left here when you get inside. Now we're going to kill the first four enemies. You can either kill them one by one as they come to the door. Just get their attention one by one. Or you can sort of kill them like I am here. Probably would have been better killing them as they come in the door. Would have, that's what I use. That's what I usually do. Um, just this this time, I just decided to do it this way. But this actually does waste a little bit of ammo. So yeah, probably better guys just kill them one by one as they come through the door, knock them down, uh, knife them, and they get the attention of one more. That guy for rake, he will come as soon as you shoot your weapon. He will come. See, I almost got hit by a bloody phone weapon then. Yeah, so. When you shoot your gun for the first time, that guy for rake will come for you. And um, but until the back won't come for you sort of until they sort of see you. 
So yeah, get these four. Loot them afterwards. Guess I got my ammo back anyway from him. Yeah, I never realised you could jump over there. Yeah, loot this barrel. Now, in this next area, yeah, you need to be quick here. Dive through, turn, and shoot a dynamite. Either, either doesn't matter. There you go. And that will kill all of them. Now, there's a lot of bear traps in here. You've got three here. And you've got three over here as well. So you might actually want to shoot them just to make it a bit safer. Now, loot this furnace for handgun bullets times ten. That's an explosion way to, waiting to happen. Shoot these. That's it. That's all the bear traps. Now, an enemy is going to come through this door any minute now with a rake. And in here is a spinal. Yeah, wait for the guy to come through with a rake first. You'll see why. I do normally, just this time I didn't. Look at that. Stupid. Yeah, wait for him to come through first before you go and grab the other loot. And then knock him down and knife him. Now it's going to be one more enemy. Here he is. And this will be it for the time being. The music will stop. And then smash this wooden uh, barricade. Get the elegant mask. Do not sell the elegant mask until we've completed it. Loot this random barrel. Loot this barrel for a green herb. Yeah, this is quite a lot different to my EC, my EC uh, route through here. What's a lot different to that? Just because now we cannot take chances. So you've got one more guy here. Just knock him down and then knife him. Yeah, jump down here, get the handgun bullets, get the flash grenade and get the gold. No, we're not doing any fishing. Yep, and then climb out of the well. Yeah, loot whatever he dropped, if he did drop anything. Now first, just sort of turn around and come to this well, knock down the lid, and then get the pill pendant. Once you've got that, shoot the nearest bird, and then shoot the trip wire, that'll kill the other two. Yeah, try to actually hit it, not like me. There we go. There's three bear traps there, by the way. Uh, you can loot the shack. I think everything in this shack is random. Yeah, watch out for these two bear traps. There's one, well, three. There's one there and two there. Yeah, loot the birds and then head into the house. Now, this house, the, the chapter doesn't end, sort of, until you grab the insignia key. You normally have to grab the key. The puzzle here is up and then right or up and left I think you can use so grab the gold from the wardrobe grab the handgun bullets from the drawer yeah do not grab the key do not grab that yet yeah normally when you grab the key and then come through this door that will end the chapter but if you don't grab it you can grab all the loot in the area with no enemies around uh, grab that green herb from there come to this back room and grab the um, flame grenade grab the gold, I think it's gold in this cabinet grab the warm chicken egg from the oven and then come outside, yes yeah, there's normally a chainsaw enemy out here and a load of others but there isn't because we haven't finished the chapter yet uh, so shoot that nest down for a spinal and the shack on the left has a red herb inside And then we'll shoot down this other nest for some TMP ammo, which we will sell. TMP is crap, by the way, compared to the Red Nines, such a good weapon. Yeah, grab that TMP. Once you're done, we're going to go back and grab the key and then finish the chapter. Yeah, I think in my in my normal playthrough, I think we use a TMP, don't we? But after using the Red Nine, the Red Nine just so much better. Especially with the firepower upgrades. I mean, even in professional, with you can headshot once it's fully upgraded. You can headshot almost every enemy with a decapitate almost in one or two shots. Pretty nuts. 
Yeah, so grab the key, guys. And come out here to end the chapter. Save your game, as always. And then we should respawn back in Mendes Manor. Yeah, so all we're going to do now, we've got all the loot. We're going to go outside, make our way to the exit, but we're going to use two flash grenades to stun the enemies. Get past them nice and easy. Killing shadow enemies at the moment with our current weaponry, it's just going to take, it's going to use too much ammo. So, yeah, I do this. So, lob it at them three. This guy, just run past him or bait his attack, depending on if he's pointing at you or not. And then stun these four enemies as well. And then take the exit. Don't kick him. I know it's tempting when you're running past. Right, so all we need to do now is get to the insignia door. So, do not run straight through. Because normally when I do that, one of them will catch me. Sort of try to run past on the outside. And yeah, straight into that door ahead. Yeah, I've done a little zigzag in case one of them lobs a thrown weapon at me. Yep, enter here. So grab the handgun bullets and the random crates. Save point if you want to save. We are now in the secret passage. Yeah, so shoot down the lamp for a spinal and then loot this crate for some TMP ammo. It's crazy how some of the later, chapter, later chapters, the sub chapter, takes longer than the whole of chapter one combined. Yeah, so once you grab them, jump down the little hatch, the trap door into the secret passage, shoot the lamp on the wall to reveal the three treasures, and then shoot them all down. Yeah, so you got that one, the elegant headdress. Do not combine that, uh, do not confuse that with the elegant mask. They're both elegant, but they're different. Yeah, loot the barrel, the crate. I mean, of course. And then come over and speak to Gary. Just seeing if there's anything I need to combine. To so, we're going to sell. What are you, selling? Uh, you can sell all your TNP ammo. Sell. We never, all we ever do, we only ever get TNP ammo to sell. Sell your chicken egg, sell your green, red, yellow mix, sell your spinals times five, sell your brass pocket watch, sell your elegant headdress. And do not, do not sell the beer stein or the elegant mask. Do not sell them. And yet, that's all we need to do. Now leave the secret passage. Right, once in the cemetery, walk forward a few steps and shoot the nest above your head for a hand grenade. Do not use any of these grenades until I advise. Head forward a bit and shoot this nest for rifle times five and then hug the wall on the right follow it around to a shack kill this woman try to be quick yep because she'll lob a weapon at you and it probably alert another guy but the other guy does not have any melee weapons he's just sort of using his bare hands he's a bare knuckle fighter just quickly kill her if you're taking your time just get go further inside the cabin and turn around so you can see the other guy come in that's it, only two enemies in this first part, and then loot the shack. And the rest of the medals are in this area, by the way, the blue medals. So if you open your map, you'll see them all. There you go, see them all. Should be eight left. So your first one in this tree. Yep, another one over there. You might want to get a bit closer, if your accuracy is as bad as mine. You don't have to shoot these three crows, but... There's three crows here if you want to shoot them. These are the guardians of the cemetery. But they're not very good. Yeah, so um, in this first area where the gravestones are, there should be three. We've done two, and there's the third medallion. So that should put you at 10 out of 15 blue medallions. And then through the fence, up here through the gate, there's going to be a guy of dynamite. We want to shoot the guy of dynamite to kill the other three. Normally, the other one will be close enough and it should kill him, but um, this guy has IQ 2, so he's a bit cleverer than the rest. And he held back. Shoot the nest in the tree for fire grenades. 
and come here there be another blue emblem on the side of the church that should be 11 out of 15 now we're going to head around the back to get a treasure and another blue medal now this guy on the right will throw dynamite so just get ready to shoot it Kablooey, yep and kill them both kill uh, Simon and Mary and then look up and shoot that blue medal hanging on the overhang off the roof yep five accuracy I am not known for my accuracy yeah so the puzzle to do this you need to press three 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 four 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 three you got that so it's three three times four three times and then three one time three 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 four 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 and three uh, you'll get the green cat's eye, combine that with the beer stein for the green and red beer stein. Only one more to put in there to finish it. Right, let's take the lower path now. The last three medals are down here, but it's also going to be three enemies. You can sometimes knock this off when you shoot them, but it doesn't seem to happen as much on professional. Yes, yeah, a shooter. Don't go too close because a guy will come around the corner with a throwing weapon. So I like to keep my distance. Watch out for them guys with the axes. I hate them guys. Yes, looking at you in the blue shirt. I think it's a blue shirt. Can't quite tell, so close is so dirty. Yeah, him. You see, he's about to lob it. Be very careful. That's it. Once they're sort of all knocked down, you can run up and knife them. Got them. Okay, so... There's one more enemy, but it's right at the end of the exit. So you sort of save the time being. Yeah, you've got a medal just under there. That's 13 out of 15. Now in here, it's the snake. This one here has a snake in. Be ready. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I miss them. I don't like to knife for snakes because sometimes my knife will miss. And if you miss with your knife, you don't get a chance to knife again before it bites you. So I just, I just shoot them. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. So yeah, you can get that medal. 14 out of 15, seeing if I can reach it with my knife. And the final one, 15 out of 15. Don't really need to get them, but I thought I'd get them just in case, in case you guys still need to shoot them all for a trophy. Uh, so he's the last one, just going to kill him. See if he drops anything. And then go through the door afterwards. Okay, so in here. Do not go too far forward, just loot this barrel and then back into this corner and there's tons of birds here, I'm going to shoot them all. You could use a flash grenade, but we want to save our flash grenades. Remember, do not use your grenades until I advise to. So shoot them all. The important thing here is one of these will drop another flash grenade. Just make sure you do not miss that one. If you make, if you scare any away because you think you've got them all but you didn't, you can either reload the area or just don't worry about it. Uh, to reload the area, just click retry from checkpoint. Yeah, just make sure you do get the flash grenade. And then grab all the loot afterwards. Yeah, once you've got all the loot, we're going to grab the um, spinal from this car to the end. And then we're going to loot the first shack and the end shack. There's nothing in the middle one. In this one, you've got a spinal and handgun bullets. And then the fire shack, in this one, you have handgun bullets. And that's all we have. Yeah, loot these two barrels. Now, if you want to go to save point, there's another side door. I didn't look at it, but it's a save point through there and Gary. Um, but you don't need to go in there just in case you want to make a safe. Yeah, get the hangar bullets and then loot this barrel. Now it's going to be another QTE here, so just be ready, guys. I don't need to give you um, instructions on how to do these. I mean, you're just doing what it says to press on screen. Fairly straightforward. Yep, so straight after finishing the QTE, turn around and look up. Well, one forward a few steps, turn around. There'll be a spinal directly above you. 
and I'm going to kill these first few enemies in the area. Now, I didn't want to shoot that trap. I normally like to leave that trap, but um, never mind. And the first of all, come around here, but keep close to the side so we don't alert any other enemies. And grab this hand grenade. And then go back up. That's it on here. And then get over to about here. And you want to shoot, these en shoot one of these enemies to alert them. That should alert him and two others. Here they come. Yeah, I normally like to hold them up near the tripwire. Um, keep making them fall down just before it. Um, and then wait until so they all run into it at once. That's pretty cool when that happens. You know, you stun them all so they all three run into the tripwire at once. But I shot it by accident. Now be very careful here. Yeah, I'm a bit too close. I should be doing this from a distance. Because two of these are axe throwers. Yep, look at this. I'm getting my, getting my knickers in a twist here. Yeah, well, I had to drop down, so I know if I was reload. Probably going to get caught out. Yep, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, be very careful. Got them finally. Yep. That part normally goes a lot better. I'm not sure what I was doing then. Yeah, so once you get to here, there's going to be an enemy there. Just get his attention and he should run into a trap. Yeah, now this crate has a snake inside. Yeah, so be ready to kill it. Get the shotgun shells. Oh, wow. Gold chicken egg. Thank you, snakey. Loot this barrel for TMP ammo. But just make sure you dig out a shotgun shells. That's the only reason I loot them crates in that shack. He should run into that tripwire. Just like clockwork. And then there's a tripwire over there we're going to shoot before we drop down. Just over there between that tree and the side of the um, of sort of pier. And then come through here. Just follow my path. Remember, make sure you shot the tripwire first. And knock down this nest for an antique pipe. And now we're going to run out of the area. Just follow my lead. There's going to be a few enemies. We do miss a fire grenade doing this, but um, it's not really needed. So yeah, just run through here, avoiding the enemies, and out the far exit. Yeah, we're in the Del Lago. Lego? The swamp. We're in the swamp area. This is where you fight that Del Lago boss. So come up here first, there'll be a little cutscene. But it's also a red herb. Yeah, just in this corner, there's a red herb. There it is. Grab that. And the carry on down, you'll pass a nest, which has a gold bang on inside. Yep, get the gold bangle, wipe off the bird shit, and then put it in your pocket. Sorry, gold. Is it gold bangle of pills? Yeah, grab the yellow herb from that crate and the handgun bullets. And then we'll loot this fire shack and save our game. You can combine the yellow herb as well, ready. Get it out of the way. So green herb in here and one barrel, a random barrel. So yeah, just mix them ready. And then save your game. Yeah, so the Del, La the Del Lago boss. He takes approximately... Well, the lake area. Yeah, it takes approximately 12 harpoons to kill him. So straight away, you can quickly get one off and then you need to steer right or left to dodge him. And normally, if he's going to hit the... If, he, if he's going to hit the... Um, the logs, then it normally means you are. So just watch his path. Yeah, and obviously steer out of the way, always keep going left or right, so if he does emerge at the end, he does miss you, at the end of each sort of um, lap that he does. And once this happens, get your cursor so it's on the level of the water. Don't wait like I am. While you're waiting for him to show up, get your cursor ready in line with the surface of the water, and then throw the harpoon at him once you see him coming along to make him submerge and avoid the attack. 
and then start harpooning him again. Like I say, it will take 12. It will take 12 to uh, kill him. 12 on target. There's not really any trick to this. I mean, you, you avoid the logs, and uh, when he dives at the end, you obviously need to stay left or right to avoid it. Yeah, and just keep doing that. Yeah, and like I say, when when he disappears for a moment and you're waiting for him to show back up and the boat stops as soon as you start waiting get your cursor at the surface of the water at that level because at that level that normally be where his mouth's going to be and then all you need to do then is move to left or right you'll see me do it in a second so here we go get that cursor up to the surface of the water like so. Yep, get it there ready, then all you need to do is move left and right and it's already in place. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So, like I say, 12. Don't think you need many more for the kill. Yeah, that one was getting very close. Very close to the wall. Yeah, I was, I was getting a bit worried here. I thought, shit, I'm going to hit the log. You have no idea where he's taking me. Yeah, I'm very worried that he's going to pull me straight into a log any second. Uh, when he starts pulling me again. So yeah, again, just take cursor up to the surface of the water. So all you need to do is move left or right. There you go, got him. So be ready to cut yourself loose afterwards. Yeah, because his umbilical cord has got wrapped around your leg. Just when you're hacking away, just careful you do not hack away at your leg. By mistake. Yep, that's chapter one done. Safe your game as always. Chapter two. Grab his handgun bullets times 10 to begin and grab a flash grenade. And also loot this crate, this random crate. And they're going to jump into the boat and head into Gary's hidden cave to the far. I forget the compass direction now. I think it's. No, I don't even remember. But yeah, go into that cave in the far distance with the blue lamps. Gary's secret cave. Yep, do not ask. Please don't ask about that. Let's just forget that happened. So in here, we're going to loot the three barrels here. If you're feeling good, try and knife, try and knife all three with a single swipe. Then you are truly the knife master. Yeah, grab a spinal from that lamp above. Loot this barrel, push your crates out of the way and climb up onto Gary's shop. Don't ask why I called him Gary, I don't know. I just picked a name for him for my guide. So I could just type Gary instead of typing merchant all the time. Yeah, push his crates and then loot the barrels and you'll get the green gem in one of these. Which will combine with the elegant mask. I hope you haven't sold it. Yeah, there we go, the green gem. Combine it with the elegant mask yep jump down here next and grab the rifle ammo just in the corner yep rifle times 10 loads of ammo there so make sure you pick it up and then talk to Gary so what we're going to do we're going to sell all our TMP ammo we're going to sell the handgun the handgun will sell for either 3,500 or more, depends on your current ammo in it. Sell any chicken eggs, sell your green, red, yellow mix, and sell all your treasure except for the beer stein and the elegant mask. Buy the Punisher, which you should have as long as you've shot all the blue medals. And that's all we need for now, guys. 
You can upgrade the shotgun as well, upgrade the firepower to max and upgrade the reload speed to max but do not touch capacity you probably know this already from your first playthrough but when you upload when you um purchase capacity upgrade it gives you a full round of ammo so it's best to try and you save them especially on ammo where um on weapons where ammo is expensive or rare it's best to wait until you're close to empty uh, before you upgrade capacity what is it mate Tell her not to. Tell her not to or I want it now. Yep, yeah, and then back in the boat after. And then over to where you started and take the far door. Into the waterfall area. Where you're gonna encounter your first parasite. Yes, yeah, so this first parasite he'll drop 5,000 gold so we're gonna kill him yeah but watch out for the guy at the back yeah be very careful he's has he is a thrower yeah him at the back he's a thrower so be very careful remember the Punisher can shoot it can penetrate a single target so if you shoot him in the ass it'll go through his ass and hit the ass of the enemy in front but yeah do not let him get too close yeah because with our current health they can instant kill you them parasites but yeah once they're dead once the parasite is gone you can just knife this guy to finish him off loot the parasite for 5,000 gold and then carry on along the path don't fall in the water by the way because I left my swimming trunks at home yeah and before you jump across again get the hand grenade from the barrel around the corner do not use these grenades yeah, I am going to repeat myself a few times. It's just a reminder. A friendly rem a reminder, you could say. Yeah, before you jump down, I'm going to shoot these three crates to get them in position ready. One, two, and a three. Yeah, looks like they're going to fall on uh, some of the, um, the pier, but no, they will fall in the water. Now, when you drop down, there's a spinal up on this wall. Now there's a guy in the watchtower here, but don't worry, he doesn't normally attack you when you drop down. Uh, what I do, I run to the bottom of the ladder, and I shoot up at him, right into his uh, bladder. Don't worry, he's not going to sort of release on you, unload his bladder onto you. Yeah, I normally knock him down, and then climb up and knife him, but I killed him. I guess I shot him in a sweet spot. Yeah, get that barrel, and then loot the handgun bullets off the side of the watchtower railing. And then jump across and take the middle path first. We're going to get the amber ring, which we need to shoot down on the beam. And then climb the ladder for the green hub. And then we'll head to the far the far side. Yep, over here, loot that barrel at the back for something random. Climb this ladder, and when you activate this lever, there's going to be a checkpoint, by the way. So if you mess up this bit, if you want to just retry from checkpoint, you'll spawn back there when you pull the lever. So don't worry, it's not like a, it's not a massive way you have to backtrack, like do all that again. No, there's a checkpoint at that lever. So get a flash grenade ready, and the idea here is to flash all these enemies. So you're going to have to run forward a little bit about there and then lob it and that should get all these five enemies on this middle path and then run past them all if you mess it up yeah just retry from checkpoint do not use use only one hand grenade do not use any more and then come through here grab the um, insignia from the door and then go on through Right, loot this spinal just on your right as you come through for a, sorry, loot the lamp for a spinal. Loot these two barrels and then get in the boat. Yeah, I just edited my text guide there a little bit. Just noticed I didn't name something correctly. So once in here, 
grab the handgun bullets. If you haven't, you might have been in here already yourself, optionally, but I'm coming in here now. Loot that barrel, and then there's a barrel round the back of Gary's shack. Yeah, save your game. You don't really need to do anything at the shop just yet. Yep, save your game, very important here, in case you mess up this next bit. Yep, climb this ladder and then take the exit. Yeah, get them two barrels. Now, please pay attention here. This is why we do not want to alert the dog, by the way, or uh, save the dog. So first throw a grenade and then shoot him three times and then once you shot him three times you should knock him down and then reload your weapon quickly so you've got six bullets back in it and then climb him and keep spamming the button. This should take three attempts and then once you drop down throw another hand grenade and then same again three shotgun bullets but do not reload your weapon this time. The reason we reloaded is because we want to finish with a empty shotgun. Yeah, again, three shotguns to a sort of head area. And then get ready to jump on and knife the parasite again. And once more, throw another grenade and then three more shotgun to his head. And you've got to jump on top one more time and that should finish him off. Yeah, do not reload your shotgun, because now when we upgrade capacity later, we're going to get a full clip. Yep, yeah, that kills him. So loot him now for um, 15,000 gold. You can use a rocket launcher, but I, I like to use a hand grenade. Um, get the yellow herb, get the red herb, and get the handgun bullets. Obviously, you're going to combine them. And then come to the shack. You've got TMP ammo, spinal, green herb. I think it was. Yeah, so, yeah. These three shacks, you should find spinal and, and loot that barrel as well. Yeah, three shacks, you've got spinal, shotgun times five, thousand gold, handgun times ten, another thousand gold, TMP times fifty, another spinal, and a green herb. That's everything you should find in these three shacks, so just make sure you grab them all. Some of the shacks do have something in the corner, so just make sure you look at the floor as well. And once you've got all the loot in the area, remember, make sure you looted the barrel near the exit door as well. We're gonna come back to Gary and just sell a few things, because otherwise, until we get to Gary for the next time, we may run into a, we may run into a bit of trouble where we do not have enough space to pick things up. Possibly. It normally does happen. So you want to sell Team Piamo. You can sell the green, red and yellow mix. Sell the spinal, sell the amber ring. And that's all you need to do really. So we freed up a bit of space. You can also upgrade the cap capacity now on the shotgun. You can do that later, you don't really need to do it now. But yeah, upgrade capacity on the shotgun. And save your game again now that that El Gigante is dead. Yep, and then back up guys into the previous area and then back into the cemetery. Yeah, you can loot the shack on your right when you're coming through here. Yeah, it's going to be some dogs now, but these dogs, I i don't think I've ever been hit by them. Yeah, just take a wide arc, we're going into the church, but just take a wide arc, and they all should sort of lunge but miss. 
I've never been hit by them. If you do get hit, it's just really unlucky and you can just retry from checkpoint and run again. Now, when you get into the church, loot this first barrel down the side path for a flash grenade. Yep, and then loot the 3,000 gold from the altar at the back. Then we're going to climb up the ladder. And loot these two barrels. Yeah, jump along the chandeliers. Now just keep spamming square, and then normally as soon as the square pumped appears, you'll jump across and land um, on the next bit. Yeah, now for this puzzle, guys, obviously grab them two barrels, you'll get a fire grenade in one of them. Yeah, you need to turn red two times, turn green three times, turn blue one time, and then combine. And that'll be it. So it's red, red, green, 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 blue, and then combine. Now open the door to Ashley. Yep, once you spoke to Ashley and got her back, as you can see, she's in a night armor. She is invincible. Yeah, loot these barrels. You should get handgun times 10. Some of them are random, but you almost always get handgun times 10, and you'll get handgun times 10 again, and you also get a green herb from this barrel here. And then all we're going to do now is go back down to the front of the church downstairs. You don't need to catch Ashley. And there'll be a cutscene and you'll finish the chapter. Save your game as always. Yeah, and in here, loot these barrels. You'll almost always get red herb. Handgun times 10 as well. And 1,000 gold. You always get them. When you come out here, shoot the nest in the tree for some at random. Yeah, normally gold. We're not going to kill the enemies here, but we're going to kill a few. Just wait near this cart for some of them, some of them to come close and then shoot it. Yeah. If it lets one survive, it's because you let him get sort of too fast past the cart uh, too far sorry you need to sort of kill them when they're sort of touching down near the front of it and then yeah shoot it then just head on down grab the loot afterwards shoot this nest for a spinal and then shoot this nest back at the exit to the secret passage for something at random and then climb down into the tunnel we're going to talk to Gary now What's up, Gary? Right, let's see. We're gonna sell the Punisher. What are you buying? What are you selling? We're gonna sell a green, green, green mix. We're gonna sell Spinal, and that's all. And then we're gonna buy the Red Nine. We're gonna keep this up until Chapter Four. We, why? What I do? I use the Red Nine for now. Um, we use shotgun a little bit. Uh, we get this, we get a uh, rifle, semi-auto rifle, and we're going to fully upgrade the Red Nine now. By the way, yeah, we get the semi-rifle, semi-auto rifle in Chapter Three. We use that along with the Red Nine. Uh, we get a broken butterfly in Chapter Four, and we also get the striker in Chapter Four. And then once we get a striker, we actually sell the Red Nine because by then we've literally got like 150 shotgun ammo. Loot that crate in that little crevice for hangar bullets times 10. And then head up here. And up the ladder. Yeah, loot that barrel and turn around and shoot the lamp. For another spinal. Yep, and then come through here. Save your game if you want to. Loot the crate. Yeah, now when we go back outside, this bit's a bit of a pain in the ass killing the enemy, so I just I just sprint to the exit. Now there's a bear trap on the floor, just there, makes you go right around it. Run past that enemy, you need to bait and dodge this next one. Yeah, Ashley got grabbed, so it messed it up. I didn't take damage, but she got grabbed, so I just quickly retry from checkpoint. Yeah, see that bear trap, make sure she doesn't run in it. Run past that gill of the torch, bait this guy, dodge his attack, and then run past 
and this brim past this guy. There's some bear traps there as well, so keep to the left. Yeah, so just watch out for the bear traps on the floor. In here, we're going to loot this barrel. And then you can save your game, guys. Yep, so once you save your game, make sure you've got a flash grenade ready. Come up to this window and just wait a minute for a few of the enemies to come through. Uh, come t come near to the window and then lob a flashbang inside. Just wait like a few seconds, lob that in to stun them and then come in this ladder. Otherwise, one of them might grab Ashley and it can mess things up a little bit. Loot this hang handgun bullets from this cabinet. Get your handgun ready, you red 9, and then jump out here. Quickly shoot these two enemies. You can either shoot their throwing weapons quickly or you can just zigzag uh, to dodge them and then knock them down. But you just need to make sure you knock them down. Then drop down here, shoot that enemy, and then catch Ashley, and then go through the exit. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky shooting the throwing weapons from the enemies really quick. So you might just want to, as soon as you jump through the window, run across the um, outer catwalk so you miss the throwing weapons. Sort of run across and move left or right, and then turn and knock them down. You just need to make sure you knock them down, otherwise they can randomly grab Ashley. Okay, so in the cabin fight, Grab the uh, red herb near where you spawn in, grab the yellow herb here, and then grab the shotgun shells from the table in the middle. This loot will still be here at the end of it, so you don't need to worry about it if you can't get it all now. Now he's going to shoot this, okay, just let him in quicker. Yeah, he, uh, Lewis will sometimes give you handgun bullets, and then just going to shoot that one. I don't know why I can't hit it, there we go. Now come to the top of the steps and get your shotgun ready. We're going to use only a shotgun here. But watch out for guys in blue shirts, they will throw weapons and don't let enemies run too close to you before you shoot them. Uh, you, you, may, you may be thinking, I'm going to let them get really close before I shoot, you know, for more chances of uh, to do more damage to them. But the thing is, if they spawn a parasite and they're running at you, they'll keep running even if you decapitate them. And if they're sort of doing an attack and the parasite spawn, your shotgun blast will not stop the attack. So. Just don't let any of them get too close. I, it actually just happened to me, actually. We see an enemy, an enemy will run straight past me and spawn a power site. And But I do get quite... I, I mean, I have to turn around and run away a few times. But yeah, just keep doing this. You can... I mean, do not get loot if you can help it. And try to save your flash grenades if you can as well. Because they're coming. they're going to come in very useful later. The bit we're using for later, you can sort of... Yeah, this guy here. See, that's what can happen. Yeah, so... Yeah, be very careful of that. A power site will spawn and they'll just keep running past you. And obviously, try to reload when you, when it seems like no enemies are going to come for a second or two. Just give you a chance. So, you know, you don't have one running straight at you when you're reloading. Or for an enemy to run at you and throw a weapon while you're in the reload animation. Yeah, try to save your flash grenades if you can help it. Um, there's a part later and it's much easier with flash grenades, but if you need to use one, I guess, because you're getting swarmed, you can do, but just know that it might make this little bit, this part later on a little bit more difficult, but you know, I'll leave it up to you. Um, you need to have six red grenades for a upcoming part and you need to make sure you've got three hand grenades. Um, there is a flash grenade up here upstairs and another red grenade and another hand grenade so if you do need to use any I guess you can as long as you've still got six fire grenades left at the end of this and three hand grenades you could probably spare one of each of them but after a short time Louis will eventually come upstairs and that means they're going to start coming through the windows and once that happens, what I do, I come at the back and I, I just keep pushing these two ladders down. I just keep doing this. So just keep pushing these two down, but keep looking at the, at the um, staircase occasionally so you can see if any enemies are coming, getting too close to you. And yeah, just repeat that. So just keep pushing ladders down and keep looking at where the enemies are coming from. This way, the enemies are all only going to come from the direction of the ladder. Uh, sorry, the staircase. That's why I do this. And Louis, he should keep most of the others at bay. So yeah, just keep doing this. Sometimes, it, this can sometimes be good for a flash grenade. 
um, if you're getting swarmed if you turn around and suddenly there's parasite right next to you uh, but as long as you're you know pushing them ladders down and keep checking back on the staircase probably after each each time you knock a ladder down you should be able to keep the enemies at bay so after a certain amount of enemies are killed or a certain time has passed you'll complete that section complete the chapter so going to grab all the loot after grab the green herb upstairs that's fixed and like, like I said before upstairs there's always a green herb a red grenade a hand grenade and a flash grenade always upstairs um, but as soon as the chapter finishes Grab the loot first and save your game. If you save your game at the end of the chapter and then quit, when you reload, any items that the enemies dropped will, will have despawned. So you always, after finishing this chapter, you always just want to play the first part and you can save your game outside just so you can grab any loot. Because if you save it at the end, like I say, reload it, it will all despawn. I don't know why Ashley can't get down from there. There's a bloody door that's open. So once grabbed all the loot inside, Grab the TMP ammo off them logs and the handgun ammo from here. And then come to this lever and you want to open the gate on the right. Yeah, the right gate. Yeah, my stock is getting pretty full, but we're going to be using three hand grenades in a second. Um, yeah, so we can, we can free up a bit of it. So we're going to sell our TMP ammo. We can sell the green, red, and yellow mix. And we can sell a spinal. Do not sell your beer stein or the um, elegant mask. Do not sell them. Right, so I'm going to reload my red 9. Equip my shotgun. So on your shotgun, guys, if you, if you run out of ammo, if you like literally completely run out of ammo, reload, um, buy, capa uh, buy capacity upgrade just one time here, just to give you 9 shotgun bullets. You need nine shotgun bullets for this upcoming boss, uh, sort of mini boss, is an El Gigante again. Yeah, so if you completely have no ammo left for it, just upgrade capacity once so you get ten bullets and that will give you the nine that we need. But if you but if you still get ammo, you don't really need to worry about spending the money on it. So get in here, turn around and the El Gigante will spawn. Leave Ashley and just like again, we're gonna same again, lob a hand grenade, shoot him three times with shotgun, jump on top, knife a power sight. Hand grenade again, shotgun three times to the head, knife power sight. Do that three times and then that will kill him. He actually dies here only after doing it twice. Because sometimes that can happen. I think it's if you get eight swipes. Because if you're really quick, you can actually get eight swipes on his power sight. I normally only get seven. Sometimes I get six, sometimes I get eight. But on average, it's mostly seven I get. So, but yeah. Another thing with Ashley is um, when when you've got her following you, your your aiming field of view is reduced. So when you're aiming, if you notice it's a bit different, it's probably because Ashley is following you. So if you need to carefully aim at enemies, make Ashley wait and then aim, and you'll be able to zoom in a little bit closer. Once you killed him, loot the gold that he drops, 15,000. That's actually the first time I've killed that in two grenades, actually. It's almost always taken three. Yeah, so we're gonna grab all the loot now in this area. So this first shack has TMP times 50, handgun times 10, spinal, 1,000 gold, and a red grenade. Just outside here is a crate, a random crate, I believe this one. Yeah, loot that. And then we're gonna loot the second shack. In here will be the old key on the floor. You've got a spinal, Handgun times 10, shotgun times 5, 1000 gold, spinal, handgun times 10 again, and 1000 gold. Or have I wrote that twice? I don't know. Um, but yeah, after come outside and shoot down the purple gem, combine that with the elegant mask, and then get the handgun times 10 off this bench just out of sight. I think I've wrote handgun times 10 twice there. Yeah, what I do, I'm gonna once I pause this video, I'm gonna back up and just check check what I actually do collect. So I think I've um, wrote the same thing twice on my text guide. Yeah, when you come through here, we're gonna go up to Gary, loot the barrel next to him, and we're actually gonna sell sell the shotgun now. 
Yeah, sell it. So you'll get a minimum. You should get a minimum of uh, 34,280 for that. Uh, a little bit more if you've got ammo in it. And obviously a little bit more if you upgraded. You can pass it again. I didn't need to. I'm going to sell that hand grenade. Um, that one I should have used. And um, yeah, just sell them things that I did. As you can see, our ammo, we have a lot more space in our inventory now. Yeah, I don't use the shotgun now until um, until chapter 4, chapter 4 2, I think it is when I get one. Yeah, come inside here and get the rifle ammo times 10 in that locker. And then save your game at the typewriter. Yeah, that's normal. We we always always sell TMP ammo. Uh, you want to save your shotgun ammo. I know we don't have shotgun, but hoarding it all for later. Same with your rifle ammo. Yeah, we always sell always sell um, chicken eggs. Yeah, we always sell chicken eggs. Always sell TMP ammo. Always sell um, red, green, and yellow mixes. Always sell a green, green, green mix if you ever make one. Always sell your general treasures. You know, like um, spinals, emeralds and velvet blues from later. Yeah, loot that barrel, and then obviously any normal treasures, and your treasures that you can combine, we sell them when they're fully combined for maximum resale value. Yeah, here, so look at my zoom, but once I leave Ashley, it zooms in a lot more. So yeah, once you get onto the gondola, make Ashley wait. Make sure she's on the gondola with you, of course. I don't even know if you can actually get on it without her. Yep, and then shoot these enemies. As you come down, as long as you shoot them before they get too close, they shouldn't lob any weapons at you. There's two enemies stood on the on the platforms on the left as you're coming through, so just make sure you get them as you're coming down. Yeah, that should have been the last enemy. Yeah, once at the bottom, we're going to jump inside the control room. I'm going to loot the um, the locker inside. You'll get a flash grenade and handgun times ten. Yeah, these first few chapters go pretty quick, but the later chapters they're so they're so long. Yeah, now leave Ashley here. Now carefully edge around this corner and you want to shoot the dynamite. Careful. Because if you if you edge around too much, that guy throwing an axe. So you just come around slightly and then shoot that dynamite. Grab any loot. There's normally a barrel there, but um, he obviously smashed it, but there's nothing inside. Climb a ladder. Now just bait this guy and then run past. Because these guys are rakes. They're very easy to bait. Bait and dodge their attacks. Yeah, run past him. Loot this for the, the yellow cat's eye, which should complete the beer stein. Yeah, it should be completed now. There we go. We can sell that next. Bait him again and run past again. This guy, he normally spawns power sight, that's why I don't bother killing him. Yeah, then back to Ashley. Regroup. And we're going to go and see Gary now. There's an upcoming boss. But this boss is very easy if you've got fire grenades. Yeah, so loot the items next to him first. It's going to be shotgun times 10, handgun times 10, and TMP times 50. We're going to sell our TMP ammo. Yeah, we're going to sell that. We're going to sell the spinals. We'll sell... Well, I already sold them, but yeah, you can sell the beer stein, which is complete now, for 20,000, and then save your game. Yeah, so this boss, we're just going to use fire grenades. He he normally takes six. It can 
He can take a bit less, but if he takes any more, it's because you've missed so many. So it's a QTE to begin. And straight after, get ready to lob a red grenade. Yeah, so just lob it at him there. Wait for the fire, the flames to burn out, and then lob another for maximum damage. Then after two, that should separate him. Lob another quickly before he jumps away. If he jumps away, just back up. If not, he can lob another when the flames back up, and then he'll drop down, and then get ready to throw one or two grenades again, and that should finish him off. If you don't back up when he jumps up out of the way, he'll do a QTE. So yeah, that's pretty much how to do that. And then we'll grab all the loot in the area. Um, I'll just go over that again quickly. Just give you another... Just to make some of the details a bit finer. Yeah, make sure you loot him afterwards a boss with a false eye and a 30,000 gold. You can shoot this red barrel, by the way. The spinal hidden in sight. You've got a green herb there. And shotgun shells and spinal. I'll, I'll just explain the strategy a bit more, guys, after we get out of this area. So there won't be any loot to pick up. There's quite a lot of loot in here. I, don't, don't, I want to make sure you don't miss any. So up on the catwalk, you've got a yellow herb, you've got a green herb. And you've got handgun, handgun bullets on the side of that crate. You've got hand grenade in the window. You've got a red herb in the window here. Remember, there was a spinal inside that red barrel we had to shoot. Yeah, and then drop down, there's a red grenade in the corner here, just there. And then you've got TMP ammo here and handgun bullets. And that's all that's in here, guys, all the loot. So just jump out X, jump out now. And all we're doing now, we're making our way all the way back up at Gondola. There shouldn't be any enemies on your way. Yeah, all the way back up to the top of Gondola. And um, yeah, I just explained that boss in more detail. So when the boss fight begins, yeah, there's a QTE. And that boss is very weak to fire. That's why the red grenades work very well on him. So you should almost always be, as soon as the battle begins after QTE, you should always, you should already be aiming in the place you want to lob the red grenade. So just lob one. You wait for flame to burn out because there's like a initial damage. I think when it explodes, and then the, f the flame does damage as well. So wait for flames to burn out, and then lob another. After two. That should make him separate from his torso. And then you have to be quick with the next one, otherwise he sort of jumps away, like he did with me. If you're quick, he can get two, because one will sort of stun him and keep him in place a bit longer. But if you only get one before he jumps away, just back up straight after. But if you can get two in, that's great. Uh, but once he does jump up in the um, into the rafters, into the roof, back up. So like I say, if you don't back up, he's going to do a QTE and it's going to delay things a little bit. Just back up, he'll always drop down there and you can lob one or two more to finish him off. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So yeah, here, use your false eye. And I actually learned something here, which I didn't know before. Uh, I actually, on this playthrough recording this, I thought I was going to try it and it worked. <laughs> I didn't believe how well it worked actually. Yeah, when you first come in after using the false eye, loot the handgun bullets, just on your right there. And once you go so far forward, yeah, just you don't need to move back. I had to because Ash is bloody in the way. Yeah, shoot the driver. I don't know what this guy's doing. How did he outrun that truck? I probably should have let him survive just for that. Yeah, then once you shot the driver, just loot the back for 5,000 gold. Yeah, now if you, if you keep looking at the door, the enemies don't spawn. As long as you run past a truck and look away, about 10 enemies will spawn. But if you do this, they don't. Yeah, just keep your eyes on the door and the enemies will not come in. Pretty weird. Yeah, just do not take your camera off that door. Yeah, it probably seems a bit weird, like you don't believe me. Trust me, as soon as you turn the camera around, the enemy's going to spawn. You'll hear them. But if you turn it around straight away, they'll spawn just as you get past the truck. Because I like to loot these two barrels. That's why I'm not taking, that's why I don't want them enemies. So smash these. Loot them. Watch this. Wait. There they go, they spawned. As soon as you turn the camera away, they spawn. Yep, and that's it guys. So we've got a velvet blue from there and a random barrel. Here we go, chapter 3-1. We're going to get a new weapon in this bit and another upgrade to our inventory case. So yeah, save your game. Welcome to chapter 3, where the fun really begins. Yeah, them first few chapters probably been fairly easy up to the point compared to this. Yeah. These next few chapters are so long. 
Yeah, so um, we loot that first barrel, uh, then that one there for shotgun shells times five. And this crate there has got a snake inside, so be very careful. You see that I'm taking no chances, I'm using my handgun from a distance. Yeah, so make sure you've looted all the barrels that I did. And this red chest at the back should have 5,000 gold inside. And I'm going to go inside the shack, grab the green herb, and then talk to Gary. Make sure you've combined any herbs if you need to. And let's have a chat. Yes, his shop is open, as long as it's between nine, nine and five is opening hours. Yeah, so we're gonna sell. You can sell all your TMP ammo, you can sell your chicken eggs, you can sell one green red mix, you can sell your spinal, your velvet blues, and then you can buy the attached case large and also buy the semi auto rifle. This is perhaps my best weapon in the game, if I'm honest. I guess other than the um, unlockable weapons, which I've not really used, yeah, this is probably my best weapon in the game, the semi-auto rifle, it's awesome. It headshots almost everything, it decapitates everything in almost one shot. Um, so you upgrade to the Red 9 to max, the rifle upgrade only the firepower and the reload speed. Leave the capacity. Yeah, we're gonna try and, I try to let you know when, but it's times when you want to try and not to reload the rifle uh, because there'll be probably like an upcoming uh, visit with Gary so you can upgrade capacity then to get a full clip as well. So save your game once you're done. Yeah, because you may be low in ammo. Normally at this point, I've normally got much more rifle ammo than this. I'm actually quite low compared to normal. Yeah, but don't just, to begin with, you, you can get short of rifle ammo if you're not careful. So yeah, just be careful with your ammo to begin. There's rifle ammo on this crate. And if you look up from the crate, you can see that you see that guy just up there. You can see his head wobbing, bobbing back and forth. Headshot him. Now, other than that little spot there, you can't really see him anywhere else. And you need to kill him because um, he will, he activates one of the four catapults. There's four catapults in this area. We've just disabled one. Now here, wait for two fireballs to come down and then sprint to this side of the area. You should make it in time for the next. Up the second set of steps, stop, turn and look this way and shoot that red barrel in the distance with your pistol. Then come up to these steps onto this little bridge and then stop on the bridge and shoot that red barrel and then one more. And that will be all the catapults destroyed then. That's it, once all four destroyed, destroyed, come over here and leave Ashley on there. Tell her to wait on the start of that bridge and then start rotating this crank. And what that will do, normally a enemy will run towards you, an enemy with a gold helmet. But if you leave Ashley there, she distracts him, so you do not get interrupted. And just rotate his crank and then quickly activate the cannon. And that will despawn all the enemies in the area. Don't listen to her cries for help, she's fine. She's just complaining like normal. Yeah, come round here, yeah, she's always bloody complaining. Yeah, get his gold bangle from the red chest. And then go inside the shack and loot the two crates for a velvet blue. And gold, I think that gold is fixed, two and a half thousand. And get the yellow herb from the red chest. You can combine that to make a red, green, yellow mix. And it's gonna get a bit more loot and then we'll leave the area. So now just come back down here, now that the area is enemy free. No enemies can disturb you right now. You are free as a bird. Yeah, come down here, and in here there's three barrels. One's got a fire grenade. You got a velvet blue, and I think the other one's just random, this one here. And then if you remember that gazebo near the start, where the two fireballs came down, that little scene, there's a uh, spinal. Yeah, so grab Leon's spine, and then head back up the steps. I'm gonna take the exit now. Yeah, this chapter takes ages, honestly. Ages. Yeah, Gary's here, but um, you can sell the red, green, yellow mix if you want. Just give you an extra space in your inventory. 
Keep everything else for now. Keep your hand grenades. Keep your flashes. Keep your hand grenades. And keep your red grenades. They'll probably... I think they'll become useful in this chapter. Yeah, grab this uh, shotgun. And then grab the shotgun ammo. And then grab the platinum sword from the wall. And grab the gold from his cabinet. 2,000. And then go up these steps and leave Ashley near the top just there. And then come back down. You just run up the steps so the enemies see you. And you're going to kill them as you come down the steps. There should be three enemies. Do not go all the way to the top of steps yet. Because it will, it will spawn another enemy. So it will come in through the door we came through. So there will be three enemies. Be careful for power sites that will spawn. If, do, if they power sites do spawn, get out of the way. And kill them from a distance. Don't worry about Ashley. She's fine. She can take it. She's a tough one. Yep, so he had a power sight. If you want to get rid of power sights quickly, just equip your rifle and headshot the power sight. Yeah, so it's shooting between his legs. That's it. Once you kill them three enemies, leave Ashley at the bottom of the steps next. Then go to the top. Quickly get the um, gold sword. Then go back to the top of the steps quickly. If you don't think you're going to be quick enough, just stay at the top of the steps. Because once you get to the top of the steps, these guys come in after about five seconds. Now you're going to have six black enemies rush for you. That's the enemies in the black robes. Yeah, so you'll get sort of four, two or four to begin with. And then once you kill a few of them, another two will come in. So it's going to be six black enemies and you've got one red enemy, which you can see. So get rid of these. Ashley will distract a few of them. Just don't let them get too close to you. Yeah, so you see a power sight, just get a headshot of a rifle. It's a lot quicker to get rid of them. It's like an instant kill then. You'll hear the door open when a few more come in. I think there's still two more black enemies to come in. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, if you get them full to full forward, you can just sort of headshot them. Yeah, nice. And then once you kill the six black enemies, you just got the red enemy left. So this guy, he almost always spawns a power sight. So I'm just going to quickly do him with the um, rifle. That's it. Nice, quick, easy kill. That's it. Once you've got the six enemies and the red enemy, place the gold sword down the bottom. And then place the platinum sword at the top. And while we're at the top, we're going to grab all the loot upstairs. So you've got two crates over here. Yeah, one will always have a spinal, and then I think the other one's random. In this cabinet, you've got a red herb, and they've got gold on the table. I think I might, have I already got the gold when I grab the um, golden sword? No, I didn't. Yeah, grab that gold, and then place the sword and go through the door. Obviously, a cleaner put the swords in the wrong place. Now this bit, there is a checkpoint after this cutscene. Yeah, there's a checkpoint just there. Now I tried to follow my lead here, be quick, there's a lot of enemies here, but it's quite easy to get through if you follow me. So follow him to the doorway and leave Ashley in front of the doorway. Come back here, turn around, and wait for sort of three or more enemies to come out the door. And then shoot the red barrel. That should kill most of them. Leave Ashley there to distract the enemy still. There's six enemies in total in this little room. So I killed three then. I've, I think I've killed five before that red battle. If you wait until right at the last minute. But yeah, get all six enemies. Yeah, who ever thought that Ashley would come in useful? She's actually a good strategy. You know, she's pretty useful to the strategies now. Yeah, once you've got all the enemies, obviously loot them. And they're going to loot this room. Like I said, there should be six enemies there in total. Loot the cabinet for a two and a half gold. Loot the handgun bullets from the table. Look out this window. Now, once you shoot this guy, he won't shoot you to begin with, but once you shoot him, you'll alert him, then he'll start shooting back. So just kill him in one hit with a headshot from a sniper rifle. Then you don't have to worry about him aggroing if you you know you miss your shot with the handgun. Yep, once you've got him, come out this door. Now it's gonna be two shield enemies down here. What I do, I walk through, get their attention. They turn around, leave Ashley there to distract them, and they turn around and headshot them both. You, you got to sort of imagine where the head would be, and um, your rifle will go through the shield. 
Yeah. Or you can just try and be cocky like that and kill two in one. Yeah, but once you've got them, come in here. Now, when you take the key item in this room, it's going to spawn a few more enemies. Yeah, grab the green herb, loot the velvet blue from this barrel. Now, when you take the item from this red chest, some enemies are going to spawn, so be ready. As soon as you take it, the castle gate key, come down here and shoot that red barrel. That should kill most enemies but come through the door. And then quickly go out. There's only normally two enemies that come along the bottom path. The other three go along the top. So you just need to take out the bottom two enemies and they can run past. Um, I just took out more there because I guess I was quick. I guess if you're super quick, you can get all five at once. And then back here and through this door. Into the Grand Hall, I think this one's called. Um, yeah, the Grand Hall. So loot these two biases. You got a velvet blue, and um, there was a treasure on top of that top arch. Here it is. Yeah, so we've got a velvet blue from one of them pots, and shoot that down for the purple gem. You'll get another elegant mask later. So you, you'll notice you can't combine this. You've already got one. You'll get another elegant mask. And there is one treasure we missed actually. It was a red a gem. loot those two pots. There was a good reason we didn't get the red gem, it's because you have to do an optional area, which is a pain in the ass, there's like tons of enemies. It would have been easy if we had the um, semi-auto rifle or the striker, but we don't, so um, I avoided that. It's when we kill the El Gigante in 2-3. You can take two routes there. You know when you flip the lever to go left or right, yeah, it's down the other route. But anyway, here, grab a handgun from a chair, grab the 5,000 gold from behind the picture, and then loot this pot. I think that's random. Come down here, loot the yellow herb from the barrel. Combine it to get a red, yellow, green mix. And then get the prison key from off this wall. And then we're going to head down into the dungeon and fight the, what's the name? I always forget the name of these enemies, like always. One minute, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, th I think I was. Yeah, loot them two barrels. You'll get a red grenade and something random. And when you open this door, leave Ashley outside. Do not bring Ashley through that door with you. Leave her outside. Grab the green herb down the bottom. And then shoot the shotgun on the beam near the ceiling. For shotgun shells times five. Yeah, make sure you left Ashley outside. You'll see why soon. Yeah, open this gate quickly. Press the lever, turn around, sprint out, and up to the door, and it'll close. Yeah, there you go, up to the door. Now, what you do now, because Ashley can't actually come in, you can use the command to make a follow or wait to actually alert the enemy, and you want to shoot him in the back four times, but wait until his um, his claws get stuck in the wall. So all I do, he can't hear you when you're walking by the way, when you run he can. I just walk and then keep pressing R1 to get his attention and wait for him to do that. And then I just shoot him in his parasite. When I, when I worked out a strategy on normal, what's it normal or professional? I know I didn't use this strategy on my normal playthrough, on my guide. Um, but when I worked out a strategy, he used to always, every time I press R1 to make Ashley follow or wait, he would always start with the um, the claw thrust where you get stuck in the wall. Um, but yeah, you can see he won't always do it, you just got to move around. As long as you keep walking backwards, even if he just run for you and does a sort of um, flurry of swipes, um, you'll walk out of range anyway. So you shoot him in the back, and then just wait. If he runs at you, just he won't be running to you, it will just be running to your maybe last location. Yeah, always wait for him to stop an attack before you press R1 again to get Ash, you know, to say Ashley wait. And after four shots, he'll be dead. Yep, loot him afterwards, the exit will unlock. Yep, and Ashley's back. Right, if you're quick, you can snipe this guy in the distance. Wow, if you're quick, we got to be quick. Don't worry if you're not, really do not worry. Now these guys, try and make them fall down near the chair. Yeah, we messed up. And if you make them fall down near the chair, you can kill them both for that. If not, just finish them off with the red nine. Yep, 
Yeah, uh oh. Yeah, you get a power sight, quickly get out of there. Do not hang around. And then just use the sniper rifle. The semi auto. My favourite weapon. Opti's weapon of choice. I don't normally find uh, rifles that good in the Resident Evil games, if I'm honest, but in this, it's just it's awesome. Now, here, just sprint ahead. The dynamite will miss you, but it will kill all three enemies. There's hang on bullets times 10 on there. Loot these enemies after. And that guy, which we headshot just not long ago, he's normally standing here. He'll just stand there. So um, when you come through, obviously you kill him first and then grab the loot. Now this bit, this is the part that everybody dreads. So first of all, shoot one of these and then quickly exit and come back in. You're shooting, you're shooting the two archers first, then shoot him. And then exit and then come back in. And you can reload. What, what it will do, exit and coming back in, it sort of resets the enemies. Um, which is good and what I'm doing so after I've killed the two archers I'm going back to save the game so if you mess up a bit too much you don't have to do all that again so you just kill the two archers and then come back and save your game yeah it just rather than having to do it all again and kill the um, Garado again so that's the name I also get the name of that bloody creature the Wolverine type guy um, hold on I've got it right down Ger Gerardo I don't know if I pronounced it right. Yeah, the Gerardo, the guys, the um, blind guys with the big claws, the long fingernails. This bit can take a bit of practice, but you've got a safe point. If you need to, you can just keep reloading from safe and retrying. But we, we're going to be, be using the rifle for the most part here. And you need to quickly headshot enemies, kill them in one shot. So you've got a shield, guys, headshot them. Leave the red guy. That red guy always spawns power sight, by the way, so you know he's going to take two shots. He'll almost always run away to begin with. Um, so get two shield enemies that come down the middle to you, and then an enemy will come to the left and the right. Now here, two enemies will come down the middle again, and the uh, two enemies on the left. Yeah, but you need to be quick, because um, two other enemies sort of run from in the distance to you. Two enemies with masks. And they've got to Ashley already. Yeah, these two here. They run back down. You, the, you see the red guy? He runs away. And these two sort of come back with him. But yeah, just keep an eye out on the enemies. If you need to, you can re-exit and come back in to um, reset all the enemies, uh, their locations. But the only thing with that is any loot which the enemies dropped, it will despawn. That's the only bad thing about it. it. It just helped leaving them coming back in. But if they drop any like rifle ammo or any you know anything precious, it will all despawn. So yeah, once you've got them bunch of enemies, uh, next will be a shield enemy and one more hooded enemy. But you've probably got about 20 seconds till they appear. So you can quickly grab some loot while you're waiting. Them pots are just smashed, had a velvet blue inside. You got gold there. Oh look, they've come already. So yeah, two more enemies will spawn. Now nobody else, after that, that shield enemy and the hooded enemy come, no one else will come until you sort of push on a bit. So you can sort of loot the area. Yeah, that pot was just smashed. I think it always has a red grenade inside. Yeah, so once you've got all the pots and the loot, carry on to the far end. And there'll be two enemies sort of just standing here. You can headshot them or completely miss and get their attention. Yeah, so there'll be two enemies here. Once you shoot, though, you'll get their attention. But normally I can headshot them both. Um, but now I'm just going to take them out with the red 9. Because no more enemies will spawn now until we press the, press the yellow pressure plates. Yeah, I'm completely... my actually gone out the window here. He did a little Power Ranger dive. Right, Power Sight. Yeah, Power Sight. Always try and just use the sniper rifle. Get rid of it quickly. Ashley, standing right in the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, if they didn't drop any loot, right, head down to where they were. And there'll be two big pots. One of them has a hand grenade inside. Follow me. Yep, hand grenade in one of these. Yep, take it and then come through this door. Right, there's a green herb in here and shotgun on the chair. Leave Ashley on one of the yellow plates and then you go and stand on the other. And then you'll make the crank appear. 
but that will also spawn another wave of enemies so what we're going to do now we're going to leave Ashley in front of the door and we're going to come over here she's going to be a decoy for any enemies coming in but just be careful because two or three enemies will drop through the hole in the ceiling that's why we're standing all the way back here yeah so what I do when the enemies come through you can sort of let them grab Ashley and then you can sort of headshot them just hold R2 uh, to do sort of five or sh six shots quickly and normally the fifth or sixth shot should decap decapitate them if any shield enemies come in just quickly get the rifle and headshot them get rid of them quickly yeah see that hole in the roof just above my cursor now my crosshair that's where enemy will drop down it's a shield and the first enemy that drops down is a shield enemy um, so if you're quick you can just do that or because he's got his back to you it's back exposed you can just use the red nine uh, just be careful picking up any loot that they drop because you do not want a few enemies to pop in uh, when you're grabbing loot and yeah always try to get to the back because like I say you do not want an enemy dropping down behind you Yeah, power sights, always use semi-auto semi rifle, get rid of them quickly. Shield guy, use a rifle. There, here he is, the second guy that drops from the ceiling. I think it's only two that drop. I thought I remembered at one point in the past that three dropped down. Um, but yeah, only... It always seems to be two now. I'm not sure just because I do it differently now. You know, one of them already spawned down, uh, dropped down near the start. You know, when we're looting the initial part of this area. So grab any loot. Now, that should be about most of the enemies done. Um, if, you th if you're still worried, just wait inside there for about 20 more seconds. If no enemies show up, uh, then they're done. This guy with the gold helmet, sometimes he'll come in to you. Uh, but if not, he'll just be standing here on the right in the corner. And as long as all the enemies are dead, no more enemies going to spawn. So it's not like a infinite spawn, it's only so many enemies that appear. Now, once all the enemies have stopped spawning, get Ashley to activate the crane, the crank, the crane. Yeah, get her to activate the crank, you donuts, not a crane. Yep, yeah, and get a flash grenade ready. Now, straight away, lobby flash. As soon as that bridge lowers, there'll be three enemies with throwing weapons, and you want to flash them quickly. Or they're going to decapitate you. So straight away, bam. Yes, and now get your red nine. Now there'll be two more guys we've missed. Shoot them as they come down the steps. Just knock them down and then wait for the red guy. That's it. Don't worry about the guys that are stunned. They'll stay stunned for probably like 20 seconds. You've got time. And then once them two are knocked down, run up the stairs safely. And after this cutscene, it's a checkpoint. So you can retry from checkpoint to despawn them enemies. Cool, eh? Yeah, we're going to come in this door, and um, this pot has a first aid spray, I think it is. Yeah, I couldn't... Sometimes I can't quite remember if it's this side or the other side, but yeah, that one's got a first aid spray. This one over here is random, but we're going to loot it anyway. Yeah, don't worry, no more enemies are going to spawn until we start the next sort of um, step in the story. Yeah, grab that gold, or whatever you get, I guess. And then these two pots at the top. One of these pots has rifle times 10 or 15, and the other one has shotgun ammo of a similar quantity. Uh, 10, and shotgun, what is it? 10, yeah. Okay, so send Ashley up this side. If you send her up this side, you don't get a shield enemy, but if you send her up the other side, a shield enemy will come for you. Yeah. Um, what will happen, I mean, you know what happens here, but five enemies will come for you on the bottom floor. If you put her up that way, none of them will have a shield. So, as you're, as you're protecting her, look out for five enemies coming for you. Three come for you first, and then one will come a bit later, and then one a little bit later after that. So just be ready to kill the first three enemies. And after this, we're going to meet Gary. So at the end of this part, try to end up with an empty rifle, so that we can upgrade capacity after this and get a full clip. Yeah, so take out these three. You don't need to worry about Ashley. Remember, she can't die. 
And they can't pick her up either, she's too heavy. Yeah, so enemy number four, and as you can see there, enemy number five is just coming up the red carpet now. So once you've got enemy number five, no more enemies will come for you. So you can safely protect Ashley, little Ashley. Right, loot them, and yeah, protect Ashley now. So yeah, try to end with an empty rifle, guys. So, um, yeah, don't know where he's going. He's giving me funny looks and walking towards me. Thinks I'm scared. Yeah, so I've got one bullet. Make it count. Maybe I should save that one for myself. Oh, and I missed. Okay, so I'm not reloading my rifle just for one shot. I'm going to use my Red 9. Yeah, you can use Red 9. I mean, obviously, it's a bit harder to aim. But she should be done shortly. Come on, Ashley. Turn that crank, love. Come on, darling. What does Leon call her at the end? Is it darling or sweetheart? My memory escapes me. I don't know. I can't remember. Right, come on, Ash. She should be done any... There we go. She must have heard me complaining. Right, catch her. Don't shout. I'm here. You can just talk normally. Leon! I can hear you. Yeah, yeah all right. Now to head across here. The funny thing is, that water's really shallow, so I could have just walked across. Yeah, come into this door. Guess Capcom got to give us something to do. Yeah, come to this door. Wait for Ash. Yeah, because she can't open doors by herself. Yeah, so um, we're safe now. Almost at the end of the chapter. She's going to loot the area. In this cabinet, you got shotgun times five. And smash this for a hand grenade. Grenade that goes in your hands. Yeah, pick it up. And they shoot the spinal down from the eye of that statue. Yeah, the eye of the beholder. And over on top of a shelf on this side is a handgun. Yep, and they get his two parts. I'm not going to do a shooting range. Range. If you want to do it, go and do it. I'm not. Because I don't need to. All you get is gold. And um, we actually have an extra 200,000 plus at the end of the game. Alright, so we've smashed the pots, we've got all the other loot in this area. We're going to have a little chat with Gary now. And I'm also going to upgrade my rifle capacity. I advise you to do the same, but if you've got a full clip, you may want to wait until later. So I'm going to sell my handgun, uh, sorry, green herb, green, my green, 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 times one. And I'm going to sell all my treasures except for my elegant mask and the purple gem. Yeah, do not sell the purple gem or the elegant mask. Uh, upgrade the red nine as much as you can rifle yes upgrade the firepower and upgrade capacity only once save the other capacity for later yep so that's how my inventory is looking yep you're going to be using sniper rifle quite a bit to begin with at the start of this next chapter just going to make a manual save yeah I'm going to start saving in different save slots now yeah, so um, head up here guys, and that will finish that chapter. What a long chapter that is! That's 3-1. Next up, 3-2. Yep, yeah, 3-2 begins. Yeah, it's going to be some of them novice, novice Tadors. I, I'm completely pronounce that completely wrong. Yeah, to make sure you loot them first two barrels, one will have a flash grenade inside. The um, the invisible enemies, um, yeah, I'm just gonna call them the invisible enemies. What, what are they called? Novistados or something. Novistados, I think you're probably called Novistados. That sounds right, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the invisible enemies, if you shoot them in there, you can see where the saliva is coming from. Obviously, that's their head. If you go for a headshot, it'll be an instant kill with the sniper rifle with this current upgrades. So yeah, shoot that one, and then come along here. Do not run any further than what I do, and then turn around. And there's two down here. And you can headshot them too. Remember, just near where the saliva is, obviously just above, because of gravity. Yeah, there'll be a velvet blue in the corner. You've got hangar bullets times ten there. Loot their bodies, and then grab the um, TMP times fifty, and that's in that drain. Now come out this door. Now once you come out the door, do not go any 
do not walk any further forward than what I do. Now I just want to show you something. There's an enemy up here, but you can't actually see him. I mean, you can just see his saliva, but you can't see his body. But as you can see, your weapon actually just makes contact with him. So I just wanted to show you with the red knife so you can see. Um, now you can just hit him with your sniper rifle. And you may need to edge forward slightly, but don't go too far forward, so he'll drop down. Yeah, like so, you can just hit him in the head. Now when he's dead, an uh, enemy will come out of this cell. Be ready to shoot him two or three times. If you shoot him normally, it'll be three shots, but if you can headshot him, like it's an instant kill. So try to keep him in the cell, because otherwise he'll jump up to the ceiling, and then it's more tricky then. I know what he's done, he's jumped up to the roof inside the cell. But they can't they can't actually come out a door when they're on the ceiling, so yeah, one more shot, that's it. If he does come to you and you can't stop him, then go back in that room and kill him as he comes through the door. And there's one more guy down here. Come straight down that path to the puddle, then turn right and shoot him. If you go too far forward into where we are now, that will trigger that one to come for you. But doing it that way, you can kill him while he's still sort of dormant. Now we're going to loot the area. You've got a yellow herb. Obviously you've got a loot we just got from the enemies, what they dropped. You've got a red grenade on the sink. In here you've got shotgun shells and a file, I guess. I don't pick up the file. Yeah, you want to keep, um, I think, three fire grenades we keep. Yeah, three fire grenades come in helpful. Yeah, uh, loot in this one. Loot does disappear eventually, by the way, but I'm sure you know about that. Uh, drops loot. Yeah, in here, loot is two crates. Uh, you get a shotgun and a green herb. Loot this red chest for a butterfly lamp. Butterfly lamp, when they're fully combined, I think it's the most expensive treasure in the game. And yeah, pour that to turn the valve and drain the water. Now, new enemies will spawn now. One will spawn here, headshot it, but another one will spawn in its place. So wait a few seconds. There he is. Yeah, so two spawn in that uh, tunnel in the roof. Loot them both. Now, we're not going to kill anymore, we're just going to sprint for the exit. I've never been caught doing this. Yeah, never been caught. So we're going to combine them. The um, green eye and the red eye. It's, it's sort of random what colour eyes them enemies drop, but yeah, just combine whatever you have with the butterfly lamp. Yeah, now quickly, see that guy come through the cell? Turn left, another guy will drop from the hole in the ceiling as well. Quickly drop down here, kick the cell door down, and up the steps, do not collect anything. Yeah, through this door, and once you get to the... Um, once you get to the trap, there'll be a checkpoint. Yeah, just about there. And once you get there, you can retrieve from checkpoint. Make sure you walk there. It's not as soon as you get into the room, it's when you get near the trap. Yeah, then retrieve from checkpoint that, reset them. Now we're just going to come back, we're just going to loot these two barrels. And then we're going to get the velvet blue just down the stairs, behind them. Be quick here, because the enemies do get alerted to you again, but doing that just gives you time to them, just gives you a window. Um, to just get that loot before they get a chance to catch back up to you. Right, so once you've got them, including that velvet blue, make your way along the trap, be careful. And loot this velvet blue here. Come up here, climb the ladder, loot these two barrels, and then get hand grenade ready and head inside the door. Yeah, you get a spinal there, and I think a random item. Now, with the hand grenade here, um, you can kill all but one of the enemies um, with one throw. If you mess up, you can just retry from checkpoint to reload at the door. But yeah, I normally turn some about there and then lob it. And drop down straight away and run to the door at the end to lob it, to sort of close it. Um, so if you do, if any extra enemy survive, as well as a red one, they can't escape. So yeah, sprint over to this so it closes. Then turn around and just finish off any enemies with the red nine. This guy, he will spawn a parasite. Yeah, if you knock him down, you can sort of shoot him in the back of his head, where it's exposed like that. Get a headshot, and like I say, he will spawn a parasite. Yeah, so um, if any black guys did survive, you can just quickly get rid of them now. He'll drop a Illuminado's pendant, and then grab the spinal so all the other enemies dropped quickly before they disappear. I think there's 11... Now I think there's 10 spinals altogether. 
because when I sell him, I got I have eleven, but I, I know he did collect one spinal in the previous room. So once you've got looted them all, climb up the ladder where you drop down and jump across the chandelier. Jump across to the other side and loot these two barrels. One will have a velvet blue inside. I think the other's random, can't quite remember. And then carry on forward a bit more to nearer Gary and then jump across the chandelier again. Pull a lever on your right to open the gates. Yep, and then loot this red chest for another elegant mask. Yeah, I don't know how I managed to um, destroy the side glass but not the front glass there. Yes, that's the second elegant mask. So you can combine your purple gem with that mask, which you have. I think that's... no. I was going to say, I think that's the only combinable treasure which you get too often in the game. But you get two butterfly lamps as well. So I'm just going to save the game now. So once you've saved, we're going to head up the steps and talk to Gary. Right, I'm just catching up to where we are on my um, text guide. Yeah, talk to Gary. And um, yeah, you need to keep three fire grenades. You can sell your TMP ammo. Yeah, so you can sell some of your fire grenades. Uh, sell your green, red and yellow mix. Sell your spinal, sell your velvet blues. And sell your illuminados pendant. Yeah, like I say, you can sell some of your fire grenade guys. Just make sure you keep three. Now in here, grab the red herb. And follow, follow me very closely this guy. This strategy is going to be very important. Hang on times 10. Now, when you open this door, there's two archers. What I normally do, I open it, then back up. And you'll be able to hear them shooting. Now, wait for two to hit the door, so you, because then you know they're reloading. Quickly shoot one. Try to shoot him so the barrel's behind him. And then you can get, you know, detonate that as well. And then shoot the other guy. If you think the other guy's going to shoot you, uh, just go back through the door and then shoot him after, you know, when he's reloading. Then I'll come over to this corner, one enemy will run for you, but the other you'll have to shoot him, get his attention. And then I'll knock the one down that comes for you, and then shoot the red barrel when they both get close. And then, now we're going to loot the pots in this room, because no more enemies will come for you for now. Don't go out, you know the way we came in, do not go out, do not go out this room and come back, because it actually, it doesn't just de-aggro the enemies, it actually resets every enemy. So the enemies you killed will respawn. So yeah, do not leave this area and come back in. So it actually respawns all the enemies. Yeah, once you've got all the loot, come in here, loot these two barrels. And there's going to be a helmet guy at the top here. Yeah, just shoot him on the steps so he slides down into your arms. And then finish him off. Yeah, out here if you turn left there's going to be rifle ammo on there, times five. Now come around here, now before you drop down, just kill this enemy that you can see, before you drop down, yeah just kill him. That's it, now there should be one more, but um, you'll see him when you drop down. Yeah, so he'll either be down here with you, or he'll drop down, yeah, he's here. If he's not here, he'll drop down just near where you drop down. So if you don't see him, just run ahead, turn around, and you'll see him. Now this red guy, if you're quick, if you can shoot him in the back of the head, you can headshot him there and then, um, because normally what happens as soon as you as soon as you aim on him, he'll run away. Yeah, get that shotgun ammo and loot the treasure, loot the gold. Now what's going to happen? He's run into that side room with a staircase, uh, but when he comes back into this room, he's going to spawn with a Gatling gun. So the key is to drop down here if you do manage to scare him away, and then come through this door. Now don't kick it; just push it normally. And then he doesn't run away as quick. Now run after him and shoot him on the steps. Shoot him in the leg. That's it. And shoot him in the back of the head. Two or three shots should de decapitate him. Yeah. Or he might get one if you're lucky. Again, if he gets back up, just knock him down. Shoot him when he runs. That way he will always fall forward. And his head will be exposed. Yeah, I'm a bad shot. I should have decapitated him then. Yeah, I don't think he's got much health left for the rifle bullets, so I just finished him off with my red 9. So, gallery key. Yeah, there'll be a guy just around this corner with a shield. If you can edge around very slightly, you can sort of get him before he um, sees you. There you go. Or just use a rifle ammo. 
But yeah, do not let that guy come back in this room. So when he goes into that stairwell, if you let him come back here after Gatling Guns, you need to make sure you kill him before he gets back through here. Uh, because you get the key from him. And then you can unlock this door with it. With the um, gallery key. So once you're in the gallery, suit the spinal off the reindeer head. Uh, sorry, the velvet blue. Loot the pot and then loot these two pots because when you've done this puzzle, there'll be a checkpoint safe. So if you fail this next bit, which can be difficult, um, you can just retry from checkpoint and you'll spawn here. Um, so the passcode is really difficult. It's one, two, three, four, and then okay. Yep, I accidentally press a button again. Just ignore me. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now have a flash grenade ready, and straight away turn left slightly and lob it in the middle. Then get your sniper rifle ready. Then before the bottom is stunned, a guy should walk down to you, headshot him. And then headshot this guy upstairs on the left, should be stunned, him there. That's it, once you've done that, run up here, follow him a path. I need to be quick here, so there's a lot to take in, but just follow my lead. Press this red button, turn around and quickly come over here. The rockets will miss you. Come to this room, now quickly aim and fire. You don't, you'll all automatically be aiming onto that pot, so just aim fire. Press the red switch and stand near this door. Wait for the rockets to hit the door. There we go, open the door and then shoot them too quickly. One shot will kill them. And then the four scythe enemies should run up to you. And whatever side they run up, you want to run the opposite way. So you can sort of see them coming around there. There they are. And then loot this blue chest for the goat ornament. Now you need to sort of wait until it's safe to drop down. So yeah, wait till they sort of come in and then drop down. Make sure you do not drop down into a enemy with a scythe. I almost do. There's an enemy actually coming down them steps. Yep. You need to be... I'm just trying to evade them. I'm normally a lot better than this. Yep, and there we go. Out the door. Yeah, so that, that always works pretty well. Once you go out the door and come back in, the enemies will despawn. You can loot the area. There's handgun times 10. You've got a green herb. Um, I think you've got a spinal. You've got a yellow herb in the back stairwell, so make sure you loot that and you've got some pots at the bottom. So make sure you get all that loot guys, especially the yellow herb. Yeah, so um, that strategy to begin with, sometimes it may not work, because you know that enemy we headshot to begin with, sometimes he'll sprint down to you, and if he does that, obviously it's a bit tricky to get a headshot. So that happens, just retry from checkpoint until everything works in your favor, but most of the time it does. You stun them first four, um, headshot them top two, and then you run up, press the red button, uh, go into the side door, uh, wait for the rockets and come through. Yeah, you, you need to try and keep an eye on where them scythe enemies are. They'll just be running around all over the shop trying to get to you. Uh, but you just need to make sure when you drop down from that platform where the ornament was, that you make sure none are below you. Because if there are, they normally attack you as you're recovering from the falling down animation. Yep, save the typewriter guys. And we're almost at the end of the chapter. we just got to do the dog maze now. Yeah, in here. Um, loot the handgun bullets and come to here there's gonna be a spinal just above that door yeah the maze the the dogs in the maze I think only so many enemies so many dogs can be spawned at once uh, on the map when you come in there's actually already I think four dogs already spawned and um, there's three already locked in cell and there's one in the cell in the corner which we do not go near um, and um, once yeah, shoot them three birds and then grab all the loot around that fountain. Yeah, then loot all these barrels. One of them should have an incendiary grenade. Yeah, loot all these barrels and then head in the door ahead. Yep, yeah, and um, with the dogs, yeah, when you when you kill so many, I think more can spawn. But you normally have to walk in a certain part of the maze. Like there's certain zones which will trigger enemies to spawn. It will like it will like probably the game probably checks how many dogs are currently on the map when you go into that specific sort of zone. And then if it's less than three, for example, it will spawn two more. Um, Something sim like that, or however many can spawn uh, from that specific spot. Uh, but if you follow my lead, we're trying to avoid the dogs spawning. So hopefully this should all work out the same for you. Um, but we're just going to kill him with the red nine. Sometimes they do dodge about a bit, but it's only really one, one dog you need to kill um, directly with your red nine. So you come through here first. Loot these two barrels. 
one will have a velvet blue and then once you get past that hedge a dog will spawn in front so get ready here he comes yep it'll take probably about four or five shots yep and then take my path exactly here guys yeah go down here loot this green herb from this barrel then do a 180 come down this path do not go anywhere else them dogs you can hear they're locked inside cages and we want to keep it that way yeah come around here loot the yellow herb back around here and then take this path on the right which will lead to the red gem which you combine combine that with your current elegant mask which has a, um, a purple and a green gem inside and it'll complete it there we go we've now got a completed elegant mask which we can sell later once you've got that come here and got the steps I played about with this for a lot guys this maze and this is what I figured out to be best yeah loot that moonstone ornament the right half now drop down here now come around here now this gate if you stand close to it the dogs will not knock it down so stand close to it like I am and then the dogs can't knock it down and they can safely kill all three of these now once you killed all these three if you go into certain zones it will spawn more dogs so just follow my path after you've killed them all and no more will spawn until they spawn for me hopefully so spawn these three uh, sorry kill these three like that by standing at the gate and they can't knock it down and they can't attack you then come over this bridge do not do anything else guys follow only my path come around here and grab the moonstone now shortly when we get back three or four dogs are going to spawn so get all at once so get your fire grenades ready and fire grenades great for these it kills them all instantly as long as they come in contact with it as soon as they spawn keep lobbing fire grenades when the flame goes out and it should kill them all so you should need to use two or three wait for flames to go out and then lob another because when they run into flames it will kill them and then grab the loot I think there's four dogs that spawn there so you can imagine trying to kill them all with your rifle or your pistol would be pretty difficult but the yeah fire grenades work really well at that specific spot yeah come in here and that's finished the chapter say hello to Ada or I guess B-I-T-C-H in the red dress as Krauser Krauser okay chapter 3 2 done so yeah save your game that's normal we're almost halfway guys almost halfway through the guide get in there so we're going to loot the um, bedroom now so you've got hanger bullets here sorry just had to get my bear in then <laughs> didn't really realize where I was yeah get a red grenade we're not really going to be using much many more red grenades so you can sell them all now by the way yeah shoot the spinal on top of the bed Loot this chest, uh, sorry, the pot for another spinal. Loot this wardrobe at the back for a treasure. That's the um, mirror. Loot that pot for some a random item and then talk to Gary. Now we need to talk to Gary. Welcome. Yep. Yeah, um, you can sell green, green, green mix if you have any. Sell, you can keep a few of your, keep a few of your red grenades. They might come in handy. Yeah, um, keep everything else. Uh, sell your green herbs. If you've got any, if you've got any green, green, green mix, sell them. Sell your green, red, and yellow mixes. So all your treasure, uh, except for your elegant mask, which is not yet complete, and your butterfly lamp, which is not yet complete as well. Now, if you're low in ammo, you can upgrade your rifle capacity. And that's all we're doing, guys. So yeah, keep that elegant mask, which isn't complete and keep the butterfly uh, lamp if it's not complete but sell all your other treasure and of course sell any green 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 mixes that you have you know because they sell for the most and sell any green red yellow mixes and then come and save your game yep out here yep come and loot the shotgun shells and loot that green herb loot the handgun bullets times 10 of that table and then come in press the buzzer to get service and shoot the wine bottle in the picture at the back and then come over here and we're going to loot these two pots because later on when we come back here there's going to be some enemies so we're just going to loot them now yeah loot these two pots that's it and you can also just go through this door and come back in so you've got a, a little sort of checkpoint if you mess up in this bit so you want to have a hand grenade ready yeah have a hand grenade ready 
and when this case drops down turn left slightly and lob your hand grenade sort of at the door in front of you that will smash the lock on it and also could stun a few enemies now quickly come out run left around it and stun this guy stun him and then go back through this door where he came through and then turn around and there will either be one or two enemies that will come for you depending if the hand grenades killed depending on how many of that hand grenade killed as well so yeah just wait here for that one enemy that come, come, come for you that you just stunned and perhaps a additional enemy with the hand grenade didn't kill him I like to do this because um, if you do it any other way you may have one come from either side and you may have one right on your tail but this way it sort of bottlenecks them right so um, you can actually get there's a flash grenade in the cabinet in the corner here uh, do not go pass a cell any more than what I do yeah do not go near that front entrance which is open because as you can see all the enemies are trying to get out that back gate which is locked so you do not want to go too far forward because otherwise they'll go out that front gate yeah stay near this this half of the cell yeah you're going to try and kill him as you're doing this so um, remember four rifle shots to his weak point will kill him and um, if he gets if he just keeps running at the door just come down the side but not too far uh, so you got a better view of his weak spot yeah flash grenade in that cabinet loot that I had to come back in because I forgot to and uh, we sort of need it for later yeah I've got to get it now about four or five more enemies will drop down here depending on how long you took to kill him um, but yeah the enemies that drop down they will eventually start spawning power sites so um, the quicker you get this bit done the better loot the treasure for the hourglass from the red chest loot all the gold from him and also come to the back here and get the magnum bullets times three hopefully you got that flash grenade if not don't worry we'll come back in later and there'll actually be no enemies when we come back in here later yeah come through this door and loot the rifle ammo from that uh, pot now you see that red guy which is closest to us he'll always spawn a power site I just want to get that guy's attention on the back here at the back he'll either drop down and come for you or he'll go in the back room so the red enemies that climb this ladder try to headshot them as they climb the ladder if you headshot an enemy as it climbs the ladder they don't spawn a power site well not here anyway um, but once you've headshotted them two red enemies as they climb the ladder you can knife the other two yeah see that guy just dropped down most of the time he'll go into the other side of the room with a shield enemy he can't get you there so don't worry but if he comes to you like this you can just sort of knife him to death as he climb the ladder Yeah, or, or do this if you want to get rid of them a bit quicker. Yeah, so no more enemies will spawn for the time being. Uh, you've got a shield enemy behind there. You can just use your pistol on him, so his head's exposed. Yeah, once he's dead, if he's close enough to the cage, you can grab any loot he dropped. Yeah, grab the two pots. There's normally two pots in this room. I think I've smashed one already. Uh, the other one was near the cage. Yeah, then turn that lever. Now, when you turn that lever, more enemies will spawn, but not until you reach specific spots. When you climb that ladder, it will spawn two enemies to come through a door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around, wait for them to drop down the ladder. There's two, and then climb back up it. And then I'm going to knife them as they climb up. Because one of these will spawn, almost always spawns a power site. That's what I do. Do this. It's the and it's always the spider power site in here. Uh, these well, these rooms are going into now. It'll always be a spider power site. And remember, if you can headshot them as they're climbing in the ladder, um, they don't seem to spawn a power site. Yeah, so he should have spawned a power site, but he didn't because I headshotted him as he climbed the ladder. Yeah, spider power sites. They. The power site will spawn on the on the enemy, and then once you're doing damage, the power site will separate itself, and then power sites can't climb ladders, and they die out eventually. Now, once you pass so far along this bridge, some shield enemies will spawn. Wait for them to get beneath that lamp, and then shoot it down, and then shoot them quickly in the back when they're on the floor to finish them off before they get up, because when they get up, they'll have the shield out in front of them. Um, but this way, you can shoot them in their back. Then we're going to come down here. Yeah, watch out for that archer. I forgot about him. Luckily, he didn't hit me. But yeah, it's an archer at the back here. Normally, you just you don't run down here. You just edge around the corner off the wall 
and take them out first and then come down. Grab that gold of that table, loot this pot for a velvet blue, and there's one more enemy. Just wait for him. He'll come in. He'll come in a second. Here he is. Yep, yeah, he'll slide right into your lap. That's it, last enemy guys in this room. So you can sort of um, relax now and loot the area. So this is your only rocket launcher in the game which you can find as loot. And if you if you find yourself like fully stocked on space, um, if you fast forward a bit slightly, we actually, there's Gary just up ahead and he's got another upgrade to the inventory to make it bigger. So um, that's what I've normally had to do in other playthroughs, but um, I'm much lower, in, much lower in ammo than what I normally am at this point in the game. So yeah, loot the rocket launcher, red grenade, uh, rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, flash grenade, and handgun bullets. Yeah, once you've got all that, you're gonna head up the steps and smash this lock. Yeah, I think I remember now that I forgot the flash grenade. I just remembered. Yeah, so that flash grenade, hopefully you got this already, you don't have to come back in this room, but you see all the enemies have despawned. Yep, yeah, there it is, in there. So yeah, do not forget that flash grenade. Gonna need it for later. Yeah, so I'm um, gonna head through that door ahead. And um, there's gonna be two pots and then Gary. Yeah, there's one. I think, it, I think these two are random. Oh, well, well that one's not, it's got a spinal. Treasure's always fixed. Yeah, talk to Gary. Yeah. Uh, we're going to sell. Yeah, just sell, just sell your treasures, I guess. Except for obviously your incomplete treasures. And they're going to buy the tax case XL. Yep. And I guess if you need to upgrade your rifle capacity, if you didn't last time I did, you can do it now. And that's the end of the chapter. This next one, this next chapter is really quick. Um, you're playing as, um, I'm going to say Sherry, playing as Ashley. No, Sherry's too busy in the orphanage. So as soon as the chapter begins, she's going to loot the area first. Ashley's not going nowhere. Yeah, so Velvet Blue, I think that handgun, handgun bullets is fixed there. You've got a rifle here, flash grenade. got a pot here a rifle I tell you what loot is fixed in this room um, yeah so that flash grenade is fixed the rifle times five was fixed and there's another rifle times five which was fixed and there's handgun times ten which is fixed as well and there's obviously five thousand gold hidden behind the painting make sure you get that Right, so I'm free Ashley. Yeah, always shoot the um, the bottom restraint first because normally when you shoot the first two, she'll lean forward and it can make it more tricky to hit the bottom two. It doesn't matter here because she's invincible, but uh, normally if you're you're playing and she's got a normal costume on or, you know, you can shoot her and you can kill her by mistake. Yeah, so always shoot the bottom first and then work upwards with them three restraints. Yeah, so she's got to kill the enemies as to go for her now. I think it's four enemies to begin three or four um, I forgot now but you, you would have seen how many I killed now two archers will come through here the red the red guy will keep calling other enemies but you need to watch out for the archers first obviously because they they'll be hitting you yeah them too yeah I actually normally find these quite easy to get rid of but these two just keep I don't know I just can't keep track of them yeah so they run away again there should be two. I don't know where the other one is. I think he's actually hiding behind the pillar. Can't quite see him. Yeah, there he was. He's hiding. Yeah, so obviously get... Why won't they stay in one place? What are they doing? <laughs> don't think they know. I guess they're guarding the red guy. Right, once got the archers, you can get rid of the red guy. And then get rid of all the other enemies. I actually wouldn't have ammo here. Yeah, look at that, I run out of handgun bullets. Yeah, I actually use all my fire grenades as well because I want to save my, um, I want to save my rifle capacity so I can uh, upgrade it later. I, I don't think it really matters. I mean, if you want to keep using rifle, just use it. I mean, look how much ammo we've got. 
Yeah, I guess at this point, don't you still need to be careful with your ammo, but you can still wait a few bullets here and there. Um, because this is probably a complete waste of probably about 5k, which I could have sold this for. Because we don't really need any more red grenades going forward. Yeah, we need no more fire grenades at all. From this point on, fire grenades are just going to be optional. Up to you if you want to either use them or sell them, I guess. Or just don't pick them up at all. Uh, but once you've got all the enemies, Ashley will take over. Now, she cannot take damage, so this bit's going to be really easy. You've got a spinal here. You've got a yellow herb in the corner. Yeah, all these things get us Ashley. You can give them to Leon later. Save point there if you want to save. Yeah, so you've got a green herb in the middle. And they're going to crawl under this table and through this cave. I get rid of this enemy just because he'll keep interrupting you when you turn in the cranks. In this cabinet is a spinal. You can, you can lob this first lamp. Just make sure he's near to you when you lob it. Because it's only got a certain range. And if he's at the opposite side of the room, uh, the lamp won't meet him. I think. I think that's how I remember it. Yeah, loot the two and a half gold from there. And then wait for him to come close and then lob the other lamp. You've got a lamp here in the corner. Yeah, like I say, if you don't get rid of him, yeah, he's obviously trying to get dizzy. If you don't get rid of him, he'll interrupt you when you activate these cranks. And these cranks take ages to turn. Yeah, leave him. He's locked behind the cage. He can draw over his food, which he can't get to. Yeah, that's it. Three will kill him. I think it's two on other difficulties, but it's three on professional. Yeah, rotate these two. Yeah, even the QTE events as Ashley. Even if they hit you, they don't hurt you. Yeah, grab this red herb. And then head into the store at the end. Now when you begin, turn left and press this red button in the corner. In here, press this red button and then grab a stone tablet from above the fireplace. We have loads of cobwebs. Grab the green herb over here, push this bookshelf out of the way and press the switch behind it. Right now, we've opened the path forward. So head up here and loot this cabinet for some gold or random item, might be, and grab that velvet blue from there. Over here, there's a spinal on the chair, which I can't seem to get to. Yeah, grab that spinal and then just follow the path along. You'll get to a puzzle, a puzzle in a second. All you need to do for this puzzle is um, start on the one on the middle left and then start moving them all, going in an anti-clockwise manner. Very easy to do. And then once you've done it, just place a stone tablet in there to complete it and open the door. In this room, loot this chest for a gold bangle. Loot this Salazar, Salazar family insignia and then loot the ornament from the blue chest, the serpent ornament and then loot the spinal from this cabinet. Right, so um, we just need to get back now. So lure the enemies through. They can't hurt you, but just otherwise they're going to be blocking the doorway. Yeah, once you've pulled them through the doorway, head back through the door and be ready for some QTEs. With this armor, it's probably quicker to let the QTEs actually hit you because I think the recovery recovery time from getting hit is quicker from uh, when you fall back ah. yeah and what I normally do with these QTEs you can actually I mean I'm playing on the PS5 and PS4 but if you press L2 and R2 and square and X all at the same time then it doesn't matter if it's L2 and R2 or square and X it will automatically confirm every single one so that can be a good thing to do if you're if you're a bit slow with them um, reacting just press l2 and r2 and square and circle all at the same time and then yeah grab this spinal from that drawer and grab a spinal from over here yeah it could just make it a bit easier for the QTEs yep and then loot this drawer over here for some handgun bullets and then go to the little pedestal in the center yes yeah, so that's what you should have that's what you should have picked up yeah, place the family insignia in there and then turn the dice. That will reveal a ladder.
climb the ladder. Why not? Yeah, and then turn right, there'll be some gold. I think it's always the same. 1800 and 1500. And then carry on to the end of this passage. And you'll reunite with Leon, your sweetheart. Oh, Leon! Help! No, we do not need help to... Whoa, Ashley unlocked the door, I don't believe it. Yeah, there we go, guys. Chapter 3, 4, done. Another long one. Chapter 4 is another long chapter. Right, chapter 4, 1, guys. So, yeah, with your inventory from there, you can pass it all on to Leon now. Your green, red, and yellow. Your green herb and your 15 handgun bullets. And what we're going to do first, we're just going to head all the way back and get the broken butterfly. Got some rare. What are you buying? Yeah, because we're just heading back where we've been before, I'm just going to sort of um, skip ahead a bit and then I'll, you know, join back in once you get there. Just going to sell a few things first, so just your green, red and yellow makes um, a green, green, green if you have and some treasures. But do not sell your butterfly lamp um, or your elegant mask. If it's not complete, as you know. Um, second, checking if we've got anything to tune up? No. Okay, yeah, so we're just going to head back towards near the broken butterfly. And when we get back into that room with the cage, um, I might as well just stay with you for a second. Yeah, so... um. Back in the room with the cage, where the, the, the Garador was, uh, yeah, there'll be a few other enemies now, so we're just going to sprint through here, um, and quickly kill this enemy at the end, but don't take too long, it's gonna, probably going to be an en enemy chasing you as well, just quickly kill him, and then head through this door, I'll just show you, yeah, look how close he was, so yeah, quickly get through this door, now we're going to loot everything in here, so you've got 5,000 gold in this cabinet, in this pot, you've got some at random, in these two crates, um, one of them will have shotgun shells times five. You've got a green herb on this table. Around here, there's a pot of a snake, this one here. So be very careful of that one. You've got a crate here with some uh, random gold. Obviously, the egg from a snake. And you've got two barrels over here. One of these will have a spinal inside. So yeah, grab the spinal, smash the lock, and head through here, back to a familiar area. So we're gonna head out onto the out part of the castle, if you remember where the fountain was, uh, where we shot them three crows on the way to the garden. But if you go to that door straight opposite, interact with the door, and then you'll be able to give Ashley a piggyback into that top window. I'm surprised there's not other parts like this which you can backtrack to to access. Yeah, open this door, and inside you have 5,000 gold uh, red herb, you have a broken butterfly. Yep, so I'm combining that. Yeah, broken butterfly, and you've got the elegant perfume bottle. That's it. And uh, make sure Ali's, Al Ashley's following you again. Sorry. And now make your make your way back, guys, to Gary. So just retrace your steps running past the enemies. Yeah, so once back here, uh, you can save your game if you want. We're not going to talk to Gary just yet. We'll uh, we'll chat to him a little bit later. But yeah, come back in here afterwards and now go into this door over here. Yeah, loot the two pots on your left. 
Uh, one will have a velvet blue inside, I believe. Um, yep, and grab a handgun ammo on the other side. And then ride on this little contraption near the typewriter and head on across. Yeah, you wait there, Ashley. Don't you worry, I'll be back. You're alright, you've got armor on. Yep, so we're going to get a rifle and we're going to shoot down these towers. We're going to shoot yeah, them weak links to knock that one down. And then do the same on this one. Yeah, shoot the weak links to knock it down. Like so. Yeah, loot this chest for some gold. 5,000. And then jump across this sort of spinning wheel and jump onto the other side. There's going to be two enemies on the other side we want to kill. So kill them. And then um, grab a chest just after them for a, I think it's a another Illuminados pendant. So yeah, knock these two down, kill them. It's not really any need to use your knife at this point in the game. You're just going to set yourself up for trouble like me. Almost got killed. I guess from experience I know how long it's going to take the enemy to react and try and grab me. So that's why I just got out of the way in time, I guess. Could look at it that way. Yeah, Illuminado's pendant from that red chest. And now get your rifle ready so I don't have much ammo left. And once you get over here, another dragon head will drop down. And it'll brief fire, but it should be out of range. Uh, so just quickly shoot the lynx twice to knock it down. There we go. Once you knocked it down, there should be two enemies behind you. They actually start spawning, I think, when that begins to lower. Um, but if you just quick destroying that, and um, they shouldn't get close enough to you. Yeah, take these two out. And then we're going to head up, and we're going to grab the ornament from the chest. And then we're just going to head back to Ashley. Yeah, back to Ashley, because she's going to be screaming in a minute, Help, Leon! Oh hello stranger, yeah we're back. I'm back Ash, don't worry. Yeah, save your game, and then head down this path, and get on the rail cart. Yeah, once you get out, loot these two pots next to you. For, um yeah, shotgun times five and spinal. They are both always fixed. And then use your ornaments on this afterwards to reveal the path ahead. Yep, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna head up this staircase on the right, get a hand grenade and some gold from the, the picture on the wall and then head through that gold door just ahead there. Once in this room, just um, grab the loot from the two pots. One will have a spinal, the other one will be random. And then get into the rail cart. Yeah, once you get out, we're going to loot this pot here for a, um, a velvet blue. And then head through this door. 
Yeah, so first in here, run ahead and get the flash grenade. And then we're going to go and see Gary. We're going to get handgun bullets from the cabinet. Uh, we're also going to um, loot the random pot just beside him. And do not upgrade the broken butterfly capacity yet. We're going to be doing that after this next bit going Welcome. forward. Got some rare yeah, so um, you can sell chicken egg, I guess, if you have one. Sell your spinal, velvet blues, illuminados pendant, and the elegant perfume bottle. Yeah, you can tune up the broken butterfly firepower if you haven't done so already. Uh, you do the same with the rifle. Yeah, reload speed, firepower, and capacity if you need to. And broken butterfly, yeah, firepower, power, and reload speed. Do not touch the capacity. We'll say that for after. Yep, yeah, once you've done that, just carry on out back out the door. Go right, shooting range by the way if you want to do it. Yeah, go out the door, turn right, get the um, spinal from the cabinet at the end, grab the yellow herb from the table, and then enter the room ahead. Yeah, spinal in here. In this next room, there's going to be six night enemies. You have to defeat them in two waves of three. Um, and what you do with the flash grenade, you want to get a headshot on one. It'll take either a magnum or the rifle. Yeah, hand grenade, sorry, handgun bullets there. Watch out for these two QTEs with these two black knights. Yeah, you can headshot them with either a rifle or a magnum and it'll make the parasite spawn straight away. Try not to shoot their body because um, they have too much defense if you shoot their body. Yeah, take the grail in the middle and that will spawn them. So what I normally do, I normally shoot one in the head and then lob a flash. And that flash actually stuns the other two as well. And it gives you time to sort of position yourself ready to get the next two and allows you to get yourself out of danger. So yeah, wait for them to wear off. Do not shoot them when they're stunned, because for some reason, they seem to be immune to damage when they're stunned. You have to wait for them to recover. Yep, so that's the second one done. So again, magnum to the heads when they've recovered. You see then I missed, because um, he was still immune, and then the flashbang. If you don't have many flashbangs, you can shoot all, all three at once in the head, and then another flashbang at all three at the same time. But it's a little bit more tricky. I do that on my normal playthrough, but yeah, I'm just doing it this way, so it's a bit more... Uh, easy to do. So then three knights, they'll drop handgun bullets, shotgun and the green herb. And these next three that have spawned, these will all drop uh, 6,500 6, gold each. So same again, just headshot each. And then a flash, flash grenade. And once you've done that, you should be able to exit the room. Uh, but before you leave the room, make sure you get the green herb in the corner and the shotgun shells on the shield on the wall in the corner. That, that's just normal loot which is already in the room and obviously make sure you loot the bodies uh, yeah do that rendezvous with Ashley guys and then make your way back to Gary Follow me. Yeah, so talk to Gary. Uh, we can upgrade broken butterfly capacity now to get a full clip. So make sure you, um, yeah, you low close to low ammo. You can sell that green, red, and yellow mix. Sell the spinal, and yeah, tune up broken butterfly capacity. There you go, only upgrade it once, um, if you can do it twice, I don't know if you can, but if you can just do it, well, I can't even remember. Yeah, save your game here. And then come back outside, yeah, into this room here. Now we need to push the statues onto two of the pressure plates, you make Ashley stand on one of course, and you stand on the other. Once you've done that, a door will open and inside the door is a, a trap ceiling which will come down on you. But if you stay outside the door, do not get too close to the doorway because that normally triggers the scene. But yeah, if you hang outside, you can actually shoot the four switches on the wall which you normally need to shoot to um, deactivate the trap. 
So yeah, do not go too close to that room. Yeah, shoot the four traps on the, the four lights on the ceiling and that would deactivate the trap. Yep, and you got one more sort of up here. There you go. I'm, I'm in, standing at a weird angle, but I did I did get it then. Yeah, as you can see. Yes, yeah, so head inside a bit small scene, but the ceiling won't come down for you because you've already shot him. Yeah, get his handgun in the corner, and then come out, and you'll have a machine chasing you with two enemies on in a second. They'll both die in one hit, so to shoot them both once each, and that'll kill them. Yeah, and save Ashley. Yeah, so just once, once each for the headshot. There you go. The cage will open. And then grab all the loot in this area. You've got rifle just near that gate, and which is opened. You've got a crate here with a spinal. You've got the elegant chess boards. You've got two barrels here. I think they're random. You've got a crate here. Handgun times 10. You've got a barrel there with velvet blue inside. And you've got a red chest with the other grail, the queen's grail. So we've got the kings and we've got the queens. Yep, then back out this door. Now I'm gonna head into the sort of central central path now. Now you wanna use the hand grenade for this bit and you wanna be standing exactly where I show it in a second. Yeah, you need to be standing on that spot there, the center of that pattern, just there. So run up to that spot, but make sure you're facing forward where them enemies are. And then you're gonna ready your hand grenade, aim all the way up till it stops and then lob it. And that should hit all the enemies, but two should be left alive. But one bullet should finish them both off. So that one and that one there. Yep. And once you've done so, just shoot down the tre remaining treasure, which a hand grenade didn't catch. You'll get a spinal, um, a green gem, a velvet blue, and another spinal. And they got ob obviously any loot which the enemies dropped. And then you need to use the Queen's Grail on the Queen's statue and the King's Grail on the King's statue to release a door and then head through. And combine the green gem, uh, sorry, you can combine, yeah, combine the green gem with the elegant mask. That elegant mask is finished now, by the way, uh, because you're not going to find another red gem because we avoided the red gem earlier in the game and we're not going to be getting another one. So once you're ready, we can actually sell that elegant mask. Now in here, get his two pots on the left first. Yep, and then the pots on the right, the one, these two on the left, the left one of them has a snake inside. So carefully shoot that, and then this pot on the right has a velvet blue. Yep, and then loot these two cabinets. And then smash a pot at the end to get shotgun shells. Then when you enter through this door, it's gonna be a cutscene where loads of them fine insects are gonna appear. So as soon as they appear, just turn and go back in the door you just came through. And then we're gonna jump out the window and then kill them from the window where they can't pass through. There'll be six you need to kill. And sometimes one or two may glitch and come through the window or you know or through the wall, but it's very rare. But yeah, just make sure you're ready for that. If you shoot them when they're flying, it's a one hit kill. And like I said, it should be six of these. Sometimes one may get stuck on the doorway we just came through. If that does happen, just kill all the kill all the ones that are currently in the area with you. And then open the door to let it in and then come and jump back through the window. And then once you kill these, you're going to grab the red herb nearby on the balcony and then climb up the ladder and get a butterfly lamp in the chest at the end. Obviously, you loot all the treasure afterwards as well. Yep, here's the butterfly lamp. So you've got two of them now. So yeah, once you're ready, you can uh, combine some treasures with it that you have. 
Now they both should have greens now, so that means we can sell all our green uh, green eyes going forward because we don't need any more. You only ever find two of them butterfly lamps in the game. We're going to head over now, press the lever, uh, shoot the hinges on the drawbridge to make it fall down and then go through the exit. Don't shoot the nest yet, we'll be doing it in a second. going to do we're going to exit um, and then we come back in and now we've come back in to trigger the checkpoint now we're going to destroy the nest so it will take three rifle rounds and five handgun and what you can do the reason I did it this way is because if you did not get enough eyes to fully upgrade both butterfly lamps you could just retry from checkpoint and shoot the nest again and hopefully you get like better drops but it's up to you, you don't have to and I wasn't going to anyway but luckily I think I do get all the eyes that I need so you normally need a green, a red and a blue eye to complete a butterfly lamp. Yeah, but like I say, if you if you want to and you don't get what you need, you could just retry from checkpoint and do it again and see if you get what you need. Uh, but I believe I have what I need now. Yeah, so just combine them. And then confess door, talk to Gary. Yep, we're going to sell chicken egg from that snake, sell spinal, velvet blue, we can sell all the, well, yeah, we can sell all the green eyes, don't need it no more, and we can sell all the red eyes, all we need is, what all I need is one more blue, and I'm selling anything that is complete, and remember, you can sell the elegant mask now, you do not need it no more, upgrade the firepower, I always upgrade everything on the red nine, but capacity on everything else, I try to wait until I'm empty on ammo. Yeah, grab the handgun bullets and then save your game. Yeah, once you've saved, come outside and there'll be two barrels. One will have a velvet blue and then a lamp just to the side will have a spinal inside. And this tower up ahead, before you go over to the tower, look up and shoot two enemies, which you will see walking around on the balcony up top. If you kill them two enemies, there'll be one walking around there and there'll be one on the right. If you kill these two, the catapults on the right side do not trigger. So you don't have to worry about the, the fireballs hitting you. So he's the second one. Kill them two and they won't trigger. And then make way upstairs. Watch out for any enemies looming at the top. Loot them two barrels, which you can see from here. One of them will have rifle ammo inside and then go inside the tower. Once inside the tower, come up the staircase, uh, sorry, ladder just next to you, and then turn around and shoot the wooden block just down a little bit to the right. Yep, and then follow the path around here uh, clockwise and loot this crate for some at random, and then go around the path anti clockwise to reach handgun bullets at the end, loose. I think it's handgun times 10 and then climb the nearest ladder to go up to the next floor. And then on this top floor, turn around as soon as you get to the top and shoot that wooden block closest to you. There you go, and then go all the way around to the lever, uh, but past the green herb, you pass just close to it. There you go, and when you get to the lever, look down at the cogs and you should see the last wooden block. There it is. Now when you shoot this lever, a few enemies are gonna spawn, but this will also trigger a checkpoint, by the way. Yeah, there's going to be three archers on the few on the few floors just below you, and one or two may climb up to you, but it's tricky to hit these guys. And obviously, I'm playing it really safe here, so I'm trying to do it no damage. But yeah, it's very tricky. There'll be some, like I say, one or two may climb up to you, but one there'll always be one that stays almost always near the floor where the entrance was on. 
Yeah, so just be very careful. There's two archers. You can sometimes hear them shooting, but sometimes because of the cogs, they can shoot you, but you can't actually see them. It's all about the cogs in the way. Yeah, but just take your time, be careful, looking out for them. Or if you're not worried, just drop down and run up to them. Um, but yeah, here's one climbing up to me. So finish off. So it should be three archers you want to kill, and you can make your way to the exit. Go out the exit. Uh, sorry, go out the entrance and then come back in to trigger a checkpoint so you don't have to kill three archers again if you mess up. Yep, I've got them painting the assos, guys, ain't they? Yeah, so once you've gone out, come back in to trigger checkpoints. Drop down this ladder, and that trigger another wave of enemies to spawn. And then just want to wait a few moments, and then climb back up this ladder. Because there'll be dynamite throw at above, but he won't hit you. Uh, but there's another enemy near him, but that normally comes down the ladder. And we're just waiting for him to come down the ladder before we climb up. Normally when you see the enemies coming around the corner, that should indicate that's the time we want to climb up. Yeah, there should be another enemy here, but I think he dropped down as I climbed up. Now, come around the corner. Now, you can either try to shoot the dynamite in his hand, or you can go out, you can exit and come back in to um, reset the enemies, and then kill him that way. Just be careful. If you do go out and come back in, if the enemy isn't dead, there's normally an enemy that spawns right close to you on your left. Now, it's normally an archer there, but to make him resume his um, spawn point, you want to go out and come back in if you haven't done so already. So go out and come back in. Yep, and then go over to that ladder. And if you look down, you should be able to see. You should be able to see the archer down below. There he is, and you can kill him really easy. So that's all the archers done now. Now there's probably like there's normally about three or four enemies down the bottom. What they normally rush to you. Um, so I've just shot my weapon, so I should have alerted them. Now you can just wait at the top here for them to come to you, don't stay too close to the ladder because otherwise they might throw the scythes at you. But yeah, you can just wait here, shoot them as they come up, there shouldn't be many left. And then go down and grab the loot and go through the exit door. On the way to the exit door there will be a crate with a hand grenade and the other two crates are random. So just make sure you get the hand grenade guys and the other crates and then go through the exit door. Yeah, once you get here, wait for these guys to get close. Do not go too far into the bridge and lob a hand grenade or a fire grenade to kill them. If you lob a fire grenade, you might have to hit them one more time uh, with your handgun just to finish them off. Just while they're on the floor, just shoot them in the back before they get a chance to climb up. That's it, then sprint over here. Yep, and get ready to lob a hand grenade as soon as all these enemies spawn. And then as soon as that happens, go through this door. Now, when you get through here, get your rifle and kill them two normal enemies closest to you. Get rid of them quickly before the Garadors have a chance to get close to you. Yeah, quickly kill them if you can. If not, just enter and come back in to reset them. And then come back in. Yeah, once they're both dead, get your rocket launcher and shoot the one on the right because he's actually a little bit stronger because he's armoured. 
Yeah, shoot him on the right. The blast should kill the one on the left. But the one on the right should make him turn around. And now shoot his power sight in the back when it's exposed. If you mess up, just retry from checkpoint. Do not exit and re-enter, because otherwise you're going to lose your rocket launcher because it was safe. And then once you kill them both, quickly get that green herb. Now don't go up the steps yet, because it will, it will cause three enemies to come in the door behind you. Where you just came in. Um, but one, there's one more enemy, this guy. Wait for him, because you'll drop a first aid spray. And now before you run ahead, just make sure you smash all the pots. There we go. Now be quick. L loot the first aid spray. Grab the random item from that pot. Grab the fire grenade from this one. Grab the 15,000 that each of the Garadors dropped and grab the shotgun times 10 on that small table. Yeah, three enemies have spawned behind you. Quickly grab a spinal times two from both statues and then head up through the door. If I quickly show you, yeah, these three enemies spawn behind you when you go upstairs, so you must be quick. And then you have a QTE. So after QTE, you're going to spawn at the bottom in the sewer. Turn around and grab this velvet blue just near the spikes. And then go around this area and clockwise grab the crown from him. And then loot the magnum ammo, the TMP ammo and the yellow herb. And then also grab the fire grenade. Obviously combine the yellow herb with the red and green mix and then we're going to sell that. You can actually sell all your red grenades right now. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, so now we're going to sell our red 9. We're not going to buy a striker just yet. We do that on the next video, I believe. Uh, sorry, next chapter. Yeah, so you can sell all your hand ammo now. You can sell the red 9. You can sell your, ha your like, say, your fire grenades. You don't need them. Sell your green herbs times 3 if you have any green, green, green mixes. Sell your green, red, and yellows mix. Sell your ver uh, velvet blue. Um, your first third spray and do not sell do not sell your butterfly lamp or your crown yet because you want them you, you have to cr uh, combine some of your crown for maximum resale value and now buy the rocket launcher yeah buy the rocket launcher now so we're going to need that for the upcoming boss and then once you bought that rocket launcher go ahead and save your game Yeah, you might need to arrange your inventory a little bit just to make space. Yeah, so um, once you climb up here, on the left it's going to be a, a velvet blue in the in the um, in the first train. I actually run past it to begin with, but I do come back. Yeah, that first train on the left has got velvet blue inside. Uh, you got a red herb there on the corner. Yeah, and you've also got spinal in a drain uh, just a bit, a little bit further ahead. Yep, and then you make your way through the end door. Yeah, I forget the name of this enemy actually. I always ver is it vertigo or something. Summit begins with a V. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, remember there'll be a few Q uh, QTEs until he shows himself. So just be ready to um, press the buttons quickly if you need to to um, escape damage yeah just carry on all the way to the end the arrows are pointing the opposite way but we're going to completely ignore them yeah just like I say be ready there we go that's my first one and then you want to make your way to the far corner in this room and press the switch yet to turn on the power. Now make your way back to the door and you should be able to um, raise the shutter but it will take a bit of time and when you do this it will cause the boss to spawn in. Now just wait where you are for a minute for a QTE prompt. There you go. Dodge that and then run past him. If you run past him straight away um, it will sometimes melee you. You know sometimes do like a quick melee which you can't quite dodge on time. But you want to sprint past after that first QTE uh, pull down that container and then it'll freeze him and you can shoot him in the rocket launcher for a instant kill. Kaboom, there we go. Yep, and then loot his body for the crown jewel. That'll combine with the crown. Grab the shotgun shells from on top of that uh, computer, the little terminal there, well, a control panel, and then loot the green herb in the back corner here. Yeah, the crown jewel, that'll uh, combine with the crown, but you need one other piece yet. 
uh, to sell it for as much as we possibly can. Yeah, then all we're going to do, we're going to loot the room on the right for TMP ammo and then loot the room on the left at the end for first aid spray and hang on bullets and then take the nearby elevator to leave the area guys and complete the chapter. Yeah, once we get down here onto chapter 4-2, grab this green herb and then come down the steps and loot these three barrels. You should find a spinal and a hand grenade at least. And then come over here and grab this handgun ammo times 10. And then come over to Gary. Welcome. Got some rare I'm going to sell all our handgun, always sell your handgun ammo from now on. Sell your TMP ammo, sell your fire grenades, you don't need them no more. I've kept them there, but you, I know, I know I do sell them. I'm learning. Yeah, sell the first aid spray, spinal, velvet blues, and keep the other things for now. Yeah, buy the striker, and you also want to buy a rocket launcher. So yeah, buy that, and also buy the rocket launcher. And not really, any, not really anything else I can sell. So yeah and um, upgrade upgrade the striker but leave the capacity just like we do with the rifle and the magnum try to save your capacity upgrades until you are low on ammo just so just because they give a full clip and that's if we get maximum benefit and um, yeah do not put your rocket launcher in upside down because the rocket will fall out you've been warned that's all I say on that just remember yeah so leave capacity until later and then once you've done that guys Save your game and head through the door through the door. Any time. So here, kill these two enemies with a striker and then loot the two barrels and also loot this velvet blue just in the minecart on the right, this one here, yeah velvet blue, obviously kill the two enemies, grab the two barrels of course. Carry on forward and we're going to snipe two, just two enemies, you don't really need to snipe these two but um, I just like to snipe them because they, they, throw, they throw their axes at you and if you're not careful you can get caught out. So yeah, I sniped this guy here, the old man. He sort of stood on like a little catwalk sort of thing in an elevated platform. And I kill this guy as well. Them two will throw axes at you and they normally just stay there and lob them. Yep. And once you've done that, get your rocket launcher and see that big rock? This one here, shoot the right side of it. And that should destroy the rock but it will also kill two enemies beside it and the two barrels. Now knock him down, at this point he's probably climbed up to you. Knock him down. Loot this minecart on the right for velvet blue, and then loot these two barrels which we broke for magnum times five, and a hand grenade. Loot anything that them two enemies dropped, and then head through the door and then come back in to um, reset the enemies to their default locations. Now once you're back in here, we're going to go back and buy another rocket launcher now because we need it for two El Gigantes. But we're going to grab the shotgun times five first. I'm going to climb up this ladder, yeah, and go all the way back to Gary. Yeah, we're going to buy another rocket launcher, guys, and then go back into that room. We just sort of went in quickly and came back in. Welcome. Got some rare. What are you buying? Hit 
<laughs> Come back any time. Yeah, once in here, this type, I guess, a sort of furnace. Yeah, come over to the ladder and then run, run towards this door. And when the enemy is spawning, just do a 180 and should already be facing the ladder. Then climb it, go over to the zip line so the pump appears. And then wait for an enemy to not scaffold in. And then press square to zip line down to this lever. Activate it, and then when an enemy walks in the trap door in the middle, press it to make him fall to, to a steering well into a hot bath. And then we're going to use rocket launcher to kill the remaining one. So either try not to kill him if he's walking left or right, so your rocket will likely miss. Unless you know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, yeah, try to obviously shoot him when he stays still or shoot him when he's walking in a line directly to you. Uh, grab that shotgun ammo times 10 from there. Grab this first aid spray and also grab the flash grenade. Now, do not go too close to that center trapdoor because um, if it's still open, that enemy, that El Gigante that dropped down, he may, well, he will if you go too close, he will jump out and grab you and he'll sort of kill you. So wait for it to drop, uh, sorry, wait for it to close and then grab the 15,000 gold if it's dropped too close to it from the other El Gigante. And then come over here, loot these two barrels for red grenade and shotgun times five and head into here, into the flying insect nest. I think this is the last time we, we encountered these actually. Yeah, so what I do, I grab this green herb and then shoot my weapon to get their attention. There's four enemies just hovering here to begin with. And then we're going to come through this tunnel, turn around and kill them four enemies. If you shoot them when they're in the air, it will be like an instant kill. Otherwise, they take like two or three hits. Now, the way this room works is once you've hit an enemy that's already sort of present in the area, you sort of alert all the enemies and you start, you start them spawning. And normally they're on like a timer. Like other than the enemies which are already spawned, um, all the other ones, they're sort of like every sort of 10 seconds or 20 seconds another enemy will sort of spawn. Um, there may be some more requirements like maybe only so many can be spawned at once, but yeah enemies will just start gradually spawning. It's not infinite, they do eventually stop, but it's it, they do go on for quite a long time. Uh, just make sure when you've killed them four enemies, loot them and then enter and come back in this room. They can glitch sometimes, by the way, and come through the walls, so we'll just be ready for that. But if that does happen, you, you'd be unlucky and probably just retry from checkpoints. Yeah, so once you come back in here, that should have reset all the enemies' aggro. So currently, there's no fly spawning. Uh, grab that flash grenade from there we just passed, and grab the shotgun shells just with this ramp. And then we're going to go in this western tunnel here. Yeah, grab this green herb and press the switch on the wall. Now when you press this, it's going to spawn uh, five of the flying insects just outside the entrance. So to get ready to kill five. As long as you're quick, no more should spawn. There was more will spawn eventually, but you want to try and be quick before the others get a chance to spawn. So there'll be five to begin with. If you come straight to this, by the way, without exiting and re-entering after killing them first four, there's literally about eight that spawn here and as soon as they'll spawn in after pressing that switch, they're almost already in the tunnel and it, it's very tricky. This way it's just much easier, much easier to control. So make sure you kill five. You know when you have because there will obviously be five things for you to loot. And now we're going to exit and come back in. Just reset them all. You'll hear one spawn in a second. There it is, you heard it. Spawned in. So that's what will happen. They'll just gradually spawn. And it's a nuisance because they're sort of like, I think four or five areas around the sort of main cavern where they can spawn they'll be like you'll look on the wall you'll see the sort of nest and there's a hole above it where they can spawn from and yeah they'll just keep spawning from there and they're just a they're just a bloody pain in the ass really so it's best to do it this way you know just sort of completely de-aggro their alertness this way they don't actually start spawning until one of the ones that are already present in the area spots you 
So now we come up here, no enemies chasing you for now or spawning. Come around the outer path and you'll come across TMP ammo. Yep, just over here. So loot that. And in this tunnel there before. So to quickly kill these. If you're quick, you can probably kill them all while they're still uh, flying. And kill them all in one hit. Or one or two. Yeah, so loot whatever they drop. And then grab the green herb down here and then press the final switch. Now when you press the switch, it will spawn three enemies directly outside the cave. So just be ready. Yeah, three enemies directly outside the cave. So get ready to kill them as soon as you press that switch. There's two. Now the reason I think you can't hear the third, I think he glitched through the wall. That's why he just popped out of nowhere and you couldn't hear him. But yeah, that's three. So once you kill three, if you're quick enough, you can run straight for the exit before... Because now obviously you've alerted them, they're all going to start spawning from the nest. Like that, you see him spawn from the nest? Uh, they'll just gradually spawn and once you kill them three there'll be nine more so I've just killed one of the nine that's two of the nine so seven more left that will spawn you can either stay in that tunnel and kill all the um, extra enemies like I say after killing them three that spawn initially there'll be an extra nine I just killed two so seven left for me but I'm out anyway so I'm grab this red herb near the exit and then head through the door obviously avoid these traps you do not want to die now And uh, once you get near, once you start climbing down again, there'll be a lever just on your left before you get to the pistons on the ramp. Yeah, press that lever and that'll deactivate this piston in the middle so you've got somewhere to wait and then come through here. At the end, uh, grab the royal, the royal jewel on this pedestal. That's it. And the use pedestal to um, finish the chapter, guys. 4-2. Complete. Yeah, with that um, treasure we just got, you can combine that with the royal crown to make it into the Salazar family crown, which will complete it. The royal insignia. There you go. That's complete now. And if you've got a blue eye, uh, you should be able to complete your butterfly lamp now. But I have already. It's complete. So it's going to loot these two barrels for a handgun times 10 and a green herb. Yeah, just make sure these are all fully combined. Looks like they are. Yeah, come over to Gary. Right, we're going to... Yeah, obviously sell some of our stuff now. And see if there's any new upgrades. So sell first. You can sell all your handgun ammo, all your TMP ammo. Sell all your red grenades, don't need them no more. You can sell green herb... Uh, mix times three if you have one that's a green green mix if you have one and um, so all your blue red and green ice if you have and um, sell your other treasures which should be complete now yeah bro uh, broken butterfly fully upgrade the firepower and reload capacity uh, re um, sorry firepower and reload speed but do not touch capacity yet you can upgrade capacity once on the um, striker and then on the rifle upgrade firepower and capacity and then save your game Once you get up here, you're going to come across the next bunch of enemies. So you've got your first one there with a spinal just next to him on a table. And the second enemy should come for you. Yeah, so kill him. Yep, and then come over here and grab this gold. And you can loot this barrel in the corner for random items as well. Yep, and then carry on and you'll see a load of enemies around a little campfire. Shoot them to get their attention, like so. Yeah, then quickly grab this gold here. And then grab a velvet blue from the top of the well on the left. And then climb this ladder. And then you can quickly loot this ladder up here. Or wait until afterwards. Yep, and then 
come here and kill the enemies when they climb up the ladder. Don't go too close to the ladder because otherwise some of them might try and throw an axe at you from below. Um, even from here, sometimes one of them might throw, but we usually miss you. You can see he just threw one then and he'll try again. Uh, but yeah, he would have missed. He can't throw high enough. Yep, just shoot them all as they come up. And then once you shot them all, once they stop climbing, just grab any, drop, uh, jump down, grab any loot they drop, and then grab a flash grenade from the barrel, which we pass on the way into the shack. In the shack, loot the crate in there, and then activate the crank, crank and jump down the hole. Yeah, once you get in the catacombs, uh, on the left there should be a crate in a little uh, sort of crevice with a velvet blue inside. There's a crate there, but thats I don't think I've ever got an item there. I think that one's just a bit of a decoy. Yeah, I think that one's a scam. Yeah, come here afterwards. Watch out for the bear traps. Shoot this guy to knock him back. If he just stands there pointing, you can just swim past him. But if he runs for you, you need to knock him down. Yeah, watch out for the bear traps and then climb this ladder. Grab the key to the mine off the top there and then loot this chest for a yellow herb. Now it's going to stay here and shoot all the enemies that come up. The chain, there's a chainsaw enemy remember and there's actually another chainsaw enemy below us on the room below but most of the time he doesn't come up to you but just keep an eye on that staircase on the left in case he does. And now just keep, killing the, keep attacking the enemies as you come through guys. Obviously watch out for power sights and throwing knives. Yeah, once you kill them, obviously you can loot them afterwards. Make sure you loot the chainsaw guy for 10,000 gold. Yeah, so here's the other chainsaw guy, which I said may or may not come up to you. So shoot him and then loot this crate over here for a hand grenade. And then finish him off and also loot them two barrels over there as well. Yeah, come outside afterwards. Just be careful coming out of that door because sometimes there may be an enemy waiting outside, but most of the time they would have all come inside that top window. Except for that guy there. He always stops there. Don't know why. Thinks he's guarding the exit. Uh, yeah, we're going to come back here next. Watch out for the bear traps. Just going to grab the velvet blue we ran past because we've been trying to be quick before all the enemies sort of got onto us. Yeah, so we'll get that velvet blue, then watch out for these bear traps and get this velvet blue as well over here. Yep, and then come down into this sort of a tomb within a tomb, kill him, and then loot the chest, the coffin behind him for a staff of royalty. And once you've got that, just take the exit, guys. Grab the green herb, uh, sorry, grab the red herb near the exit, and go through it. Now you have the key to the mine. Uh, but just be careful of the bear traps, of course, on your way.
Yeah, also grab this handgun times 10 from this little crevice down this passage. Just make sure you've got that red herb, guys. And um, before you came through that door, you're unlocked. Now, in this trap room, straight away, run forward to this spider power site. Shoot down, shoot it with your shotgun. And then turn around, do a 180, and shoot this one as well. And then quickly shoot the four lights on the ceiling. If I don't do it that way, normally one of the spider power sites will sort of catch up to me. I have to run, run ahead to the first one, kill it, and then turn around and quickly kill the other. Otherwise, one behind me normally catches me. You got three packs of gold in that chest, and you also got handgun bullets um, in that corner. Now down here, loot the two barrels on your right first for a velvet blue, and then you want to shoot down the eastern, the eastern lamp for a spinal. Yeah, the lamp to the east. Shoot it for a spinal, and then you'll also find a spine, a spinal hidden in the floor, like a little near, near like a little, a little sort of sand pile here. And next to the door we have to exit through. Yes, yeah, so you grab the spinal from there and then loot this random barrel. Yeah, that's random. Get in here. Turn right and loot these two barrels. One will have shotgun shells times five in it. And then loot this green herb here. And then head into the minecart. Yep, yeah, so shoot that minecart. There's going to be three enemies up here on the left. You can either shoot these before you start the lever or just kill them that way. Then there's going to be three enemies on the right, like so. Try to be ready to shoot these because otherwise, if you don't shoot them, they'll jump into the minecart with you. Yeah, so just try and be ready. Yeah, when it forks like this... Um, yeah there's going to be five enemies on the left so after the fork there'll be five enemies on the left coming up so yeah get ready for them and then shortly after that there's going to be a sort of beam blocking the entrance a sort of doorway ahead not a doorway but like a little sort of door like that yeah be a beam blocking it there like that shoot it do not duck underneath when you see a Q to E because then you have to recover from the animation and it, it wastes time. Uh, so shoot out these four, two on either side, they'll be changed on the left. If you quick, there's handgun bullets there on the right, there's shotgun here on the left, which I just got, shotgun times 10, and then quickly shoot that lever. As soon as you stop, shoot that lever, because otherwise these enemies will jump inside. But if you shoot it as soon as you stop, um, it will start moving and these enemies will normally not get into the minecart on time. But it's, it's not a big problem if they do. Uh, but shoot them. And then afterwards, we'll get three enemies on the left. Um, like so. Yep. And then after that, you should get another beam coming up. There you go. And shortly after this beam, there's going to be another chainsaw guy on the left. Two on the left, two on the right. Yeah, just make sure you get a left first. So you get a chainsaw guy. Yep, and then after you've got the chainsaw guy. Um, yep, yeah, I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, you're going to have another beam. And here you're going to have two on the left and two on the right again. And that's the last of the enemies for this minecart uh, mine sequence. Now at the end of this, it's going to be like a spiral. You'll spiral down and then at the end of it, you're going to have to do like a, there'll be like a QTE to do a jump afterwards. So just get ready to, um, to press the buttons guys, to avoid instant death and having to do that minecart ride all over again. Yeah, once you save, come through this door and loot the bones on the left. Dora the Explorer, this is where she remains. Yeah, just loot her corpse for all the gold and then loot the um, stone of sacrifice on the central pedestal and then come to the door behind you that's opened. Climb this ladder, it'll take you back up to the um, that starting area at the top. And if you want, you can go back to Gary and uh, purchase a capacity upgrade for summit if you want, like 
shotgun for example if your ammo is slow uh, but whatever you do once you're done come over to the store and lob in the stone of sacrifice to move on to the next area yeah chapter 4-4 four, four, next Yes, and here what I do first, I normally I get the handgun bullets on the right here and I just head head ahead to um, trigger the enemies. Uh, first I get these pots on the right, there's two pots, one of these has a velvet blue inside, the one to the left of the ladder, this one. Yeah then head down the steps, that will aggro all the enemies. Yes, yeah, so down here like so, and then what I do, I go back to the safe point, yeah just bait and dodge him or just knock him down with your striker. Yeah, I go back to save point and save my game and then I reload from checkpoint guys which will de-aggro de all the enemies. Yeah, either reload from checkpoint or, um, uh, sorry, reload your safe or retry from checkpoint uh, to obviously reload that last checkpoint and uh, reset the enemies like so you can see he's sort of in dormant mode now so climb this ladder and then get the two pots in front of you or sorry one pot yeah that one there and then come around to this corner and then turn and look at the hand when you see the hand near the bottom run and jump on it you see that lever just on the right quickly shoot it bang like so and then turn around and quickly shoot the archer what will happen because you shot that lever this hand will, will stop in the upwards um, slot position for it because what that switch does it actually activates the um, other hand and deactivates this one and then once you kill these enemies turn around and shoot the two enemies on the platform ahead if they're not already aggroed just get their attention and then activate this lever you're safe for the time being guys because this the hand leading to you is not going anywhere and then once you've done that get your uh, rifle and kill these enemies stuck on this middle platform because they can't jump across they have nowhere to go yeah so shoot them and you can jump on this hand and then jump straight off no need to hit the lever again and then grab any loot yeah he can stay over there and then jump onto this hand yeah we're gonna jump to the top floor and we're gonna loot this big pot in the corner yeah, nothing inside it. And we're going to loot the smaller pot, which does have some inside. Yep, let's let's uh, put all the items in small pots. What a waste of space. Yep, and then loot these two pots over here. Right, do not drop down that hole yet. Just come around to the opposite side of where the ladder is and then look down and you should see a red enemy try to climb it. Shoot him to knock him down and then drop down and start killing him. Otherwise, if you jump down straight away, he may attack you as you land um, and the attack will obviously, you won't be able to do anything to dodge it. That's it, now just finish him off. No need to use your knife, I don't know why I'm doing that. I think it's just habit more than anything. Yeah, let's shoot, uh, loot the pot afterwards near him and then loot the 5,000 gold that he drops. Okay, now straight after, activate this lever and then climb up the ladder quickly. Now what we want to do now is quickly shoot an archer on the same platform but on the opposite side. So make sure you've got your rifle ready. Carefully don't shoot that lever on the left like I did. That lever's got a stupid hitbox on it. Yeah, if you do shoot that lever, just shoot it back again quickly. Um, and watch out for any enemies that, remember them enemies that spawn next to you when you pull the lever. Watch it, they'll be climbing up to you, so do not take too long. But as long as you didn't, if you didn't shoot that lever, you should be fine. I just messed up and I shot it. Yeah, then you jump onto this middle platform and then jump down onto the bridge, and you automatically finish that bit. Now complete the QTE. Now just keep spamming square normally, and then it's L2 or R2, and then both together, and then smash the lock, and then again quickly press all the buttons. Uh, sorry, quickly press square to dodge him. And then quickly get ready to press two buttons at once. There we go, to dodge him. 
and then spam the button again to get back onto the ledge. Yep, so when you get through this door there'll be a little cutscene and a QTE. Just make sure you um, dodge that knife. Come around the back here and uh, grab the yellow herb from this chest. Yeah, we'll craft that with something, combine it with something to make a red, yellow and green mix. Yeah, then make your way up the stairwell. Just be careful when coming up here because remember soon the barrels will get sent down. Yeah, so just be on alert. That's always survival horror. You always need to be on alert for these type of games. Yeah, we're going to shoot the guys which are operating. I have no idea where I'm looking. Yeah, almost ran into the path of a barrel there. Yeah, we're going to shoot the three enemies near the leather. He's climbed down already. And there should be two prop, two at the top. There's him there. And then this one activating it. Yeah, what's he looking at? Yeah, so we've killed the guy activating the lever. So he's going to wait now for that last barrel to roll down. And then we're going to make our way onto that middle platform. Yeah, once on the middle platform, just loot the random barrel at the end. Yep, yeah, and they're going to climb up to where the lever is and grab any loot. When you climb up, it will cause more enemies to climb well to spawn. When you get to the lever, whether you climb up or not, yeah, more enemies will spawn. Send the barrel down after them, but make sure you're not too far um, in standing in the way of the barrel, because otherwise they can fall down and hit you. Now that guy used a sniper rifle. I thought I killed him but there, but I didn't. For some reason I thought I killed him. And what I do, I quickly send another barrel down and then come up here and grab this green herb and then come back down and once past the lever again I send another barrel down yeah because that the enemies coming up from the, the bottom they they come up in um, they don't all come up at once so uh, the barrel won't kill every single one you'll need to press it a few times but it's, uh, be ready in case another enemy gets by and does come up the staircase yeah sh kill him yeah, he should have been dead already. I really messed up not killing him. Yeah, so once he's dead, obviously grab the loot. I've grabbed some of it already. And push his crates off. And yeah, you see another guy coming up. This guy that came up the stairwell. But as long as you're quick, if you did kill that dynamite guy to begin with, you wouldn't have all this trouble. You would have just been able to um, grab the loot. But when you press a lever, the switch, opposite side to where the switch is, there'll be an archer. Kill him. And they do a 180 and they'll be an archer on the other side as well. Just get rid of them two archers first. And then the red robed guy's going to drop down. Just keep killing these now. And eventually you'll get to the top. If more than two are on the lift at once, it will stop. If Sorry, if two or more are on the lift at once, it will stop. So just make sure you try to keep them off the lift. If you can try and shoot them off the lift, that's great by shooting them through the gap. But you just got to do what you can. And try to, continue, try to finish this bit with a um, with a empty capacity on the striker then it'll be ready to upgrade afterwards but if you can't it's not really it's not a big problem when I mean, we've got loads of ammo but it just help us to make them obviously capacity upgrades more useful yeah them two barrels which you looted just before the dynamite throw by the way he normally destroys them two barrels with his dynamite yeah, it was, a, it was a red grenade and um, shotgun shells times five. Just because I didn't mention them, I wanted to mention them. Five minutes after, because why not? Why not tell you where something was after we got it? Yeah, but you would have seen me collect them. Yeah, so this is what happens. If too many get on the lift, it will just come to a complete halt. But these guys are not infinite. They will stop eventually. So after you've killed so many, no more will spawn. So um, yeah, try to knock them off if you can. But yeah, once you've killed enough they will stop spawning
Yeah, finally got there. I think I ended up killing every single en enemy then. Yeah, so all these items at the top, they are fixed. They are all fixed. So this barrel, we got TMP ammo. There's also a treasure up here. If you've got a treasure map, you've probably been wondering where the treasure is on this in this room. It's actually right at the top. That's why you can't seem to find it. Yeah, in this barrel, if I can hit it, it's a handgun times 15. In this one, you've got shotgun times 10. Around the corner, it's a red herb. And then you've got a treasure chest just down here. This is the one where the treasure is. So loot this. Yeah, for a gold bangle. And then jump back up and get onto the elevator to get yourself taken up to the sort of tower apex. There's going to be a merchant up here um, and some items next to him. You'll have a first aid spray, rifle times five, magnum times five, and TMP times 50. And we're going to talk to Gary. We'll sell all the handgun ammo, we'll sell all the TMP ammo. Um, we want to sell all the red grenades, don't need them no more. You can sell all your hand grenades except for three if you have a lot. Yeah, just make sure you keep three hand grenades um, if you have more than that. Keep your flashes. You can sell green, red, and yellow mix if you have. You can sell a green, green, green mix if you have one. Um, so your first aid spray, spinals, velvet blue, and your gold bangle. And buy a rocket launcher. And obviously, if you can and if you need to, upgrade capacity on any of your current weapons. And then save your game. Ah, what are you buying? Is that all strength? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Stra Once you've saved, equip your magnum. Now you want to shoot the boss in the eye with the magnum. Don't matter if you miss one or two, because we do have a lot of magnum ammo you know, left at the end, but don't go mad with missing. And then once the boss reveals himself, the proper boss, shoot him with a rocket launcher for the instant kill. You don't have to use the magnum, you can either use three shotgun blasts to the eye, which will reveal his real self, or you can use two rifle bullets, or obviously one magnum. Uh, once you've killed him, you want to loot the items on the same floor as you first, just because that's more efficient. Yeah, grab the green herb, grab the hanger bullets times 15, yep, yeah, and grab the um, shotgun shells on the opposite side, and then climb down, and then grab the gold from near the boss first. Yeah, because otherwise, in the time it takes, grab the other loot the other eight barrels on the bottom, that gold will disappear. So yeah, loot that 50,000. And then once you've done that, we're going to loot, yeah, loot the eight barrels on the bottom and then head through that exit near where the gold was. Yeah, so um, in all these barrels, you're going to find green herb, TMP times 100, shotgun times 10, flash grenade, first aid spray, handgun times 15, rifle times 10, and a fire grenade. Yeah, and when you spawn on the dock, we're going to loot these two barrels on the left for a green herb and some at random. Yeah, once you've got a green herb, I'm going to make a green, green, green mix. Yeah, they come down here. Now, be careful. One of these pots down here, well, barrels, has a snake inside. This one on the right. Yeah, so be ready. That's it. Kill the snake. Yeah, it's probably a bit overkill using a shotgun on the snake, but gets the job done without fail. Yeah, loot the other barrel and then come down and lift to meet Gary. Now near Gary, you should find in this area, you'll find a spinal inside a crate, flash grenade on top of a box, loose, shotgun times five, 
handgun times 10 and rifle times 3 all loose as well on here. Yeah, so make sure you grab all them. Yeah, one of them crate. I think that one's random. Yeah, talk to Gary afterwards. And you're going to sell all your handgun ammo, all your TMP ammo. You're going to sell your red grenade, don't need it no more. You're going to sell your chicken egg. You're going to sell your green herb, green, green, green mix. If you have one, yeah, your green, green, green mix. Um, so spinals and that's pretty much it yeah you can upgrade your striker and only upgrade capacity if you're sort of empty same with your sort of rifle and broken butterfly but with your rifle and your striker you sort of you'll have to sort of upgrade them yourself when you think it's um, empty or just upgrade them when I do if you want but with the broken butterfly I can almost I almost advise exactly how many how much you're gonna need and exactly when you need to upgrade capacity it's just with the rifle and the shotgun, you, also may, you may need to upgrade at a different time to me. Um, yeah, so that's chapter 4-4 four, four done guys. On to the final chapter 5. Yeah, chapter 5, but we'll start with chapter 5-1. Yeah, so to begin, we're just going to follow the path to the end. The path will fork, fork to the right and to the left, um, but we'll keep to the path on the left just because it takes us to some some goodies. Well, a, a emerald and another random crate. Yeah, so you'll climb up this, uh, climb up this cliff here. Yeah, it'll take two of them two crates. One will have an emerald inside. And then jump back down afterwards. And we'll go back to the fork now, but take the opposite path to this one we just took. Uh, well, the one remaining. Yeah, over the wooden boards. Now, I used to shoot, I used to sh uh, shoot out the searchlight. But I actually use it now to um, bring four four enemies to me. So just jump across, get noticed, and then jump back across. And then go forward a bit just so you, the enemy's not going to try and throw with their weapons. And then just wait for them to jump across and just shoot them into the water. Instant kill. Yeah, there'll be four. So that's three. The fourth one is normally a little bit slow. There you go. Just don't go too far forward because otherwise they'll throw their axe instead of jumping across. Yeah, once you've done four, come and grab this handgun ammo and then change your broken butterfly and then use that to finish to kill the um, commander. Yeah, do not reload your broken but butterfly now and then it's going to be ready to um, upgrade capacity later. I actually miss a few shots because I'm crap. Uh, but if you do run out of bullets, like I say, don't reload it. Just switch to your rifle and use that instead. Just go for headshots. We should be able to shoot the ammo that he's got around his body and cause a chain reaction. But it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, once you killed him, switch back to your striker. And then head into this um, tower on the left near where he came from. And grab the green herb in the bottom. Grab the um, 15,000 gold that he drops. And then quickly come up these steps. And press this red switch to activate the laser. Now, follow me. Just come down here. As long as you're sprinting, you should avoid these enemies. And then climb this ladder and interact with this mirror and shine it. Yeah, shine it onto that one there. Like so. Once you've done so, wait until it's safe to drop down. You see that guy? I'm going to wait for him to run past, to basically run over to the ladder before I drop down. Is it safe? Yes, John, it's safe. Jump down. Yeah, jump down, Doris. Once it's safe. And then I'm going to head over here. He's looking out for enemies in here and climb this ladder to take us up to the second mirror. And then first grab the magnum bullets times three near the mirror. Then shine it onto that red button that we pressed earlier. And hold it there for a second and it will open the door. Like so. Once that door opens, reload checkpoint and it will reset all the enemies back to the default locations. locations. Now quickly jump down and head through that door before any of the enemies get a chance to um, come out and say hello. There's one coming to greet you. Yeah, go through the door and beyond these sandbags it's a shotgun bullets times five. Yeah, now be quick here because there'll be enemies following you. Come in here and loot these two barrels on the right. One of these always has a green herb inside. 
and then carry on and there'll be two enemies one's got a, one's got a crossbow so you want to knock him down first yeah I don't know what I'm doing here I should have just got my rifle out or gone closer yeah <laughs> and there's another enemy around here so once you've done them two you can climb this ladder the reason I don't run straight to it is because sometimes that enemy near the ladder will sort of charge at you straight away and grab you so sometimes not often but it can happen so it's just safer to knock him down first Grab that green emerald after climbing top of the ladder behind you on the box and then come around there. There is an enemy just to the left which I showed you but you shouldn't aggro unless you run too close to him. Jump through that window, grab the rifle bullets times five on that table and then kill these three electric prod enemies. Yeah, watch out for parasites that spawn. Yep, and then loot this red herb. Yeah, once you've looted that, obviously you can combine some of the mixes that you have and then shoot this red barrel to destroy all them rocks and reveal the path to the final combinable treasure of the game, the Golden Lynx. Or the cute little pussycat, I like to call it. Yeah, so once you've got that, follow the path and take your first right leading outside, past that table. Now be quick here, just follow my lead, be quick. Try not to get stuck on anything and quickly shoot that rocket launch guy to stun him and be quick. If you're quick enough, the archer above shouldn't be able to shoot you in time. you just got to be quick here guys, no stopping. When you're running up here, quickly press the switch because there'll be other archers. Once you've pressed it, retry from checkpoints because that triggers a safe and they'll also reset any enemies. And then come down here to see Gary. Welcome. Yeah, once you see Gary. Yeah, we're going to sell handgun ammo. So, I guess a red grenade if you have any. And sell your emeralds. Don't really have much else to sell at the moment. Don't sell your golden links. We're going to upgrade, um, combine it later. Oh, yeah, you can upgrade the capacity now on the broken butterfly. Yeah, only upgrade it once. And you can also upgrade the striker. And rifle semi auto. You can actually, you want to fully upgrade the rifle now, so whatever you want, just fully upgrade it. Because you can buy the exclusive, which gives it much more increased fire rate. Yep, and once you've done that, save your game. Yeah, once you saved your game, no, wrong way, Opti, come on. Yeah, sprint ahead here. Yeah, ignore the archer, as long as you're quick and stick to the wall, we can't hit you. Just stun these enemies, like so, and then go into the store. Yeah, and here, the first door on your left, the locker, has something inside. I think it's always gold. Yeah, they carry on here, and then when you turn right, there'll be a big container, like a big, uh, yeah, bin, I guess it is. Grab the red grenade from the side, come in here, and then on your left will be an enemy. Just be careful, because sometimes he'll charge for you. Most of the time he'll just point, like he likes to point the finger. Show you how brown his finger is. Yeah, kill him and then gr uh, grab the shotgun bullets from that suitcase. Grab the green herb off the table and then anything that he drops. Yeah, then carry on. Now in the kitchen, be very careful. That's You see the oven there? An enemy's going to burst out, so be very, yeah, be ready to shoot him. There you go. One hit should kill him, but just be ready to shoot him as soon as he bursts out and then loot him. Grab the hand grenade from that sink of water. Yeah, the flooded hand grenade. A water grenade, I guess you could call it. Yeah, shit, we can hear Ashley. Turn around, go about the other way. Yeah, quickly, as you come around the corner, shoot that guy, but stick close to the wall because there's a archer below that can see you if you're too close to the window. Yeah, they move around here. You should be able to see that big guy down the bottom. Headshot him as well. Now the archer, if he can't see you, he should start making his way towards the staircase. So if you look down, you should see him start to move. There he is. Just trying to move for a better vantage point. So get ready to shoot him. Now when you get to the bottom, once you walk about five steps into this area, in the basement, two enemies will spawn. So just get ready. Two enemies are going to spawn behind you. No, it didn't go far enough. There we go. Did now. You just heard him kick the door down. 
Yeah, and these two, they normally always, well, at least one of them always spawns a parasite. So, um, yeah. Just be ready. Watch out for that spider parasite, remember. They can jump at you. So, if spider parasite comes off, just shoot it straight away to kill it with a striker. Loot them afterwards. Then loot the suitcase for the um, redstone of faith. And you can combine that with the golden links. And then once you've got the golden links, just follow the path and you'll find two barrels ahead in the little storeroom. There'll be a yellow herb in one of them. And some at random. Yeah, yellow herb. Yeah, once you've got that, carry on up, back up the steps and head into the security room. When you get into the security room, there will be handgun bullets on the crate just in front of you. After that little scene, do a 180, and in this locker behind you will be 5,000 gold in there. And then come through this door. In these little storage boxes on the left will be shotgun ammo. And then smash this window for rifle ammo. And they're going to talk to um, talk to Gary over here. There's another, the last shooting range there if you need to go in it. There will be another shooting range later, but that's got the last course you can access every single course now yeah so handgun ammo so your red grenades remember keep three hand grenades thank you you could actually use them now if you wanted for these enemies in the shutter just make sure you always got three on you but yeah instead of selling well two or three but instead of selling them ones i just did you could have used them um and you always always want to have five flash grenades on you from now on as well uh, so if you've got a green 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 mix sell it sell your green red and yellow mix and um, upgrade your striker and I'm actually going to come back and upgrade capacity in a minute in fact let's do it now yeah because we can actually I think we can buy the exclusive upgrade now for that um, but we're not going to do it just yet yeah, so um, this shutter here, you're going to have three dynamite, well, two or three dynamite enemies. So just going to kill them. Yeah, then after these three, it'll be three archers that will spawn. Yeah, I don't know why that took me so long, but grab the emerald from that storage box afterwards, loot all the ammo they drop, but don't drop your guy just yet because there's one more enemy in here that was activating the shutter. Yeah, grab the TMP ammo from that red box, and you should be just around here on the right, just be careful, because uh, you might have got too close to you, and you don't want to run straight into this um, attack. Grab the red herb over there, and then head through this door next. In here, turn left, grab the green herb, and unlock this shortcut door and then come in here grab the brass pocket watch from the crate and then save your game yeah we're gonna have a new enemy type coming up a regenerator you remember these from the first playthrough but I kill these in exactly the same way as I do in my normal in the EC so there's two types you've got the ones which are sort of they jump at you and it's sort of more fleshy and when you shoot their legs off they will uh, try to jump at you and you've got the spiked ones which will make spikes come from the body uh, grab the red grenade from that fire that red box and also loot this crate for three magnum ammo 
Yeah, the 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 fleshy guys are easier to kill than the spiked guys. But what I do, I shoot their leg off and then make sure I'm about six foot away because they'll always jump at you. Now the solution for this is red three times, green two times, and blue one time. Very easy. So three, two, one. Red, green, and blue. Yeah, it's team power just on the right here. And then grab the key at the end, which you need. Yeah, the freezer card key. So yeah, just come in the door and shoot his legs out. And you should be about, just step back, probably a step, and then aim down and start knifing. Yes, yeah, so that's how I kill these. Just shoot them in the leg and then make sure you're probably about six foot away, um, you know, just outside the jumping range and then start knifing. If you miss with your knife, you don't really, you won't really get a chance to attack again because these guys attack very quick. And you also find as you're knifing them, their body moves back very, very slowly. So if if they're literally right on the tip of your knife, because you know you are just outside the range, like right outside the range, in order, you know, from where they land to only just catch them with a knife. Eventually they'll probably move back far enough that the knife will stop hitting them and then they'll stand up. And so that happens, they'll normally just stand up and they'll regenerate and loot, loot them for 5,000. The spiked guys, I think, drop 20,000 or is it 15? Yeah, something like that. But yeah, if they do slowly back away enough and you, they stand up, then just run away a good distance and then turn around, same again, shoot their leg off and then back up about six or seven feet and then start the process again. Yeah, with the spiked ones, what you normally have to do is you, you shoot their legs off and they, they will sort of slither towards you. They'll crawl towards you. But you have to wait until they crawl within knifing range. And as soon as they're within range, you have to start knifing. Because what they normally do, as soon as they get within range, their spikes will come out. And you don't really get much time to um, react when they stop. So the other guys with the spikes, as soon as they crawl into knifing range, start knifing. Because otherwise the spikes will come up and it will stun you. And it's the same with them guys. So the spike guys will move back as well. And if they move back and stand up, just do the same again. Run away a little bit, turn around, shoot their leg off. And then get ready to knife them again once you come into range. And yeah, they take about 60 knife slashes each. So it's quite a lot. But yeah, these guys, they have so much HP. And unless you've got the um, thermal scope for the rifle, which we will be getting... They can be a bit more difficult to kill. So um, grab that ammo from that red box and then kill this last uh, regenerator in this sort of corridor. Yeah, that's rifle times five in that box on the wall, by the way. And then after you've killed this one, we're gonna grab the emerald from the suitcase and then we're going to head inside the northern door near the center of this um, upper stairwell uh, by using the freezer card key which we got from the operating room that's the room where we encounter that first regenerator yeah i know i know it takes quite a long time but otherwise these guys they take so much ammo to kill Yeah, and normally, and normally with the thermal scope, there's still like a power sight on the back you have to shoot, which can be tricky uh, to get to. You normally have to knock them down to get to it, or somehow shoot them from behind by luring them along a, a certain path. Um, now, once you get into freezer, come into this room on the right first and turn off this device, and then interact with this sort of like looks like a cash register. Interact with that to put your card key in and change it into the waste disposal card key. Come to the side room at the back and get a thermal scope. Yeah, with this you can see the power sights on the regenerators, but we don't really use it. Now come to the, come to near the door you came through, and then turn around and shoot this regenerator. Kill him exactly the same as the other ones. Yeah, I always come to this corner because otherwise you don't quite have a straight line to him. If it's not a straight line to him, if they're sort of like obstacles, he won't jump to you. He'll sort of try to wiggle around the obstacle first. So when you're shooting the legs off, always try to make sure there's a clean line of sight between you and him. So he's got he's got a path to jump towards you without any obstacles blocking it. Because otherwise he won't. 
Yeah, so 60 knives, and just to the left here in the corner, you probably did see it just before I turned around. There's rifle ammo, which you can grab. And I'm going to loot the 5,000 gold from this guy when he dies. And I'll get green herb from the window at the end. You have to smash a glass. And then once you get the green herb, exit this room, and then turn right, and we're going to head down the corridor uh, where we fought that last regenerate in the previous room and take that doorway there now that we have the key. Once you get in here, grab the TMP ammo off the crates up the at the end here in the corner, and then come to the control room, grab the hand grenade, and then activate the crane controls. Now, you can actually pick the enemies up here, but I think you can only use this crane so many times if I remember correctly, so don't mess it up. You grab them two at once, that's it. Take out the trash, and then this one. Yeah, just make sure they're directly in the middle of the shadow of the crane. Yep, and then get the last one. Yeah, then once you got them all, you head down there, there'll be a green herb down there, and a emerald. So you get the green herb and the emerald, and then you carry on through the door, and it'll take you into another control room. In that other control room, there'll be a yellow herb on the desk, which you will see, and there'll be a flash grenade in the locker. Grab them, and then carry on into the end exit into another area. In here, there's two enemies, uh, but we want to get their attention, so come here and shoot your weapon just to get their attention, and then get your, snipe, get your sniper ready and just get ready to shoot them as they come around the corner. It'll be two of them big guys with the um, hammers. Yeah, so just get ready, there'll be two of them, there's one, and then get ready to shoot the other. There you go. Just shoot your weapon to um, alert, the noise will alert them and um, loot the handgun bullets from this red box on the wall and then just completely ignore Ashley and come through this door here now once you're in here we're going to come to this control room there's going to be quite a lot of enemies in here and there'll be one archer yeah so carefully take rid of these you've got that archer over there and you've got a shield enemy if you're worried about this just get their attention and then back up back through the door and kill them one by one as they come through the door. Yeah, so you can back up through the door like that if you're getting worried or you're getting swarmed or just come through this door to begin with. Um, but it's normally one enemy that comes from downstairs as well. And um, that's a little bit delayed to the rest. I know quite a few come from downstairs, but it's one which is normally a bit delayed. And yeah, see this one here, you'll come up last. So get ready to shoot him. That's it, and he's the last enemy. So what's that all together? Maybe six enemies all together? Yeah, so grab anything they dropped and grab this flash grenade on that desk if you've got space. Yep, and then come down the steps and then turn around and behind the stairs there'll be shotgun shells in this uh, cupboard. Yep, just there. And they carry on towards the end and there'll be you'll pass the door on the left but you want to carry on to the far door and there'll be a safe point yeah this door here safe point and a green herb you may want to save your game here because this enemy going forward can be a little bit difficult 
Uh, so just, yeah, save your game here, just in case. Yep, and then come through this door. Yeah, we've got one of the spiked regenerators now. So we'll get rid of him first. So use your uh, striker. Yeah, shoot his legs out. And get rid of your knife. So just as he comes into knife and range, start knifing. Otherwise, he'll do his spikes. And um, if you... If, it's, if your knife is just on the edge of his head, like I was saying, he will slowly be moving back and eventually he'll move out range. Just move away again and do the process again. You can see him, look where his head is. You see his head sort of next to that line of the tile on the floor. If you look at that, you'll see that he is slowly, very slowly moving back. Yeah, see, see, he was his head was covered in that that tile before. Now he's sort of moved beyond it. Yeah, my knife's only just reaching now. These guys, they move, they they move back quite a bit. These ones do, but I just got enough to get him. Yep, so he'll drop the storage room card key. And you've got rifle ammo in here and TMP ammo. Your inventory may be getting full, uh, but there is Gary is just outside here. So clean, give our inventory a little clean in a second. You've got rifle ammo here. Here, my mega, mega full. Yeah, but I can see I can rearrange some of my items to make a bit more space. I've got loads of little one one slots everywhere yes yeah, smash them tubes for a emerald yeah i've got a, a space there yeah so red herb in here and you've also got a green herb so you can mix them to make a red green mix yeah but then over here you've got shotgun times 10 in the cupboard and in this little hatch, this hatch here, you'll have rifle times three. Right, that's all the, everything in it. I can't believe I, I rarely come in there and got enough space to take everything at once. I normally have to get it all on the way back. Now here, lob a flash grenade to kill all these birds. One of them will drop a flash grenade and they'll also drop some handgun bullets and some gold. So make sure you loot them. Come over to Gary. Now I'm just going to sell some things first, make up some space for the contents inside them barrels. Yeah, so sell all your handgun ammo, sell all your TMP ammo, you can sell your red grenades, you can sell, I'm going to sell my infrared scope just because I don't really use it, but you can keep it if you want to, like I say, it makes it so you can see the power sites on them regenerators. Sell any green, green, green mixes that you have, sell any green, red and yellow mixes that you have, and of course sell your emeralds but keep your golden links is not quite upgraded yet yeah loot them three barrels you can see i just got a red grenade and a yellow herb so i can now sell that for another green red and yellow mix yeah so i'm going to sell that green red and yellow and i can also tune up the striker now capacity yeah and buy the exclusive yeah, I'm not going to buy the exclusive. Yeah, like I say, when you buy the exclusive, you get 100 ammo. So, oh, all right, I'll go and do it now. Why not? Yeah, you, you could save. If you want to get an extra 28 bullets, you could wait. Um, but I just went and did it all now. Yeah, sell the fire grenade, sell the green, red, and yellow mix, and we're good to go. Now, all we need to do now is go back to where Ashley were, because we've got a key now to unlock the door. Uh, but there will be one room which has more enemies now it will have a load of new enemies inside not here we're going to head back out of the lab and into the next room and this will be the room with all the new enemies so turn right now just at the end here be very careful it's going to be three archers right at the top of the stairs so very carefully edge around this corner and um, some of the enemies will rush down to you once they once you alert them so yeah try to take out the archers first yeah we don't hang around too long because some enemies will run down to you I actually get really lucky 
So um, you can leave from the arches until later because yeah, I'm about to get hit. Look at that. Yeah, so do not take your ice off the enemies rushing down to you. Yeah, the archers are not going anywhere. They can wait. Just make sure you stay behind that wall so the archers do not have a chance to shoot you. And I guess you have six enemies. You've got three archers and then three enemies which will rush down to you. Loot them afterwards and then go and see Ashley. Yeah, she'll be up these steps. And through here, turn left, and you can unlock this, unlock this door now. Yeah, use the uh, storage room card key. And yeah, here she is, and that will finish the chapter. Yeah, save your game as always. Last hour, well, hour and 20, and we're all done. So shotgun shells of that table and then open this door and then what I do I leave Ashley in the doorway so just make her wait in the doorway and then shoot your weapon and that should alert the enemies around the corner or just saying wait to Ashley normally alerts them and then just wait for them to come around the corner you have uh, one big dude there'll be an archer and there'll be sort of a normal enemy and there'll also be a shield enemy uh, there'll be two normal enemies and a shield so five all together um, I'm actually been a bit premature there's still one more yet here he is a shield enemy but he's the only one left so there should be five enemies so yeah once you got them bring Ashley to you Ashley's there blocking the doorway just in case any do get past she'll block them but be careful because one of them did have an axe which they'll throw at you so just be careful of that Come through here. Now what I do here, I have a flash grenade ready. You could probably do this without a flash. You know, but I just love a flash grenade, stun them all. And then quickly, obviously if you don't use a flash, you'd have to kill one with the crossbow first. And then just headshot them all with the rifle, get rid of them nice and quick. There we go. And then head over there. Some guy will press a switch, headshot him next. And then loot their bodies. Now when you press a switch, three more enemies will rush in so just be ready and I normally flash these three as well because one of them's an archer so yeah love a flash again if you didn't have a flash you'd probably just use a shotgun on these to um, get that one getting close to you and to get the archer quickly and you don't have to kill these you can just run past um, but them guys these guys got armoured helmets so you need to body shot them twice there you go, they can loot them after. And then carry on down the trash chute. And down here there's going to be two of them regenerator enemies, but the spiked ones. So just as I explained before, um, shoot their legs out and then wait till they get reasonably close to you. And then when they're within knifing range, start knifing. Remember, if you let them get too close, the spikes will come out. If that happens, just retry from checkpoint. See, this guy, he's nice and close. So when he moves back a bit, he's not going to move back enough to be out of my range. That's only normally if you're just on the tip of the head. So that's a nice spot. So yeah, like I say, these guys have dropped about 20,000. And these are the last two spiked regenerators that you have to kill. There's two more regenerators later, but they're just normal ones. So yeah, kill this guy. And then get the rifle ammo just around the corner. And then you press the lever to raise a gate so you can get past you push the container into the um, gap with Ashley then you go over you're going to grab the other rifle ammo and also grab the green herb and then make Ashley wait and then kill the second regenerator and again loot him for like 20, 15 or 20,000 and then once you kill that second one guys just head into the doorway at the end after pushing the other container out of the way
in this room. As soon as you come in, you want to quickly snipe that big guy. Yeah, just get a headshot on him, snipe him, and then also snipe the two enemies behind him. There's just three to begin with, and you can head forward to loot their bodies and also loot these two barrels. Yeah, we've got handgun times 10 and shotgun times 10 in them. Get this green herb at the back and then come through here. Now, have your flash grenades ready now. Because as soon as you drop down in a second, loads of enemies are going to spawn, like probably about eight enemies. But what you want to do, as soon as you drop down, run forward where I do straight away because you've got about two seconds to run away. Yeah, run away, there'll be cutscene and then another flash grenade to flash them all. Come into this control room, grab the, hang, the handgun, ammo and the red herb and get Ashley to activate the controls. Now you've got to wait for her now to use that wrecking ball three times. Um, but what you're going to do, as soon as he, as soon as any of the animates rec enemies recover, we're going to lob a flash, flashbang. That will reset the stun on all of them. So as soon as they, one of them, one or two recover, lob another flashbang. So that's two so far. We're going to wait for one more. We've got one more wrecking ball now. Yeah, there we go. Just in time, he's about to lob his axe. That's it. Ashley should come up to you in a second. Yep, and then head on through. Yep, now there's a regenerator in there. You can either shoot your weapon or just tell Ashley to wait or follow me. And then that will cause this one to open the shutter. And because it's just one of the normal ones, just shoot out its leg and move back about six or seven feet out of this jumping range just so he lands within your knife and range but not enough to um, actually attack you and then just start knifing him these ones don't seem to move as back as much as the um, the wigglers the spiked ones they wiggle a lot more don't they but yeah kill this regenerator loot him for 5,000 and then once you killed him we're going to take that path on the right and that path on the right will lead to a room uh, with a fire grenade from the cage at the far right in that room and rifle times three in the back left cabinet and then carry on back into this corridor carry on south and you find an another regenerator the last regenerator kill that one for 5000 exactly the same way and then go back and into the eastern room to find shotgun times five in a locker on the right and green herb in the far corner, far left corner, and also press the red switch on the wall in that room to raise the shutter. It won't raise up all the way, but just enough to get Ashley underneath. And then take Ashley back, get her to go underneath the shutter, and then she'll raise it from the other side for you. And then head on through, grab the yellow herb, and then head on into Gary's little workshop. Yeah, once you get in here, grab the red herb from the locker and then talk to Gary. And we're going to sell all our handgun ammo, all TMP ammo, all red grenades, all hand grenades except for two or three. Minimum two, but it can be nice to have three on you. 
and you don't need flash grenades anymore so your flash grenades are completely optional now just like your red grenades sell your green red and yellow mix and then save your game Yeah, then once you save your game, go back into the previous room and then open the um, synchronized lock on the door by having Ashley operate one side, leave, leave her waiting near one, one control and you do the other one. And then obviously press square when the middle round light is illuminated. So, now, no, I'm joking, now. Yeah, so when the middle light is illuminated, that's when you press it. And then loot these barrels, uh, crates, there will always be shotgun in that left one. Here you'll find rifle ammo and in this one first aid spray. Now for the bulldozer right. Yeah, Ashley's going to give you a crash course, quite literally. Right, so in on here I just stand in this corner. Yeah, stand in this corner because enemies will normally, not now, but a bit later enemies will drop near this corner. So I just stand here and just kill enemies as they jump on guys. When you see the vehicle crash down, you need to shoot the engine cover two times the shotgun. And once you see the engine explode, that's a grill on the front. Once you see it sort of explode, like a, mini, a small explosion, that means you shot it enough and it will crash. And then when it spawns again, just again shoot it in its front grill, and that will cause the um, there'll be another explosion, and then that indicates it will crash again. So when it comes to vehicle, yeah, just shoot the grill until it explodes, and you can avoid shooting it anymore. And yeah, just keep the engine, the enemies off you guys. And like, yeah, stay in that back corner and eventually you'll enter a small area where the doors will lock down and you'll have to press a switch. And um, that's where I will resume the commentary. Quick, look, that's a switch. Yeah, so once you get in here, we go up the ladder on this side. I always do, because there's more enemies on this side and you get more you get more of them together. Yeah, so one of these is gonna be an archer and you've got that guy with a thrown weapon, so watch out for them. Yeah, so get these four first and watch out because guys will be coming up behind you. Yeah, so be very, very careful here. Yeah, you see, I do take my time here. I like to make sure there's no enemies come in for me yeah as you can see the enemies are going to sort of keep spawning yeah these crates next to you got two there and one over there see there's another one yeah they'll be coming they'll be climbing up the ladder and coming to you so you should be very very careful i'm not taking in any chances on professional no damage you know i think i could do a no save no damage with this with um, a bit more practice but most of my deaths come from the simple moments, like the QTEs. Yeah, you got shotgun shells times 10 there. You can press the switch, uh, lift it up. Yeah, a lot of my deaths come from the bloody QTEs with Krauser or the laser room. Yeah, you got TMP ammo there from there, loot that. And we need to climb down there now. Now, as soon as you drop down the ladder, there'll be a checkpoint. So, as soon as you can, as soon as you can drop down a ladder, you can just retry from checkpoint and it will despawn all the enemies. I'm going to go over those four sides, there's a green herb as you can see. And once it's safe to do so, drop down. But just be careful because sometimes enemies, they'll stand at the bottom of the ladder. I did see one enemy at the bottom there when I ran around. So I'm just going to wait till I can see him climbing up. And then I'm going to drop down. 
There he is, so I'm going to drop down now. I didn't see no more enemies, and now I can retry from checkpoint. There you go, checkpoint. And then get back on with Ashley. Now there's going to be enemies actually dropping down onto the bulldozer now. But they sort of, they'll drop down in this corner near Leon, and some will drop down just to the left of you. So be very careful with them. If you shoot one and it lands next to you and the parasite spawns, you may have to run, run away the opposite side of the bulldozer so that the parasite doesn't hit you because you'll be within range or try to quickly kill the parasite before it gets a chance to attack or you can lob a flashbang if you're really worried but yeah just be very careful when the enemies drop if the enemies drop next to you you might want to try and shoot them in the legs just so obviously you're not going to kill them and then you'll get a chance to knock them away further before there's a chance of them dying and the parasite spawning uh, but when the bulldozer, uh, not the bulldozer, but when another vehicle disappears, it'll appear from your front. You'll hear, you'll hear the horn. Just make sure there's no enemies on your bulldozer at that time. Then quickly turn around, and again just shoot it in its grill until the engine explodes, and that indicates that you've destroyed it enough. Yeah, this guy with a parasite got really got really close to me. Yeah, so here comes the car. Yeah, shooting the engine once or twice. Once it explodes, you're good to go. Look how close he got to me. Them guys with the parasites, they are relentless. He is mega hungry, obviously, for a bit of Leon Kennedy. He wants to have a little munch on me. Yeah, after that, come into this room and loot this cabinet on the left, a little TV stand without a TV. Yeah, get the 5,000 gold and then get the red grenades. Loot a suitcase for a green stone of judgment. Combine that with the golden links to make the golden links of judgment. Yeah, then grab the hangar bullets and come and talk to Gary. Welcome. He sure gets around this guy. He is dedicated to his craft. Yeah, so your handgun ammo, TMP ammo, red grenades, first aid spray, and that is all you need to do. That's all we're doing. Let's go and finish a chapter. Right, yep, save your game. Yeah, we're in the last hour now, guys. The power hour. This is it, the final countdown to a jet ski ride yeah grab the gold just to the left of the steps dropped out of um, Sadler his pocket I forget, I forget who we're suing now yeah come along here grab the shotgun shells times uh, three and uh, come just to the railing get your sniper rifle and shoot that guy you can just see him behind the pipes he thinks he's hidden from me but he's not yeah, get a headshot on him if you can imagine where his head is. Otherwise, you shoot him in the body twice. Shoot that yellow guy through the window, and then an, an archer should walk, walk in between your line of fire, and then that'd be both the archers dead. And then shoot that window pane above to make an emerald to fall down, and be ready because two gas mask enemies will run for you. One of them might get trapped on the door, so if you only see one, it's either because the other one is a bit slow, or, you know, it could have been on the toilet, or he got stuck on the door, which can happen. This is so long, ain't it, for a, um, a Resident Evil game? Especially compared to, you know, to 1, 2 and 3. Well, to 2 and 3 anyway. I wonder if the um, remake is going to be this long. It's going to be a mega long game, isn't it, if it is. But the 7 and 8 are quite a long game. Well, 7. 7 is longer than 8, I think. Yeah, inside this storeroom... That and me, he may already be coming for you, so just be careful. You may encounter him on your way here. Uh, but in the storeroom, you'll find a flash grenade and gold times 3,000. And the company steps, and in the end here will be a shield enemy. Don't kill him like I do. Yeah, loot the locker. Uh, I think that's a random item inside there, by the way. Yeah, take him out. Yeah, if you see a parasite, get out of there. Don't try and show off by just standing trying to um, 
bait it to to attack. Don't do not play chicken with them power slice. Move away, sniper them, and move on. Okay, so now we've got the Krauser fight with our old comrade. Yeah, grab the gold over here. And then head up the elevator. Yeah, so head forward. Make sure you've got your switchblade ready. Hey, I can smell something. I can smell eggs. Oh. What is it? Oh, it's a monkey. Oh no, it's Krauser, an old comrade of mine. Nice. He did a ground pound with a knife. Been a long time, comrade. Bit of a stupid attack to do, actually. Yeah, so Mouser. Always keep on guard here. Yeah, do not drop your guard or expect the unexpected. He's just trying to give you a load of BS to try and distract you, and then he'll swipe. Just be ready to swipe back and dodge. Just make sure you've got five star dodge manuals in your inventory so you become really good at dodging, just like this. Yeah, Bolden from Jill Valentine. The rest were from DLC. Like, look at them grenades just exposed on his pocket, on his, sorry, on his belt. If you're really good, you can actually flick off a pin with your knife of the hand grenades. Yeah. You got her involved just for that? That's a stupid place to wear your grenades, Krauser. Yep, that's it. Cut his belt so his pants fall down and he'll just run away in shame. Or just slice his nipples in half. Right, it's getting quite tense. Oh, nice little spin there. That's it. When he's got on the floor, just wiggle around like a regenerator when it's got one leg. And make your, make your spikes come from your body. No, not that spike between your legs. Yep, and um, reinforcements will come along. Ada. Yep, and her wire, wireless controller battery level is low. Ada, you need to change your battery. Oi, mate, you dropped your knife. I guess he'll be back for that. But it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? Just remember, you can always rely on your life. More or less. I still don't know what that means. Keeps me up at night thinking about that. It eludes me. After the fight, we're going to head down here and head into the laser room. Imagine doing a no save, no damage room, a no save, no damage run, and then you fail by one of these QTEs. That's what I'm afraid of. I think a no damage, no save is not too bad in terms of, you know, fighting the enemies, but when it comes to these QTEs, yeah, I, I can die here a lot. Maybe it's easy on PC, I don't know. But yeah, on this last one, when you press a button, run towards the lasers. Don't stay where you are because they get faster and faster. And eventually you have like a split second to react. So run towards them. Yep, run in here, turn around and shoot down the elegant headdress. Grab the emerald from the chair, which I can't see. I don't know where it is. I think it might be one of the studs on the chair, on the fabric. And then come down the elevator. Yeah, into the sort of cavern area. Once down the steps, turn around and get the green herb and the emerald underneath it. Yeah, you can use that to make another green and red mix. Come along the end and you'll meet Gary. Yeah, typewriter in this back room is a red herb. I know it feels like it should be more than that in the back room, but no, it's just a lousy red herb. But yeah, once you've got that, go back and talk to Gary 
I'm going to get ready for this boss. You need a rocket launcher for this upcoming boss. So you're going to have to sort out your inventory. Just to make space for it. Yeah, so handgun ammo, any red grenades if you have any, um, sell your emeralds, your elegant headdress, and that's all. Yeah, buy the rocket launcher, and we're also going to upgrade the broken butterfly firepower. We do not touch capacity yet, we're going to be doing capacity after this boss. So firepower on the broken butterfly, but that is all. And obviously everything else is upgraded. Right, save your game. And then we're good to go. Yeah, so this fight coming up. It can be a little bit tricky, but there is a sort of simple way to do it. But you will need to follow my lead. So when the boss drops down, one magnum shot will always make it sort of run away for like 10 seconds. It will sort of, when you shoot it with magnum, it will jump away and then it will take about 5 to 10 seconds to come back. Uh, grab that yellow herb through the broken fence. Yeah, so you always want to use the magnum scare him away briefly. And be ready if, because sometimes there'll be QTEs when he's on top of the whatever that thing is. Experimental container room thing. Yeah, so straight away, shoot him. Doesn't matter where. That's it. I scare him away. Come forward to go right. Grab the shotgun shells. Do a 180. Come over here and knife that green switch quickly. And then press that red switch, turn around quickly, get ready to shoot him again. That's it, run past him, turn right, turn right, and turn another right to find the green herb. Do a 180 again. When he drops down, just wait a moment for him to recover from the fall, because otherwise you will not damage him. And then shoot him, and then run back, have scared him away. Uh, knife that green switch to unlock the hatch, and then press that red button, then quickly get through that door before he gets a chance to hit you. Turn right, grab the red grenade and run over here. Now when you get here, don't move anywhere else. Just shoot that green switch with your striker. Turn around and shoot that green switch. Now you want to make sure you're going south. Yeah, you're going south first. Get your magnum ready. Now when he first appears, run past him. Remember, we start off by going south. Get that red switch and then turn around and shoot him. Scare him away. Now come through here, take a left and get a second red switch. Turn around, get ready to shoot him when he drops down. Remember, wait a moment for him to recover from the fall before you shoot him. That's it. Now grab his team piano and get inside this red door. Now, if you come to this corner, yeah, come to this corner, equip a hand grenade. And then turn right so your hand is sort of in line with where it is now. You see that black door ahead and you see the right side where it ends. Make sure your hand is sort of in line with that. And then aim all the way up and lob the hand grenade. Yeah, and it should explode and it switch on the other side. You've got another one, so you've got a second chance. And then come in and press the red switch. Yeah, that's the button for it. Normally, if you run out of grenades, by the way, because it don't quite work, you have to run around and come through there and shoot the button through that sort of gate and then run back through the central area and come back. That's how you're supposed to do it normally, but that's a little trick to um, avoid doing that. Yeah, you normally have to run through there. But you get this red switch next, and then get ready to shoot the enemy when he drops down, scare him away again, just shoot him once. There you go, and head through this. Yeah, QTEs when you come through this little tunnel. Yeah, so normally you'd have to run through this and keep going left and um, hit that other button, but because we've done it already, we can come straight in this red door. Straight up here, and now you're out of the way, just grab this loot, you've got shotgun, uh, TMP, and magnum I think it was, and the green herb, and now get ready for your rocket launcher, now straight away just shoot your rocket launcher, like so, you don't need to aim, just shoot it, it should hit its hand, and if you shoot straight away, it shouldn't move, so the damage shouldn't, the blast radius shouldn't hit you, now just wait a few seconds and then shoot him, the rocket launcher won't kill him straight away, you normally got to wait a few seconds, and just hit him with anything, to finish him off. Loot him afterwards for 50,000. Gather red herb around this big rock. 
and then open this gate and grab the hand grenade ammo just inside. Yep, head back through here next and go through this door on the right. Two bosses on this chapter, this sub chapter. I guess quite difficult ones as well. Yeah, at these steps, there should be a green herb just at the side. Yeah, you can combine that with a red, which we just got. And then you want to go up the steps. And go over this. You don't have to go over this lift, but if you want to go back to Gary or come across to get this green herb, you can do. I'm just showing you where it is. Once you've got the green herb, just come back on the lift. And then make your way ahead and up the ladder. that ladder you'll climb to sort of bunker climb up this ladder after and then loot the hand grenade from this little cabinet we need to save two hand grenades for the final boss by the way very important yeah we are going to get more I know we've probably used them all but we are going to get more going forward so don't worry too much just try to keep two now on you at all times yes yeah, so we're going to shoot that red bell that should destroy them too and then be an enemy there that guy just down there he'll always just stand there at the bottom of the ladder don't know why he just stands there so I'm just going to quickly headshot him, him there, he'll just stand there and then quickly get his striker and get ready to shoot this red bow and kill him and him stand below. If you're worried about enemies down below lobbing an axe then just don't stand near the edge and we're going to kill the enemies as they climb up. There should only be a few left, probably like one or two. Yes yeah, so I'm just going to check it out, yeah I think they're all dead so I jump down. Yeah, now loot the area. You've got these two barrels. Yeah, you got that's loot which one of the enemies dropped. Yeah, you got that loot. I think that's random loot. You've got a yellow herb over here, so make sure you grab the yellow herb. Combine that with a red green mix. You'll end up with loads of red yellow herb soon. Yeah, grab this gold and then head into the tent. Loot the two crates inside. I think that crate's always got 3,000 gold. And you've got hand gun ammo or perhaps some at random in that crate. Yeah, this barrel. Like I said, if you want to check what loot is random, so I can't quite remember it all in this last area, you have to check my text guide. Yeah, grab that blue stone of treason, I think it was. Yep, and that's a final treasure we need to complete the golden links. So get that and then carry on back along the path and take the passage on the left to find two crates one of them's got 5,000 gold inside and then head through here and get the barrel near the ladder to exit I think that's always got hang on times 10 in and then talk to Gary well it's gonna be a boss coming up so anything you need to do or for the start of 5-4 we've got a massive siege yeah do it now so all your red grenades you can sell a green 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 mix if you have any sell your green red and yellows and you can sell the golden links now that it's complete. What are you buying? Yeah, you can tune up the capacity now on the Broken Butt Flight and buy the exclusive. Which gives it a whopping 50,000. Uh, 50, 50 firepower. So we actually need to save that game, but I forgot. Uh, but I'm just going to do it in a second. So you want to loot this barrel here. Yeah, loot the barrel. And then go back down and save your game if you didn't before you came up the ladder. So yeah, save your game here, guys. Yeah, head into the door at the end to get ready to fight Krauser. He wants his knife back, I think. Yeah. Smash this barrel, there's always a green herb inside there. So we'll normally do different attacks, you'll either use this machine gun, he'll lob a grenade, or he'll use this um, explosive uh, crossbow, or bow and arrow. So all I do, I just sprint straight up to this door. Just sprint up to the door, turn around, open it, turn around, and shoot the door in the middle to make a hole. Now similar to what we've done previously in other earlier chapters, knife him through the door, but wait until he gets close. Don't just knife it because otherwise 
he may get a chance to actually knife the door himself and break it. Just wait till he gets close and then knife it. Grab that green herb there. Smash this crate for magnum ammo. Then climb the ladder. And then loot the flash grenade here and the barrel for a TMP ammo. I think these barrels are all fixed in this um, in this boss fight. Yeah, afterwards, go through this gate. Now it's open. Now what I do, I normally run straight for this corner over here because you can spawn in a few different areas here. And all I do now, I just wait for him to come to me. Yeah, just wait for him to come to me. And when he gets close, knife. Just be ready because sometimes he'll trigger a QTE. So just be ready. And if he throws a grenade, be ready to dodge out with a QTE. But yeah, I just wait in that corner for him to come to me. Because uh, it'll, it'll always come to you. But sometimes, if you go for him, sometimes you'll react differently. Here, run over to him once it's safe. And look where he's going to drop down. And just be ready where he's going to drop down. So as soon as he lands, you can start knifing him. And then after that, run down the back. You do not go inside that bunker there to loot it. Grab this green herb. Yeah, do not go inside that bunker. Very important. Just leave it for now. Yeah, go back green herb. Come here. Now straight away, shoot him twice. And that'll stop him throwing a grenade. And then go to near where he's going to drop down and get ready to knife him. Yeah, try not to miss like I did. So you just shoot him twice with a grenade. He'll jump down. And then you can quickly knife him. Good thing about that is if he throws a grenade, it leaves you sort of stunned for a moment. So when he jumps down, you will not be able to uh, knife him straight away. So you shoot him twice. And then move forward a bit and knife him as soon as he drops down. Scare him away. Now once you've scared him and beat him away, scared him off, scared him off, you need to push your statue onto that pressure plate. And then press the switch. Now, now we're going to head into that bunker because it, it stops him from appearing. So just going to head into that bunker, but do not be in the bunker for too long. Yeah, just come into it, loot these two barrels quickly. you got shotgun and first aid spray. And then come up, you'll find a hand grenade. Then drop back down the ladder and go out the door. Very important. I think it's because if you're in this bunker for so long, this small building, it, it triggers some of the uh, flying droids to spawn. And I think that interrupts um, Krauss and it's, I think it despawns him in a way. I don't know exactly how it works, but I think it's somewhat connected to, with the droids that can spawn if you're in that building for too long. Yeah, so come out the door, press the switch to lower that gate, grab the TMP ammo and the green herb from there. Equip the striker. And then shoot these two robots. Run around this corner here and shoot that robot in the floor. And wait for it to explode and run around here. There should be a flying robot here. Shoot him. Obviously, make sure you're not too close to it. And then kill these two here. Now, when you run ahead, and there'll be some dialogue with Krauser. I think he wants. He still wants his knife back. Still looking for it. What is it that you fight for, comrade? Yeah, straight away, run ahead into this doorway, and the gate will close, and that will despawn them enemies, and he's safe. Yeah, use a yellow herb with a red and green mix. And then come upstairs and get ready for the Krauser battle. Yes, this may take you a little bit to get used to, but I just this is a very easy way to kill him. So I've just practiced it a bit until you get used to this. Yeah, so as soon as the fight starts, just wait for him to come to you and then knife him. And then all you're gonna do You're gonna keep running past him on his right side. His side with his um mutated arm and the side where he's, his knee is up so his left side always run around to that side and then do a 180 and always knife him in the leg so run to the right his left side like I say where the mutated arm is and where his knee is up and then do not run too far past him and make sure you're not like hugging him because if you're too close it won't quite work properly because you'll probably end up knifing him in his upper body but you need to always knife him in his legs. If you knife him in his upper body, you might knock him back with your knife. And then it won't quite work. So yeah, just keep doing this. Run in past him on the right. Turning around and knife in his legs. So I'm a little bit close there, but luckily I wasn't too close. Yeah, just keep doing that, guys. It'll take about 15 to 20 knives uh, to kill him. That's one of the simplest ways to do it. 
and you also need to make sure wait till he's fully turned around do not knife him too early wait till he's turned around and he's facing you head on and then swipe downwards yeah like so it's actually it's not too bad I mean maybe it does seem complicated but it's, it's quite an easy strategy to pull off just might take a, a few retries so loot the magnum ammo afterwards the green herb and obviously loot the serpent uh, loot, loot the medal from uh, Krauss's body drop down the ladder and then take its path on the right now it's open drop down and loot the handgun ammo in this little window over here that's it and then place all the medals in this plaque on the wall in all the slots and that will open the door and then we can head into chapter 5-4 the last chapter before the big boss and the escape sequence Yeah, so save your game, of course, and then chapter 5 4 will begin. Yeah, so to begin, you want to grab this green herb in front of you. And then head up this path. There'll be a little cutscene, and once you head forward a little bit more, the turret gunner will start shooting you. There we go, as soon as he does, go behind this pillar on the right here. Now, keep him in your camera. And then after about a minute, the helicopter will blow up that tower with the turret. They're quite tricky to shoot them, Gatling Gunners, but this one, this very easy way to do it. The helicopter is not really reliable and professional, but this one I find is always reliable. Just keep it in your, keep it in the view on your camera. And like I say, it'll take about a minute and then the helicopter will shoot him. If you're not looking at him, or if you're a bit further down the ramp, it won't quite work. Sometimes it might take five minutes. But stand here, keep a look on the cat on the turret, and it almost always take about 60 seconds. Yeah, this whole sequence, it can be quite difficult to siege, but it's, it's not actually too bad once you learn how all the mechanics work and how to exploit it all. I mean, this is just one example. Getting rid of this turret really easily. So yeah, it should be about another 20 seconds and he'll shoot it yeah so um there's actually a, a crossbow enemy in the bottom beneath him as well and what I normally do you'll see I sometimes I go back to save point I save a game or retry from checkpoint and it actually despawns a lot of the enemies that makes it a bit easier so there he goes he's attacking it and that's it it's destroyed so once that's destroyed, that'll be a turret gunner's gone and the um, crossbow enemy beneath him. Yeah, grab the shotgun ammo in that tent which I just picked up and loot these two barrels. You'll find a green herb and magnum ammo. Yeah, then come over here and head into that tower which just got blown up and there'll be a hand grenade. Yeah, so grab this. And then do not go down the steps too much. Now, you see these two posts where there's two posts together. You're going to stop about there and look down here. You should see a padlock on a gate. Don't go too far down the steps because you'll trigger the enemies. You should just be able to see the gate, the padlock on that gate down there. So just edge forward a little bit if you can't quite see it until you can. They almost, I'll go a little tiny bit more and shoot it three times. I said to destroy that padlock. And then what I do now. is I run down to trigger these next wave of enemies now run back and save my game and then I retry from checkpoint and what that does yes it'll, it'll make it so some of the enemies will still be spawned but all the enemies will keep jumping out of the tower they actually despawn and they won't jump out there no more there you go yeah save your game guys and then retry from checkpoint Yeah, don't forget to retry from checkpoint, it's very important. So yeah, head back now. Yeah, so some of the enemies will be here now, but most of them actually despawn. So you're going to head straight over here, down that ramp, which we shot that padlock on the gate from. Just straight down here into this far corner. You can loot this barrel quickly for some rifle ammo. And then turn around and just get ready to shoot the few enemies that will come to you. Yeah, so it's only the enemies that are already sort of spawning on the map when you sort of walk down into this zone and trigger this next bunch of enemies. The ones w which will keep coming actually despawn. 
So yeah, kill these. There's be two shield type enemies that come, and you've got sort of two or three bandana enemies. There's normally two enemies that come on the top, but for some reason they're not because I sprinted down here. They're not coming for me now. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, there's normally two enemies that come from that top path, but I guess running straight down here somehow despawns them, or maybe the helicopter killed them. Who knows? But yeah, normally one or two come from up here, but never mind. But yeah, once you've got them enemies here, look, no more enemies are spawning. Normally they keep dropping out that uh, little watchtower above us. Yeah, once you keep this gate through, quickly get under the bridge for, and yeah, shoot that barrel, or maybe the Gatling Gunner will shoot it for you. Get a yellow herb. Yeah, no more enemies are spawning, to be honest, but they will start to spawn eventually, so be very quick here. Knock down these guys, and then climb that ladder. Yeah, an enemy will come through there shortly, so just be quick. Yeah, once you've got a, a safe window, quickly climb this ladder. Once you get up here, head inside a little bunker. And leave the loot for now, just press that switch because it triggers a checkpoint. Yep, and then retry from checkpoint, and that will despawn all the enemies. Yep, there you go, and now you can go out, safely grab it. So you've got a green herb, handgun ammo, and around here you've got a flash grenade in this barrel. But yeah, I'm running out of inventory space. So we're not really going to be using any flash grenades going forward. Um, so, I mean, if you need to get rid of anything, either get rid of your hang uh, bullets or flash grenades. Now, once you get in here a few steps outside, the commander will spawn. So just go back into the bunker and then wait for them two enemies on the stairs ahead to come down to you. And you can shoot that red barrel to do a bit of damage to them. And then finish them off with the rifle headshot when they're on the floor. Yeah, so shoot the red barrel. That's it, and just decapitate them after. Yeah, two come from the top stairs and one will come from the bottom like this guy. Yeah, got another power sight. And there all, there's also a archer just down the bottom to the left, near where that last guy came from with the electric prod. Yeah, see him just down there near that short door. So just be careful. Quickly shoot him when he's reloading, like so. Yep, and obviously got a commander. With a commander, I just sort of come out of cover. I shoot him once with a rifle just to stun him, and then I come out of cover and use the magnum. The Magnum would literally kill him in like two or three hits because it's got 50 firepower. Yeah, so just stun him. That's it. And then come out of cover. Get your Magnum ready. Yeah, Magnum will kill him really quick. Yeah, and now he's sort of hidden behind there. So I'm just going to make my way down again to get a better angle and finish him off. Now I'd be quick looting this area if you want to get the gold that he drops. You can go straight for it now. Uh, just don't touch that lever up there until you're ready to move on. Yes, yeah, so drop down here. There's two tents. Yeah, you got red herb inside there. And in this tent you've got gold, 5,000. In this little um, trench here, you've got a green herb. And TMP. I think that's always TMP ammo. Yeah, come to the ladder afterwards and loot this barrel. I think this one's always random. Yeah, after that, come around here and you find some shotgun shells loose on the floor. Times five. Now, I've got all we need to do so we can go up to the top of the steps and use a zip line to reach where the commander died. Well, you've got a barrel here. I almost never get anything in that barrel. I'm not sure if it's got nothing in by default and it's just a scam. Yeah, come down the zip line and now loot the treasure that he dropped. For 15k and also get the hand grenade if you've got space right so once you're ready because once you activate this lever there's going to be a safe point yeah there'll be a, a checkpoint even yeah and you want your rifle for the next part got so much rifle ammo that's crazy yeah so there you go checkpoint now don't run straight into this doorway and um, i'll show you because you can spawn two enemies you see just over there near that herb watch and an enemy will magically spawn there he is he'll spawn and a guy a shield enemy will spawn as well shoot him as well kill these two that's two enemies out of the fight now once through here keep him to the left and straight away run for the ladder try not to get stuck on anything because you need to be as quick as possible and as soon as you get to this ladder you'll be immune to incoming turret fire 
and they, at the top change to your shotgun shoot that archer just on the right and they come around the corner around there quickly turn around and shoot that guy that's it and then get your rifle and they quickly shoot the opposite turret there you go and the guy next to him if he's there he may have run around but yeah shoot him twice and you can just see the back of this guy shoot him in his butt there you go twice that's two turrets gone reload get back to your shotgun now careful the archer might be coming around the corner if you didn't kill him there he is now it's also a rocket launcher guy in this small sort of tower where I am yeah now once you get back around here that rocket launcher guy will start to come out yeah, there he is and he's got quite a lot of HP that guy so you might want to just switch your magnum and kill him in one shot like so yeah he's got a lot of HP that guy so yeah and now I'm just going to take care of a few of the enemies uh, because we need a, a small window yeah, so make sure there's nobody climbing up chasing you see the shield enemy coming over there and that enemy is still alive down below yeah you can see just down there there's a turret enemy now wait for your window wait for him to reload or stop and then get a headshot there you go and some other guys might come around the corner yeah I probably should have waited if this guy come up so he could have got me from behind I did see him I should have waited yeah because look at this guy he's charging yeah take him out the enemy's not infinite here they will eventually stop spawning yeah just watch out for dynamite guys it might come along and not dynamite but I've got rid of all the turret gunners so I don't need to worry about them yeah this turret guy will drop magnum ammo yeah and I probably should take down them guys at the top now with my um, yeah I should just kill them but I'm worried about enemies popping up behind me so I don't want to turn my back for too long you yeah, activate that lever and yeah I'm just waiting I'm worried about enemies coming up behind me I don't think there's many more to spawn so there's two archers there they've probably dropped down yeah they've dropped down somewhere probably down there to the bottom and they'll be coming up that ladder so I'm going to head around the corner now yeah I know what's going to happen I'm going to walk straight into them I know they're probably just coming up the ladder. So two archers. Here they come. Decapitate and another decapitate. There we go. I think that's all the enemies. I oh, know I think someone oh no yeah, someone else just dropped down there. I think he's the last one. The music normally stops when there's no more enemies to spawn. Yeah, so I'm dropping down. He looks like a dynamite enemy. Just standing there, dynamite in his hand. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to snipe him. There you go. I think that's all the enemies. F look, finally, after all the enemies are dead, he destroys the tower. Talk about perfect timing. Yes, yeah, so I just got to loot the area now and pull the other lever. So um, I'm going to come to this ladder first, loot this barrel. That's random item in there. Yeah, I tried a lot of things in this area, and this just seems to be the best way. Sprint towards that ladder on the left first. Just sprint towards it. This is the best way to do it. Yeah, here, that shotgun shells are always in there. This guy will always drop TMP ammo, that turret gunner. He gets his lever, and then that last turret gunner at the bottom, he'll always drop a first aid spray. And the items they drop don't actually despawn. Yeah, so once you pull that last lever, jump down here. And then we'll make our way to the exit now. Yeah, grab this green herb. Grab the TMP ammo around the corner. A lot of guys try to snipe them from the bottom, but it's just too much trouble trying to snipe them. I have to come in from behind so I can get a good angle on them. Because I just find it too difficult to hit them, you know, from the front. Yeah, so that's the first aid spray that the last turret gonna drop reload and then head through here so when you come to these steps the second pillar not that one but the one where the cutscene stops uh, begins that's the emerald at the top there it is so shoot that down you try and grab it if you're quick but if not just turn around after the cutscene 
and go back and get it. Quite sneaky putting a, a treasure in a part where there's a cutscene so it and it you resume control past the treasure. Bit a little bit sneaky that one. Yeah, so this gold that appears there, I think it depends on how much the helicopter destroyed or something. I'm not sure exactly. There's got to be some other which you know determines how much gold it drops. Yeah, loot that barrel and then there's one more treasure on this broken sort of pillar. Yeah, another em emeralds. Yeah, then come through this door. And drop down this ladder. And there'll be a treasure behind you here, a pearl pendant. Grab that. And then make your way through here. And there'll be a small scene through this door. And then through this one into the prison area. Yeah, on the left here is a flash grenade. Probably won't have space for it. But yeah, remember, if you want to get rid of anything, get rid of your handgun bullets first and flash grenades second. You've got more magnum ammo in here, which you're probably not going to use. You've got a small box on the wall with shotgun bullets. Again, got no space for it. So I'm just going to discard my um, handgun ammo. Yep, yeah, and then if you go in this small room at the back, that's a yellow herb on a chair. Well, I've got three yellow herbs I need to get rid of. Yeah, once you've done that, I'm going to save my game. And this first cell on the right has rifle ammo inside. And up ahead, you saw that red herb. So there's a regenerator here and we do not want to kill it so as long as you're quick you don't have to um, engage it anyway. So just sprint ahead, grab the red herb and then climb up onto the path and go through the exit door. Yeah grab it quickly and then jump up here and go through the door. Yeah, there's a green herb here if you have space. Probably haven't, but it's there. And you've got a crate here with some random inside. Okay, so this next bit is going to be a massive enemy encounter, but this is the last major enemy encounter in the game with loads of general and enemy enemies. So I just use my rifle for this, headshot them all, get them all quickly. Get rid of these archers first, that was lucky. Should have got rid of them first, really. Yeah, I just stay around here, down here to begin with. And then sh sort of shoot the enemies as they appear. Yeah, I do get close sometimes here. Yeah, that, see that guy sprinting at me with the power sight? Because at least here, you can run back down here. And none of the enemies actually spawn down here. So you know that nothing's going to come behind you. And once you kill so many, the commander will spawn. Yeah, it's safer in this bit because the enemies spawn from all over the place. It's just safer to kill them. Oh, about to throw an axe. Right, so that commander, I'm going to kill him with my magnum. So once we clear the path, so it's only him left for the time being, we need my magnum. Yeah, kneecap. That was close. That's it. A bit of friendly fire can help. Right, I've got my magnum ready now. I'm going to wait for a break in when he reloads. I have no idea how that's missing. But I was very lucky there. Yeah, so normally with a max upgraded broken bullet, I think it only takes like three hits. But because somehow I missed a lot, obviously it took a few more. Look how much magnum bullets got left, like 30. Well, 40 if you include my um, current ammo in the clip. So looting for 15,000. And there's normally two enemies hiding up here. So if you move, you can sort of see them from down below. Like so. There's one. And there's an enemy behind him which seemed to decapitate him as I shot through that one. Yeah, so I'm just keeping an eye out for any other enemies. I'm going to get these three barrels. Most of the enemies 
more enemies will spawn when you um, press a button. Just always be careful in case there's any stragglers hiding anywhere. There you go, here's one. Yeah, some don't actually sort of aggro until you get close to the sort of area. Yeah, so just keep keep looking around. Look at all these herbs. Wow. Yeah, so climb this ladder. Yeah, in this room you've got a flash grenade and there's a yellow herb in the locker. So we get another green, red and yellow mix. That's four. Yeah, so press this button and that'll spawn a load more enemies. If you quick, you can kill a few. Yeah, grab the flash grenade. Now we're going to wait for him to climb up this ladder now. But don't stand right near because otherwise some of the archers might appear down below and they may be able to shoot you without having to climb the ladder. So stay here pretty much so people on the floor beneath can't actually see you. So you know none are going to shoot you with their bow. They've all got to climb up to see you. But you want to be uh, stood in a place where you can see enemies climbing the ladder and also coming around this corner. So the red bandana guy, once he appears, he drops a key card which he needs. So I'm actually going to just hang around here for a few minutes. Because you'll see enemies will just keep, stragglers will just keep popping up. Yeah, a lot of the enemies are sort of stood dormant in rooms around this area. Here's one. Parasite guy as well. Here comes another. Yeah, I just want to try and get rid of the guys running around the area first. And the guys waiting in the rooms can come later. Right, I think that's pretty much most of them. Yeah, this room we're in now. Uh, normally, when you actually leave, see there, here comes another guy. Look how slowly could Tate get to you. And he's one of them guys which should probably come behind you when you think you've got them all. Yeah, this room we're in now, two enemies will spawn in here later and they'll just stand in here waiting. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what you're It might be when you actually act, press the buttons or um, put the key card back. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, just. Just be aware that two enemies will spawn in this room and they'll just stand in here waiting. Until obviously you get close to the room. Now it's normally some enemies that spawn in the top here. And once you get close, yeah you see he's coming out now. Spotted me. Um, but I just need to be careful that no enemies come behind. Yeah, so um, I just want to get here, so I don't want any enemies to come behind and surprise me. Yeah, I think a enemy does come around this corner in a second. Here he comes. Oh, and about to throw an axe. That was lucky. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, and there's another. Look at this. This is what I mean, they're all over the place. Yeah, so that's it for the time being. Just going to check down here. Yeah, it looks good so far. Yeah, sometimes you've come up here, you can, if they spawn in that room, you can sort of see the top here. Just gives you a bit of a more height when you're looking in these towers. I'm seeing if there's anyone in there. No, it looks good. Alright, so um, there's a red herb in here, but also up this ladder, there's normally two enemies camping. Yeah, right at the top there. And one of them's an archer. So you've got to be very careful up there. But I'm going to come in from the top way. Um, just because when I'm climbing a ladder, it sort of leaves me vulnerable for a few seconds, you know, as I recover from the climbing. So yeah, well, they, them two normally just camp in that room. 
But yeah, we look good for, for now. No more enemies sort of looming around. So we're going to climb this ladder. We'll loot this room here. We'll loot this crate. Some gold and this lock. I think it's always TMP ammo in here, like always. Yeah, so there's two enemies in this room. One of them, one or two, they might have come for you already. But they normally always just stand in here waiting. And you probably want to come in with your shotgun. Yeah, you can see him. There's the archer, but there's actually another one right around the corner. You can't quite see him. Uh, I probably should have shot my gun here, just lure him out. Yeah. Luckily, he pointed at me, but if he went to hit me, he would have probably got me. So I should have probably shot my weapon right outside um, just to aggro them. Now, he's going to loot this room. Got two barrels, and I'm going to put the key card in the reader. That should activate the locks. Loot the suitcase for 5,000 gold and then grab the rifle ammo from here. Now I think this is when the two enemies spawn in that other room where the yellow herb was and where we were camping for a little bit. So I'm going to come in here, loot this locker. You've got handgun ammo in there. I'm going to press this button that will release one of the locks. Now just be careful. You do not want to run around the corner and an enemy is there. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be two enemies in here now, just hiding. There they are, waiting, patiently. Yep, yeah, just take him out. I think that's every single enemy dead now. Yeah, I think we've got them all. Yeah, so um, press the green button to release the final lock. That's it, now we can leave the area. Yeah, the music's gone. No more enemies. Yeah, so many enemies in that area. But yeah, I, I take my time there. I do not want to take any risks. Try and go for no damage. It's not worth it. I'm just going to camp. Let the enemies come for me, so there's no surprise this way they come from behind. Now in here, there'll be two shield enemies, so just get ready to take them out. Yeah, but then once you kill them, loot this cage here for some shotgun ammo. Yeah, shotgun times five. Right, and then head on to the end and enter the doorway. Yep, to find Ashley, finally. Now, come through this door. Once you come outside, turn sharp right, and there's two barrels hidden here with 5,000 in each, 5,000 gold. Grab this green herb and then let's go and talk to Gary. Clean out our inventory because it's major crammed. Welcome. Right, Gary, what can we do? So, we're going to sell handgun ammo, we're going to sell TMP ammo, we're going to sell red grenades. You can get rid of most of flash grenades, you probably don't even need any now, but you can keep one or two if you want. Make sure you keep at least two or three hand grenades. You need to save two for the boss. Just remember that end boss. Sell your green, green, green mixes. Sell your green, red, yellow mixes. Sell your first aid spray, your emeralds, and your pill pendants. Nothing to tune up, so there's absolutely no point. Yeah, cleaned out my inventory quite a bit now. Okay, so head through here. Okay, so there's four enemies here. Two of the big dudes with the hammers and two sort of normal enemies. Wait. So just tell Ashley to wait, leave her there as a distraction, and I will also, from me telling her to wait, will alert the enemies. So I'm just gonna wait for the four enemies to come around the corner and cap decapitate them all really easily. One, two, there'll be two more, but it's normal enemies now. So aim a little bit lower. Yeah, there you go. Nice decoy, Ashley. That's it. No more, I think that's it. No more normal enemies. Just got a final boss now. Yep, so loot them and take the path on the right first when it forks because the other path will finish the chapter. You can come back here after you finish the chapter, but we'll just get it out of the way now. There's not really any point to come into this room. I mean, we're not going to be using these items, but I'm just showing you 
Yes, two items hidden right on the top level in the far room. There's a red herb in here and some magnum ammo. Like I say, we're not going to use it, but I'm just showing you where it is. So red herb and magnum times five. And you need to head all the way back. Yes, yeah, nowhere on the railing where you can drop down. You have to run all the way back down. Yeah, back through that door, and then we'll go back to where the path forked, and then we'll take the path on the right, and that'll finish the chapter once you get into that room. Okay, so final chapter now. All we've got to do is beat the final boss, and then escape. So like 700 enemies almost altogether. Yeah, so um, up here next, climb the steps and there's going to be a yellow herb at the top and some shotgun shells and a file. So you can combine that, that's the last yellow herb of the game. There's got to be, what, 20 yellow herbs all together, probably more. Yeah, so loot this green herb on the left, you can combine that with the red herb. Uh, loot these two crates for a red grenade and TMP times 50. That's all there is. Right, let's just give our inventory a clean, just see how we're doing for excess ammo at the end of the game. Like I say, we need two grenades, hand grenades for the boss, and I've sold a lot of flash grenades, and a lot. I've sold so many red grenades as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to have, have a quick tidy. I'll just skip forward a bit, guys, because this does take me a few minutes to do. Yeah, I decided to just speed it up so you can see me doing it. Yeah, so um, I put all my ammo at the bottom, just keep my weapons near the top, and grenades and herbs on the top right. Yeah, look all this ammo I've got left, like, that's what, almost 100 rifle, if you count the ammo and the weapon, 150 or so uh, sh shotgun ammo, I'm going to sell the TMP ammo, uh, but 50 magnum ammo almost, that's crazy. All them herbs we've got left, obviously I've sold so many herbs, haven't I? Uh, hand grenades, flash grenades, red grenade. I don't think you need, well looking done. back, because of all the money I've got left to spare. Got a of yeah, look, I've got almost 500,000 spare. I think perhaps don't need to, probably don't need to uh, sell the green, red and yellows. Yeah, probably could have just used them. If I ever do do this again, I might try to actually use them. Um, I'm not quite sure, we'll see. Um, but yeah, buy a rocket launcher, and then we're good to go, guys. So all you need is rocket launcher. You need one magnum bullet for this boss, by the way. Yeah, you need two hand grenades, one magnum bullet, and the rocket launcher. So make a save once you're ready. Yeah, it took a nice little screenshot there to save. Yep, so head down the steps once you're done. With a hand grenade ready, you'll be using a hand grenade first. So head down here, cutscene will begin and the boss fight will trigger straight afterwards. So straight away lob a hand grenade and then get your magnum ready and shoot him in his eye when it appears in front of you. That's it, just one shot and then run away. You don't need to do that ammo, I don't know why I did. Yeah, run over here and then turn around and then lob the hand grenade at him. Make sure you come over here, otherwise he's gonna to be too close to you. You lob that hand grenade, and then get your rocket launcher ready. Yeah, you probably, make sure you're not stood too close to that red bow, and then shoot him in his weak point with the um, rocket launcher. And then if you mess that up, just reload checkpoint, guys, and uh, do it again. And then come over here, grab the infinite rocket launcher, turn around and shoot him. And then you just gotta escape. Yeah, wait for him to jump across, and then shoot him. Yeah, so you have to use a hand grenade to make him reveal his weak point, his major weak point. Shoot him out of the magnum, because the rocket, the rocket launcher doesn't quite do it. And obviously you run away, get a safe distance, lob another hand grenade to reveal his major weak point again. And then use a rocket launcher, finish him off. And come across there, use the infinite. So I just grabbed a hand grenade, you don't need it. Uh, but you're going to head back into the lift. I'm just going to escape now on the jet ski, it's Ashley, we're all done. 
So that's what five five and a half hours. Such a such a long game this. I mean, I thought I'd been pretty quick here. I know I've been taking my time with some bits just to play it safe. But yeah, five and a half hours is mad. Yeah, so over to the jet ski. Get on with your sweetheart. And just escape. You can do stunts on the jet ski if you... Um, I can't... I'm not sure exactly what triggers them. But normally if you spam the... Spam some of the buttons and the... Um, the dodging buttons like L2 and R2 that normally trigger you to do a stunt but like I say I can't quite find a consistent way to do it and not like I've tried that much yeah so carefully come through here and um, if you want to see what's ahead so you can be better prepared you can just sort of watch me pause it watch me again pause it you know as you do it at the same time if you want to see what obstacle is coming next but remember you can hold forward on the jet ski to go faster and you hold back to go slower but you don't want to go too slow because otherwise the water behind the explosion behind will catch up with you so yeah don't go too slow and then there it is you've escaped and you've done it so the trophy will pop at the end of the result screen at the end so you get through to the credits you'll be the result screen and then just after the result screen and um, that's when the trophy will pop heart of steel that's for doing professional mode and hopefully that's the last trophy you need for Resident Evil 4. Shame there's not a platinum trophy. Um, but it is what it is. At least all the other sort of remasters have got them. Yeah, there we go. Reproduction prohibited. So yeah, no copying of this video. Yeah, so there we go. Hit ratio pretty bad. Enemies killed 671. A lot of enemies, right? Yeah, so after you leave the screen, that's when you'll trigger the trophy, guys. So I actually popped my trophy earlier. I've actually played through Professional a few times. And um, I've obviously been playing through it again for this. But it's only one trophy, so I'm just... What I'm going to do, I'm just going to show my video save that the PS5 did for me. And yeah, so I, I hope you've, you've enjoyed it. I know, yeah, like I keep saying, it's quite a long one. But I, I'm, I like some of the strategies I've employed. I think they make a lot of it, you know, a lot easier uh, than what it should be or what other guys have. I've looked at a few other guys and some of them strategies are a bit more difficult than what I've shown here. Um, but yeah, that's it, a heart of steel. And this is my video where it pops, where it should pop for you. Um, but yeah. I'll leave it there guys for that. Thanks for watching this one. I think next I'll be doing probably Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, but I'm going to be doing all the next gen. Evil 2, Evil 3 and Evil 7. Eventually doing all the DLCs for the games that have them. You know. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. And see you on the next one.